your basket per day for only one p and p enjoy shopping with jewelry maker tanzanite is truly spectacular this precious gemstone is only found in one location in the world Tanzania, Africa. Claimed to be a thousand times rarer than diamonds, tanzanite is the blue variety of zoisite. Tanzanite is extremely popular due to its trichroic nature, which means that three different colors can be seen when looking at the gem from different angles. In tanzanite's case, these colors are blue, pinkish violet, and yellow. Amethyst is an incredibly popular gemstone. It's one of the rare gemstones that everybody can instantly recognise. This is owing to its beautiful purple hues, and it can be seen in light purple through to a really, really dark, rich purple too. Amethyst is, is called several things. Uh, you get lavender amethyst for your light purple, and rose de France for your more pinker tones. It is thought that the um, colouring element within amethyst itself is derived from titanium, but this is still not something that has been scientifically proven. Amethyst is perfect for the use in jewellery. Being seven mohs on the hardness scale, it means it's incredibly durable. Amethyst also shows um, tiger-like inclusions, like tiger stripes, and these are identifying the inclusions within the gemstone itself. Good night, wherever you are. Um, well, we've just had some rain. We have finally just had a little cheeky downpour, so it doesn't feel so close. It has felt a bit close. Now, have you all taken your extra layer after off your all seasons duvet? <laughs> have you? Hey, eh? have you? No, well, we've got guest designer Sarah Elvin. Hello. Hello, gorgeous face. Hello, hello. I like the little flower in your hair, gorgeous. Thank you very much. Very. Um, now. Can I just ask, why do you wear a flower in your hair? What, what started that? Do you know, when I started working with jewellery maker, my hair was quite long. Yeah. And I would lean over to make jewellery and my hair would come down into my face. Oh. So hence the flower went in there to keep it out of the way. And you got hooked. I know. Well, everyone says, oh, we know if I don't wear it, they miss it. So it's back again. My hair's a bit longer. It's back. It looks really <laughs> lovely. Thank you. They don't suit me. I went and bought a fascinator yesterday because I'm going to a wedding on Saturday. And it just looks like, like a pigeon's landed on your head, doesn't it? They are very difficult to wear, I find, but if you, if you get them sort of hit the bands and things hidden mm. in your hair, it, it looks a lot nicer. Yeah. You need yeah. a little bit of body in your hair. Mm. Well, I've got no chance. Let's <laughs> <laughs> be finished then. Um, right then, well, Danny has been on holiday. So Danny has come back. He's our lovely producer. Give us a holiday where... Oh, oh, he's oh, oh. doing the robot. Oh. Excellent. Cool. <laughs> All right, enough. Enough. It's five minutes of fame. Um, so he's been on holiday. So... I tell you what, he's come back to the show with a bang. He has excelled himself. We've got chrome dark side. We've got London blue topaz. We've even got Colombian emerald. We've even got Songia sapphire. We do. We've got imperial topaz, the eternal brilliance of disco. Tanzanite pink sapphire, black spinel. Triple A grade Ethiopian opal, three metres of figure of eight, infinity sterling silver chain for an amazing deal. We've even got rhodium plated. Rhodium plated, and if you don't know what that means, my goodness me, is that the ultra, ultra reflective chain coming up for you. Got everything, got everything on the show. Um, right then, so, do you fancy um, pearls going under a fiver? Yes? Unfortunately, the only thing about these, my darlings, is I will not have enough to go around you all. Terribly sorry. So, oh, here we go now, sky blue. And I'll tell you what, the last few days, it has indeed been sky blue of this colour, hasn't it? Not right now, unfortunately, because we've gone a bit wet. It's a bit stormy blue now. But um, now, as I just said, for those of you uh, paying uh, vivid attention, you may be watching us in the background, but you want to bring us to the forefront right now, because we're about to do sky blue Baroque freshwater cultured pearls, absolutely genuine, for £4 and a mere 95 pennies. You, 
We are making a statement. This is, this is the beginning of how this show is going to rock today. Yeah, statement of intent of just how naughty we're going to be on The Late Show today. Would you like to see those on one's décolletage, darlings? Now, Jamie, hello, gorgeous face, lovely Jamie in Cumbria. Jamie said, hey, hey, girlies, can't wait to see Sarah's kit and demos, Jamie. Hello, Jamie. Uh, well, tell you what, Sarah, your kit's wicked, isn't it? It is, it's lovely. We've got some true two fire polished check beads, sea we beads. We certainly have. Uh -huh. mm. Oh, yeah. They're even in, they're even in Aurora Borealis, aren't they? They are, they're absolutely beautiful. Sounds a bit rude, that, doesn't it? What, a boreal, oh, I think it sounds boreal, rude. Then. I do. Um, Jamie, we've got a fantastic kit coming up for you, my darlings. Amazing with peacock pearls and Eslan and the true two check beads in two different colours, the two mil ones, which are phenomenal. Um, now, hot, well, two thirds of the stock have gone, haven't they? We started with 30, didn't we? We started with 30. Brilliant deal. What a great way to start the show. Now, bear in mind, can I just mention as well, they're genuine. Genuine pearls. And perfect for weddings in that lovely light blue, aren't they? They are. I mean, that could be your something blue if you wanted to wear mm. a whole neckline suite of that. All perfect for bridesmaids or gifts. Oh, yeah. You know, your favours or your table yeah. gifts and things like that. You know, you can yeah. really go to town with your wine charms and... You could give them to a stranger at £4.95, couldn't you? <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. Right then. Now, we're giving you a few things that are going to be on and gone. The pearls, on and gone. Now... We keep talking about when we bring you these um, these lovely mounts, whether they be rings or earrings or pendants or, uh, or, or and uh, and we keep talking about oh, get yourself the gem setting tool kit. Keep talking about it. We do. We haven't had it for ages. We haven't. But the good news is, Danny's managed to find one. He's gone into the vault. He's found them, haven't you, Danny? He has. He's found them. So, we have got the gem setting tool kit coming up for you, and I think it's going to be at an all time low as well. So, 925 sterling silver. So, if you get this lovely pendant mount, and we will give you the gemstone to go in there as well, bear in mind it's a very considerable pair drop. It's 9 by 6 mil. 9 by 6 mil in this pair drop in Swiss Blue Topaz. So you're going to get all that guaranteed brilliance, all that guaranteed sparkle because it's beautiful topaz. It's Swiss blue topaz as well. Okay, so all you need, oh, there we are, ready-made. Okay, beautifully ready-made. I'm gonna show you the stone, the gorgeous Swiss blue topaz. Because I tell you what, I think, in all the amounts that we bring you, I think this is one of the largest gemstone sets. I think it's gotta be. In fact, I think it is. It's a one, it's way over a carat, by the way. 1.45 carats of brilliance. For the gemstone, you might think 8.95 is a brilliant deal. And I would agree with you. I mean, let's, let's be honest, a gemstone brilliantly cut Swiss blue topaz at 1.45 carats at 8.95, you're thinking, you're probably thinking, well, that's brilliant. But that includes the sterling silver mount as well. It does. It includes, I'm going to try and pop it in and hold it up for you if I can. We will bring you the sterling silver mount as well. No, it's going to fall out, isn't it? Because it's a pendant. Yep, yeah, it's going to fall out. So I'm going to struggle to show that for you. Okay, so just show you the gemstone again. You can see it ready-made in the, in the recording there going round. I don't want to go back in my tweezers now. There we go. Okay, because as soon as obviously I pick it up before I fold the prongs over, then it's going to fall out the setting, but it won't do once you've got your prong setting gem kit as well at 8.95. Okay. Right then, so you can make that beautiful pendant. Okay. Now, if I were to see a, a Swiss blue topaz pendant like that uh, on a competitor's website, you've got to be talking. What do you reckon? Thirty pounds? I would have said thirty pounds easily. Yeah, you can have a little check, are you, Danny? Oh, is the tinsel playing up? Oh, it's a little monster. Now, if I can just pull off this tag so we don't have to show you the big tag on the front. There we go. Tied it on the back. Right then. 
I am super, super chuffed to be able to bring you this, okay, because we keep talking about it. Now, when I, when I asked our lovely guest designer, Claire McDonald, to do some prong setting for me recently, she'd never prong set any of our jewellery before. And she was a bit nervous, to be honest. And anyway, she got this prong set kit. Uh, we lent it to her in the studio. She enjoyed it that much that she went straight out and bought herself one and she now loves prong setting and basically this is an eight piece tool set it's the deluxe tool set <laughs> and Danny's going to really look after you on this now this gives you everything you need to be able to learn how to gem set basically and also how to actually fold over those prongs in the mounts that we bring you in rings and pendants and earrings and uh, bales so what you've got here this is one of the most important parts of the kit Okay, so this here is genius. It's one of the simplest yet centuries old tools for, gems, for, 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 for jewellery making because this is your ring clamp. Um, fully wooden made and all you do is take the wedge out at the bottom, okay, and then you basically put the ring into the top, as you can see there. So they're just taking a gemstone out there. But basically take the wedge out the bottom, okay, and then it opens up the, you, put, you open up and put the ring section in the top there and then once the ring's into position you just slide the wedge in at the bottom and it clamps the ring into position. Now you don't not just for rings, bracelets, whatever you want to set gemstones into but you will find if you go into, a, into a, what's called a jobbing jeweller, you go into somewhere like the Jewellery Quarter in Birmingham, the shops where they have people that, that set and make jewellery will have one of these. Brilliant, aren't they? They are. It's, it's almost like a third set of hands for you. Isn't it, it holds everything that you can't hold with as much grip in your hand. Yeah. Because, of course, a ring, if you're trying to hold the ring shank, it moves around in your fingers, whereas that holds it perfectly steady. And also, as well, you've got, if you've got the ring clamp, it takes all the pressure out and the mm -hmm. tension out. Because sometimes if you're holding something like, and you're holding it in a vice, you've got all that tension mm -hmm. going up your arm, into your shoulders, into your necks. And if you're set, doing a lot of gem setting, it's uncomfortable. This here, now this is what you want, isn't it, Sarah? It is. It's definitely what you want. This is what you use for actually folding the prongs over. It's got a little groove in the end, okay? And this is when, when, you, when we're talking about sip, because if you looked at that pendant we just bought you, it had four prongs. And this, basically, you'd use the wooden clamp to put your ring into. You'd pop your gemstone in with the tweezers that are in the kit as well. And then you fold the prong over with this tool, which is fantastic. Okay, so pretty much that's two of the most essential parts. There you go. Look, just setting the gemstone into position and then folding the actual prongs over um, and you're holding the gemstone down and then just prizing and folding with the groove those prongs into position. It's a brilliant piece of kit, that, isn't it? It is. Fantastic. And it's something you just can't do. Yeah. You, you know, without marking the silver or... Exactly. So it's, it's the professional tool for the job. Yeah, exactly. So for me, it's an essential. Oh, without question. Um, also in there as well, you've got your, um, just quickly, you've got your uh, gemstone prong lift. Uh, sorry, what do, you, what do we call it here? Because we call it the claw. What do we call it here? The claw! Um, what do we call it here? Gem grabber, I think it is. So basically, this here as well, just to show you, oh, could you know, we could spend the next five hours talking about this kit, but these are a brilliant pair of pliers that pick up the gemstone. So this is, if you can see, look, it's curved there to pick up the gemstone beautifully because sometimes picking up gemstones with a pair of tweezers can be quite, quite actually tricky till you get the hang of it. But these are fantastic. Um, so you want those as well. You've got your pin vise, you've got your tweezers, you've got um, your measuring rule as well. You've got everything you could possibly wish for in here. Pin vise, prong lifter, bezel pusher, diamond tweezers, burnisher straight, brass vernier to do your measurements, your wooden ring clamp and your setting pliers. Now, I've got to say, for all that kit, 1995 is brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely brilliant. We'd all agree. Yes, 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 yes. Pretty impressive. However, what do we do for you on Jewelry Maker? We do go the extra mile, don't we? We want you to be able to learn how to set your gemstones with this toolkit. We have never, ever gone to 11.95 before, have we, Danny? Mm, mm, mm. This is a record all-time low. So it's about, it works out to be... £1.49 per tool. Now, if you think about it, on average, a set of our pliers, what, if we're lucky, £6.95? Yeah, definitely. Yeah? I mean, I've, I've paid much more than that elsewhere for just a single pair, but for jewellery maker ones, 
Yeah, about that price. Absolutely, yeah. So incredible deal, eleven ninety five. Because if you think, I mean, you're never going to be, you're never going to. Once you've got your wooden ring clamp, or, or you're never, you're going to wonder how you cope without it. Great for your measurements. Your fantastic tweezers for you as well. Your brilliant uh, gem setting pliers and your clamp, to, uh, your claw to pick up your gem stones, which we use all the time in the studio. And uh, as I said, your prong setting tool as well. That is brilliant. Now. Deb Briggs just said, I'm using the clamp now to do wire work with. It's my lifesaver. Well, do you know what, Deb? I've seen this be used when, you know, when you've, if you've got any of our, um, especially the professional gizmo tool, you know when you're turning all the wires and you some, normally keep your, your thumb on the wire to keep it all compressed into position? Well, as you're turning it around like that, use your ring clamp, add it onto the wire, and again, you take out all that damage to your thumbnail, mm -hmm. you're not using your fingers, you're not, you're not sort of putting any sort of uh, oil effects off your hands onto the wire, and again, all the tension's gone as well. That's it, you're not going to get, you know, if you're using a coloured wire, you're not going to damage anything there. Absolutely. Either, you've got a beautiful, soft internal um, covering inside there as well to protect yeah. anything that you exactly. touches. Exactly, yeah. So it's fantastic. This is brilliant, I can tell you. And the amount of people that have said to us, once they've got started on gem setting, uh, even like Claire McDonald, do you do some prong setting as well, sir? I have done some, yes. Yeah. So it's really, it's really fulfilling because you get that r total professional finish, yeah. but you've put some of your love and effort into making exactly. it as well. Exactly, yeah. And the thing is, with, some of the, with the quality of our, of, of our like, lot, lot we just showed you there, with the Swiss blue topaz, you've got all that joy of the fantastic lapidary and gem cutting work because of the relationships we've had for six years with Jewelry Maker and 12 years with Gemporia. So you've got the quality of the gem cut, the stone itself and the sterling silver mount and then you've got the toolkit for a mere 12 pounds that's going to be, enable you to be a jeweler as well as a jewelry maker so really important okay congratulations congratulations and a massive thank you to that brilliant prize point from our lovely Danny yes well done my friend brilliant deal that is superb superb um right then we've got a, a real real treat for you now we're doing the Columbian Emerald now this early in the show. Oh. oh. Oh my. Oh my. Only 24. Okay. If you are... If you want to get hold of the ultimate emerald on Jewelry Maker, mm. there are 24 chances, okay, available on the show. I have no idea where you're going on price with this young man. So he just said to me, um, 24 will be nowhere near enough. Now, first of all, before I even talk about anything about this gemstone, just look at that shock of vibrant colour. That is incredible. It is almost neon, isn't it? It is, it's just alive with colour. It colour. is, my God, it's having a carnival of its own, this one. <laughs> Goodness gracious me, amazing, amazing Colombian emerald. Now, if you think about it, for more than 4,000 years, emeralds have been among the most valuable of all gemstones, okay? Um, and Colombia is the country that mines and produces the most emeralds for the global market. And it's estimated, I never realised this until recently, that Colombia delivers... 90% of the world's emeralds. 90%. Now, a very fine quality Colombian emerald such as this is extremely rare. To get that level of, of incredible vibrancy and that neon sharpness to the emerald is exceedingly rare. Now, because of the worldwide demand for Colombian emerald, and we are talking about the specific location of Colombia on this gemstone, it has led to prices recently increasing to nearly double to what they were prior. Um, no two emeralds are the same. Emeralds are purely created by a fusion of their growing environment. It has to be exactly the right pressure, the right temperature, and the right cocktail of chemical elements all mixed in together to bring such an incredible gemstone. High, high grade. Now, I'm going to give, let you into a little secret. My producer's just said to me, Zee, do you know where we're going on price? I said, no. Now, if he tells me that and he's all chuffed with himself, that it means... Right, hang on. Hang on a sec. That's the initial price. Right, let me tell you this now. 31.95. I was, I was hoping we could go 49.95 at a push. That 
Do you know, this is one of those things where actually I wish I wasn't on set right now and I think Sarah Elvin, you're going to feel the same way, sweet pea. Uh, well, definitely, this is my birth gemstone. Oh, yeah, hold the show for a minute. Are you kidding me? Danny? <laughs> Danny? What are you doing? 1995? <laughs> oh my goodness me. We have got Columbian Emerald at 42.95 on the web and 62.95. In my opinion, that is a 62.95 strand. Certainly a 44.95 strand without question. That is less than half the price it should be. And look at that color. Let me hold that out for you. Let me show you that again. Now we only started with 24, didn't we Danny? Sarah Elvin, how much do you wish you could get hold of this as your birthstone? Oh, definitely. For me, that epitomises the vibrancy of the colour that you expect and, you know, is very rare to get. And to get a whole strand of it at no, that price? I can't, I'm just, I, this, this for me, if, I tell you what, if we'd have had, if we'd have had two, three, four hundred of these, we'd have made this a deal of the day. This is amazing. Collector in grades, do you know what though, if I'd have been sat at home, I could have bought it, but I couldn't, I wouldn't have been here with it in the studio live no. for this memorable moment at 1995. Now, quite understandably, they've nearly gone. How many got left? Six. We've got six. Sabine, Linda, Janet, you've all got a chance. Joyce has just come in and taken two. Right, would you like to see something that will go beautifully with this as our star by coming up in about ten minutes' time? Let me, where's our little, oh, hang on a second. Oh. Right. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Okay, right then. We've been desperate to see this because I've got one of them. In fact, I'm going to say this is one of the most amazing charms we've ever had on Jewelry Maker. And we're going to, we're going to do this in, t in literally 10 minutes' time. Look at that. Now, if you're looking at that, thinking, first thing I thought was it's ruby. Second thing I thought, well, it's got to be red spinel. What do you think it is? What do you think it could be? Do you think it's ruby? Do you think it's red spinel? What do you think it is? It's a gorgeous little charm, isn't it? I think that is absolutely beautiful. Now that is coming up in 10 minutes time for you, okay? 10 minutes time. Um, right then, are we okay? Should, can we do what you just suggested on this Colombian Emerald? Yeah, come here you lovely girl. Ooh. As it's your beautiful birthstone, you can go and have a play with that. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, well, if you don't, you get given a strand of Colombian emerald. Is it Sarah? I'm just going to run away now. Knock That's yourself it. out, yeah. tiger. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's her birthstone. You've got to give, got to give yeah. Sarah Elvin something special on her birthstone, haven't you? Oh, thank Aww. you. <laughs> um, right, have all those emeralds gone, sweet pea? Yeah. Oh, there's three left. So, Elizabeth, you do have a chance... Uh, Edith Allen's just got them, Sabine's got two, Imtiaz has got them, I've got some collectors as well, so uh, good luck my lovelies, but um, there's only two chances left now apparently, my lovelies, they'll definitely all go, well done. Ooh, ooh, I tell you what, we are really, really, what day is it? Wednesday, midweek madness, you see, it's what happens, all this sun's gone to our, gone to our head, you see. Um, yeah, it felt like a Monday then, it felt like a Monday. Yeah, it does feel on Monday, doesn't it? Oh, wow. Oh, my. Big, big, big tanzanites, aren't they? Of course, we've got 80 carats when you've got gemstones of that incredible size. Again, wonderful, wonderful uh, 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 tanzanite there. Wonderful. Violet blues, your luscious pinks that are trickling through this strand look. And um, Danny's just said as well, if he's just managed to get to 1995 on Colombian Emerald, he just said to me, we're going to do something special on this. Well, if he can take Colombian Emerald to 1995, I dread to think what he's going to do. Um, now, we are really, really, really proud of our Tanzanite here. We know inside out the quality of our Tanzanite here. And because on average we see 80% of the world's Tanzanites um, through our, obviously our, our relationship with Steve Bennett and Gemporia as well. We know Tanzanite inside out. If we to sort of rate our gemstones on, on, on real sort of love affair and in-depth 
relationship direct at source where we've seen the mines we know the artisanal miners we know our gemstones we know our business when it comes to quality tanzanite I think that's really important because when you're buying tanzanite you've got to buy from a reputable source yes all tanzanite comes from the same location yes it does it all comes from Tanzania but of course they're not all treated they're not all created the same are they there are different grades different qualities different levels different it, it, it's a huge huge hockey stick uh, variation on quality but when you come to Jewelry Maker, as a, as, as, as a family business when we first started out, we, we wanted to make sure that you all got the best Tanzanite for your pennies, and that still stands. It still remains. This is quality Tanzanite. You can see it. You can see it here. It's exceptional grade, exceptional colour, exceptional quality. And then when you think of its rarity, one thousand times rarer than diamond let me hold these out because Danny and I were saying before the show that size of those rondelles especially those sort of f three to five section in the center that's got to be some of the largest rondelles we do here at Jewelry Maker and really really rich very very deep color sensational sensational okay 50 59.95 is where we absolutely should be and that's where we launched this exceptional strand truly exceptional however we want to do something really 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 incredible for you today should we do a record you're going to show us a record low Okay, the record low at the moment, oh my gosh, those ones in the, I mean the whole strand is exceptional, but those, those, that middle section is just, I've got a little hair on my, I'm just going to move that, sorry, I'm going to have, yeah, hairy chest. Um, that's the record low, does that mean you're going to beat that, Danny? Yeah, Danny, come on, come on, Danny, you've just been on holiday, you've got to be in a good mood. Eighty carats of Tanzanite at a never before beaten price. What? Danny? Hang on a second, so we should be fifty nine ninety five and we have halved the price on a gemstone that does not need discounting on any single day of the year. Half price Tanzanite. I did tell you this show was going to be something special today, didn't I? If you manage to get those beautiful Baroque pearls, imagine a wedding commission with beautiful sky blue pearls. And that is for £35, you could have that today. Both strands. Unbelievable deal. Um, Danny, can I just ask how many of these Tanzanites have we got to pee? Oh, we're not going to have enough. We are never going to have enough here. I've only just got over 100. Half price, ta I mean, with all due respect, I don't particularly want to put the words half price with Tanzanite because it's, it's, it, it, it kind of confuses the brain a little bit, doesn't it? Now, remember with your Tanzanite, you're going to get this incredible, incredible rare gemstone, the December birthstone, this, this just sensational depth and saturation of colour that we've got here on this Tanzanite. It really is a knockout strand. It's strikingly beautiful one of the rarest gemstones on the planet and as we all know it is becoming alarmingly rare we all know that don't we alarmingly rare now when i spoke to steve bennett recently my lovely cousin he said that there's a block b block they've now gone c block is actually uh, one company is allowed to to, to 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 get gemstones from there and we're in d block um now the miners of c block have just made 200 miners uh, redundant because they cannot, there's just not enough tanzanite coming out of the ground. So when we do keep, I mean, I know you, some people say to us, yeah, but you say that about tanzanite and then you show us, show us a strand. But the tanzanite we're showing you here was mined about five to 10 years ago. So give, give us a year or two to start catching up with the, with the sh really small amount coming out of the ground now in D block. And it's only a six square mile uh, location and it's a thousand meters below the ground. So we may be really, 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 you know, close to running out of tanzanite. It could be a real reality. I mean, e Ethiopian opal, is, they're talking about a year and a half till it's gone for all time. You know, these are, this is alarming. It will run out. And 
Tans and I, every single time I get to the end of the month, and this is exactly what I do, it, I shouldn't tell everybody this, but at the end of the month, if I've got any money left, any money left, I do, I buy trucks, strands of Tans. I've even invested in a little fireproof safe at home. Tans and I just goes in there. See, that's what I'm doing, and I'm in the trade. Uh, 29.95. Cannot, genuinely, my producer did not tell me he was doing this because I wouldn't have stopped talking about this until the second I came on, I tell you. 29.95 for a strand as fantastic as this. That is awesome, isn't it? Sabine's just said this strand is gorgeous. Well, Sabine, I'm guessing you agree because you've had three, haven't you, lovely girl? And there's no restriction. We're not saying to you, well, it's Tanzanite, you can only have one. Now, if you're brand new to um, Jewelry Maker, there are three ways you can buy from us. You can ring us up on 0800 644 655. Start your, um, sorry, uh, so that's your free phone number. You can go on to jewelrymaker.com and you can go on to the Jewelry Maker specific app as well. Okay, that's credit card, debit card, PayPal, all options. Now, would you like to see some jewelry made by our lovely, uh, lovely Sue? Would you, would you? Now then, look at this. So, just shows with, there you go. That's what we were talking about, weren't we? That size of tanzanite there, those, those ones in the center there, look. Isn't that incredible? So that beautiful, beautiful sterling silver necklace. And I love that sort of bolder effect, the way it goes up and in, in, goes up in graduation look. Isn't that incredible? Twenty nine ninety five. I've got Celine buying three in California. I've got Sabine buying three as well. I've got a collector in Greater London just bought six. I have got um, yeah, I've got collectors buying threes, fours, fives, sixes now as well. Um, again, as well, well, I've only got one earring. Oh, that's unusual. Uh, oh, I will tell you what. Oh no. Oh yeah, we must. Yeah. Well, I'm sure we'll find the other one somewhere. Um, and then the bracelet. So I'm just thinking there. What have we used? Sue has used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven tanzanites there. And on this strand, we have got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty, forty-two, forty-four, forty-six, forty-eight, fifty-four tanzanites. Fifty-four tanzanites. How much does that equate to? Fifty-five pence. Per gemstone, 55 pence per gemstone. Now, we started with 124 only. Okay, I did say I'm terribly sorry we wouldn't have enough to go around. It should be, for those of you who just joined us on Jewelry Maker, 59.95 this launched at, 59.95. And on a gemstone that needs no reduction, it's the star of the show. It's one of the top five precious gemstones of all time with diamonds, rubies, sapphires and emeralds and we've just gone to half the price we should be. Can you believe this, Sarah? It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. I just love this gemstone. It's such a beautiful tone yeah. and it mixes all the colours I love together. Yeah, so it's... For me, it's just perfection. Perfect. Yeah. Perfection. Wonderful. So, Sandra in Devon, we've got to move on, I'm afraid, because we've got loads and loads of things to get you. Um, collectors Eileen, Madeline, Karen, Jane, good luck, my darlings. Um, right then. We promised you that beautiful sterling silver charm, didn't we, with uh, Guess the Red Gemstone, and it's our star buy for you right now. <laughs> Right, my lovelies, you know when you go into the high street at the moment and there's normally one or two of the big charm stores, uh, I think we, we all know them pretty much, don't we? Pretty much every high street, every shopping mall, um, and charm is big business. I mean, if you think about friends and family in your, in your circle, n practically all of the women of any, every age in my family and my circle of friends all have a charm bracelet of some description, me included. I've got, I think I've got to three, I think. Um, and they're the ones that either clip on and hang on, which I personally find the easiest because you can interchange them depending on your mood and what you're doing and where you're going. Um, and they sort of represent your personality, which is the kind of charm I've got now, or the ones that thread through. So you've got a bead that's got a hole in it, threads, the bracelet threads through. I love these ones where you can clip them on and clip them off like a key ring almost because it's fast, it's efficient. And depending on what mood you're in, 
it depends what charm you clip on, which I think is fantastic. Um, so like when I go on holiday, I've got an elasticated charm bracelet and I add on my flip-flop on my starfish and my bikini. If I'm going to the theatre, I put the happy and sad mask. If I'm going somewhere posh, I put my initial on and perhaps a, a pearl charm. Or, um, but they're all sterling silver, okay? Now this one, as soon as I saw this today, I said to Danny, this is absolutely gorgeous. It's the symbol of love, it's the heart. It's a red heart, so again, the symbol of affection and, 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 and romance and passion and, you know, really, really pretty. Now, we put the graphics in so you now know what the red gemstone is, but are you like me? Did you first think that it was ruby? Did you, Sarah? I did, because it's such a vivid red and it's got beautiful clarity to it and... It's just beautiful. Well, I've got to say, because of that clarity, I mm. immediately said it's got to be red spinel to get that that mm. level of brilliance and that that incredible openness of colour. That is superbly red. In fact, I'm going to go so far. My director and I, Claire, both think this is the best garnet we've ever ever seen. Now, my director, my producer just said the same thing. That is the. We'll just we'll go straight into it to have a look at because that is the best grade. Best grade of garnet ever on jewellery maker in my opinion and in fact all the crew's opinion so Danny's just counted 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 I think 16 yeah 16 totally natural superbly red and look at that sharpness look at that brightness look at that internal glow that is quality of garnet, seldom seen. Seldom seen. Would you like, do you know what we're going to do, Sarah? We're going to give you this to have a go with the Colombian Emerald as well, if you fancy, because I think wow. green and red. Definitely. Oh, beautiful. yeah. Now, just imagine giving that as a gift. Whether you hold on to that for the 25th of December, I'm not going to say the word. <laughs> I'm not going to say the Christmas word, it's too early. But if you might decide to hold on to it, you might have a friend like me who's got a January birthday. You might um, just love the colour of red. But again, this for me is about giving a gift to someone to show them that you care. Whether you've got a friend that's going through a, a tough time, whether you've got a friend that's just got engaged, whether you've got a friend that's getting married. My cousin's daughter's getting married on Saturday. We've got two of the crew getting married on Saturday. So everybody's feeling the love at the moment. So engagements. Um, again, think of a gift. Um, we think, you know, gifts for teachers. That's really big at the moment. Yeah, and ne Yeah, next month's... Nick, can you imagine being able to give this to your teacher? A solid sterling silver heart to thank them for all the work they put in that year. Can you imagine? Tell you what, you get an A plus, wouldn't you? Easily. <laughs> now, when you go into these um, high street sort of uh, charm retail stores, which I do regularly, just have a little gander, see what the competition's doing. On average, I would say sterling silver charms are circa 30 to 50 pounds start price. Yeah, easily. Easily. That's without gemstones. Now, this has got an incredible 0.85 carats of brilliant cut parve set, incredible quality garnets. 19.95. That is brilliant. Now you could have that as a simple charm. Because don't forget as well, I've got a rhodium plated sterling silver necklace on the show today, which would look stunning with this. Uh, and again, you could take the lobster clasp off if you wanted to and have it as a, as a just a, hang the jug ring on. Do you know it's. Can I just, do you mind everybody? Oh, I'm trying, I can't. Do you know what it is? It's a blusher, it's me. You don't need to put a bit of sparkle. Mm. Honest. Um, now, let's put it back, see if it's gone. Um, but yes, yeah, so if you look at this now, we've got the, the little uh, lobster clasp on there. So if you wanted to actually take that off, is it still there? Is it gone? Everyone's looking at my chest now. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone's looking at my chest, I'm supposed to be looking at the charm. My chest is now charming, apparently. Uh, right then, so we have got the sterling silver charm with those 14 dazzling, dazzling garnets. Now, as I said, you can take that. If you're thinking, all oh, the lobster clasp is a bit cumbersome, well, just take that off. Just take the... To, and just put your jump ring on straight onto your sterling silver necklace, couldn't you? You could. Very yeah. easily. That's all you need to do. Now, Mirabelle's just... Hello, Mirabelle. I've spoken to you for ages. Hello, mm. lovely girl. She said, stunning gar garnet, so vibrancy. Not seen anything like this quality since around 2009 on Gems TV. Mirabel, I've never seen anything like this on Jewelry Maker before. Never. That garnet 
is simply outstanding. Now, Danny's just said to me, Zane, I'm going to give everybody their post and packaging back. He said, this has to be seen to be believed. Now, if you've not opened your order today and you're just uh, thinking about it, well, we'll take the 2 95 off the price point, okay, for you and take it to 16 95 Now, I challenge you to find a charm as beautiful as this with a sizable 26 by 15 mil heart in solid 925 sterling silver with the highest grade of garnet that you could possibly ever wish for and I don't say that lightly I truly hand on heart have never seen garnet of that quality now Mirabelle watches Gemporia every day she hasn't seen garnet as this this good for seven years just she just said now that's one of our loyal customers okay of jewelry maker as well I've never seen quality that good on jewelry maker before it's exceptional isn't that a lovely gift as well isn't that a beautiful gift to give to people now, Mirabelle's just got these as well. Congratulations. Margaret just had two. Sabine's had three. Lady Anthea. Hello, lovely girl. Oh, we had a speak to, we had a little chat with Lady Anthea last time she was in. And Victoria said, oops, this just accidentally fell into my basket and will fit nicely on my bracelet from the shop with the box. Uh, yes, exactly. I've got three JM charms on it. Love it. And that's the thing. You can interchange the charms. It doesn't have to be one brand, does it? Because let's face it, the charm bracelet I've got is, it's got a certain boy's name in it, and I've got jewelry maker charms all over mine. Mm. Yeah, you, you, it's, the great thing is you, you can, you know, if you've been given a gift of a bracelet, there's no, yeah. nothing that says you only have to buy that certain type exactly. of charm to put it on there. Exactly. That is gorgeous. Danny, that is beautiful charm. Danny, I think you should get me one of those to show your love for me. Oh, sorry, yeah. There's me forgetting. Am I allowed to say, Claire? Danny's Danny and his girlfriend, a producer and director in the gallery today. We just look are they kissing? <laughs> no, they're too far. Oh, she blew him a kiss. Oh, Danny's hating every second of this, aren't you, Danny? <laughs> yeah, so I can't I can't flirt with him like I normally can because his girlfriend's in there. Oh she'll flirt away. <laughs> <laughs> Jump on, let's look on the neckline. But again, could be a handbag charm. Could be on your key ring, could be on a necklace, could be on a Charm bracelet, could be on a charm necklace, could be on anything you want, couldn't it? Could earrings. You, definitely, if you want to get two and make a set of earrings. Or, yeah, yeah you can do the um, asymmetric earrings as well and have yeah. a charm on one. Oh, like it. They don't have to be the same, you see. Mm. Like it. Um, we've got a few chances left, so good luck. That's the first time that's been on air before. It's lovely. Lovely. I really like that. It's beautiful. In fact, I'm going to get one of them. Is it, is it going to be enough for me to get one? It has to be quick. I'm on till it. I'm on till ten. <laughs> That's a no then. Um, do, 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 do. Hang on a second, everybody. Have a chat amongst yourselves. I'm just looking for some opal. This, this one here. Oh, well, that's cute. Oh, now, okay. We have got. I must say here at Jewelry Maker at the moment, we have got some exceptional deals on Opal. Now, this is what I love about Opal. Look at the variety of Opal that we've got on that strand to show you the diversity of this gemstone. Now, this is our star buy, isn't it? So this is coming up for you in about, we'll do it in about 10 minutes for you, my love, this, this gorgeous Opal. Um, it's a lovely pink opal. It's varieties of different coloured opal on there as well. Beautiful rounds, and we'll do that as a star buy. And if you've been trying to get hold of opal, but you haven't particularly had the pennies, I'm going to make that super, super, super affordable for you. You've seen what Danny's done so far, haven't you? Pulling out all the stops, aren't you, young man? Young man? Young man? Um, so, Victoria, glad you like the yeah, charm. I love it when people say, accidentally fell in my basket. I couldn't do anything about it. Um, right then, darling, what did you say, sweet pea? <laughs> can't reach it. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Just got to go over here. Um, right then, my lovelies. There are so many goodies, we've had to stretch it so far down the desk, it's like a wrong way of goodies. <laughs> um, right then, do you fancy some sterling silver, darling? Oh, no, silver plated. Sorry, I do apologise. I was going to say. That's a little... <laughs> now, this is... How many are here? 50. I have to look over there. 50 of, of these lovely bolt ring clasps. Now, when you do it, chances are, when you're doing a necklace or you're doing a bracelet, 
you're going to want to do it up, aren't you, at some point. Now, um, if you're working with silver plated wire, then you're looking for a silver plated bolt ring, really, aren't you? Because you wouldn't use a full silver, uh, full sterling silver, because obviously um, you, you've got your, sterling, your silver plated wire. So, what we've got here is your true bolt ring clasp. Now, some people call it a spring release, because basically what happens is you pull the, the, little, the little lever down, and as it goes, it opens up to allow you to, to actually sort of put the jump ring in to do the necklace or bracelet or anklet or whatever you may, a choke or whatever it may be, it automatically springs back into position. So if ever you hear people say spring release clasp or bolt ring clasp, they're essentially the same thing. It's just a diff different phrase for it. A phrase for it. Um, clever little idea. Yeah, we just, it's, just, it's one of those things that you just take for granted that it just works, but it's a really miraculous little invention, really, if you think about it. It's totally clever. And it's fully silver plated for you. Um, it's the classical, as I said, bolt ring clasp. And you're going to get each one there. How much is that per one? 50 at foot. It is 10p, isn't it? It is 10p. I did that so quick in my head. You know when you then suddenly think that can't be right at 10 pence? Yeah. You time. think that can't be right if I've just calculated that to be 10 pence. <laughs> and it's silver plated. Silver plated. And there are 50 of them. Do you want to see? Um, can we show you the, can we show the actual stash? Because I tell you what, if you haven't got any bolt ring clasps in your collection, suddenly you've got a stash of them, haven't you? At £4.95. I honestly don't know how we can possibly make it for £4.95, let alone bring it to our jewellery maker audience, because that is it. Because you've also got, if you think about it as well, if we were to, let's be honest, Danny, Danny, if we had 50, I'm just having a chat with my producer, if we had 56 mil jump rings, what would we, they'd be, they'd be £6.95, wouldn't they, silver plated jump rings? Yeah. At, well, there are, and that's lowest price. There are 56 mil jump rings on there in silver plating as well, as well as the bolt ring class. So technically, you've got 50 bolt ring class and 56 mil jump rings as well. Yeah, that's it. And they're one of my favourite class. I mean, I've got my little box of them here in my my little findings box. Well, do you mind me just asking you a quick question? Mm. Um, why are they one of your favourites? Um, they are very secure. Yeah. You can use them for multiple ways of things. So if you want to make them changeable jewellery, so yeah. we're talking about the charms. Yeah. They're a brilliant way of yeah. being able to add a pendant to a chain. So if you've got a favourite chain, you just want to change your pendant on and Great off. Great idea, yeah. But well, you don't want it moving around. Yeah. You can put it in a link. Exactly. And it stays exactly where you've put it. Yeah. Or, you know, for me, um, things like interchangeable little loops for earrings and things like that, because yeah. it's, it's beautifully formed. Exactly. There's nothing that I would hide nothing away with Nothing exactly. No, exactly. It's beautiful. It's stylish in its own right. But the security for me is a great thing. If it's something you wear every day yep. and you want that edgy security that you don't necessarily, you might feel a bit uncomfortable with an S class or yep. something like that, it's there for you. And they're quite small and neat as well. So if you've got bigger beads, you can hide them sort of in between exactly. the beads almost. Yeah. Um, just one last thing to remember as well, just quickly on that lovely on that lovely charm. Don't forget as well, we are celebrating Friendship Day today here on Jewelry Maker. So that beautiful charm there with that lovely, lovely heart with the beautiful garnets on there, what a lovely gift just to show a friend that you care. How lovely just to get a gift out of the blue, not on your birthday, not on anything special. You know, what a lovely idea, isn't it? I love that when you, when you give a gift to somebody and say, just because, just because, it's lovely. Um, do you know, we can't, re oh, goodness me, wow. What? Oh, we've only got 15. I'm not surprised. Oh, my. Now, I'm going to let you into a little secret here because we've got a really cheeky strand of carnelian coming up later in big rounds, haven't we, Danny? No, we've got a really... I was just saying we've got a really big strand of carnelian coming up, haven't we, in big rounds at a really giveaway price later. So if you would love some big round carnelians to go with this fantastic, I mean we've called these elongated pear drops, but they're effectively almost, they're, they're like cabochons almost at this size, aren't they? They are, they're great for people who, who want the security of having a drill hole through there. Exactly. They don't necessarily want to work with a cabochon. Exactly. But, but you're still getting that beautiful look, that beautiful yep. smooth finish, the light catching gorgeously on them. Yeah. 
They are super. And look at the variety of incredible colours. Now, I don't know if any of you have ever visited the Isle of Wight, but uh, and certainly when we were children, you'd go down on, on the, um, on the uh, I can't think we call it, when you go down the hill on the... On the cable car. On the car, that's the word, cable car. <laughs> And then when you get down onto the beach, they used to have like these test tubes and all different things. I don't know if they still do it. Mm -hmm. They still do it, do they? Yeah. And you get all you get to choose different ornaments and different sort of little test tubes and lighthouses and little w houses and things full of different coloured sands. And you could pull the sands into them and make your own sort of design. And there's lots of different layers of different coloured sands. Mm -hmm. and it's a beautiful thing to do on the Isle of Wight. And I, I used to love it as a, as, a, as a child. And it is that kind of design, isn't it? Isn't that lovely? Can I just show you this on the neckline? Because these are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now let me show you this. Look at that. So, you know, you could have that almost big statement piece look. You could add it onto one of our lovely satin cords, one of our wax cords, uh, even onto our lovely rhodium plated sterling silver chain we've got coming up, or the three metres of sterling chain and have it all layered. Uh, and with a three metre chain, you could have a good sort of 26, 30 inch, in, inch length with one of these. And it looks beautiful down on the, on, sort of down on the chest line as opposed to on the neckline. They look fantastic. And uh, we should be for a substantial a uh, strand of wonderful, wonderful grade of carnelian. Massive carat weight of 255 carats. Sarah Alvin's getting so excited, she's dropping the... Uh... I'm, not, I'm, dropping the I'm not watching what I'm doing, that's what it is. <laughs> it's all right, my darling. How can you possibly be expected to concentrate over there when we're showing you all these goodies? We have just taken four... Is it four pounds we've just come off there? Goodness me. Seven pence a carrot. Let's work it out how much per gemstone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So just over a pound each. One pound nineteen. Oh, your mathematics brain is either brilliant, Danny, or you've got your calculator next to you. Oh, he reckons it's all in his head. Do we believe him? Now, Celine in California. Hello, lovely girl. You have just... Um, just managed to get through so congratulations Susan, Oksana, Claire, Elizabeth and the deals that we are bringing you today um, up to celebrate Friendship Day here on Jewelry Maker is to say thank you for genuinely being a friend of Jewelry Maker as well that's how we feel about you we like to look after you um, we appreciate you watching us daily we love the fact that you message in so if you've got a friendship message and you want to message us in uh, or you want to have a little chat with myself or Sarah or you want to even chat to one of the crew Oh yeah, then text in, if you would, on six, z that's our lovely Emma waving at you. <laughs> look at it, look. <laughs> All right, Em. Yeah. She's so happy. Um, so yeah, text in on 60777. Start that text with JM Studio. Or you can even, you can even message live on the Jewelry Maker website or the app. That's how I do it. Um, so well... Well done, congratulations everybody, uh, brilliant, and as I said, if you, th if you want some big, gorgeous carnelian rounds, I've got a strand coming up for way under £10 later on in the show for you as well, so well done. Okay, well, it's our second star buy of the late show, got loads of amazing star buys for you today, including two sterling silver chains, one rhodium plated, one three metres, I've got lapis lazuli cabochons, I've got it all going on, I've even got the most amazing kit for you today, um, with the true two phenomenal if you've never seen these seed beads in my opinion they're the creme de la creme of seed beads so uh, anyway get ready for this next fantastic star bye <laughs> Do you know what's lovely about this strand? There are two things about this strand. Firstly, you've got genuine opal. And what I want to show you about this strand is I'm going to hold it up so you can see it all the way along. Is on this strand, you've got all lots of variation of opal. And it shows you how genuine this opal is. It's also very unusually, I've got to hold it open first of all, because I want to show you all the way along. It's a fascinating strand of opal it is rarely seen in six mil rounds now look at that if we go really slowly look you've got milky whites you've got pastels you've got creams you've got pinks i mean there's almost dendrite opal there isn't there look 
Now, multicolor opal tends to be considerably more expensive. You've, we've classed this as pink opal. Now, there you go, look. Really subtle variety of pastel pinks and milkies and, and, and honey tones as well. But it's, I love, this is, this, what I love about this strand is you can tell immediately that it is 100% natural. That's the joy of this strand. It's really, really subtle. But then you've got this uh, subtle pink, but then you've got this real variety of variation of hues on this pink opal. It really is magically beautiful. Um, it's obviously precious because it's opal, and that's the whole meaning of, op of opal. It means, in Latin, it means precious stone. And it's got that lovely iridescence to it as well. And it's just so fascinating. Do you want to see it on the neckline? Because to get six mil rounds in a lovely, subtle, natural opal such as this, and it's going to be one of the most affordable strands of oak. Look at that. Look at the, it, look at the variety there. Now it's intriguing. It's, it clearly has a story to tell all of its own, doesn't it? Look at that fascination. They're not just all the same. You know when you go, you know when you go, this is what I, it's like when we go and, do you, mean, you know when we go somewhere and we all get told, don't we, if you want quality, you go organic. You don't want it all matching. You don't want it all identical. That's the whole splendour of something truly organic and natural and beautiful. It's better for you, isn't it? Same thing with this beautiful opal. You can see that it's natural. You can see the variety, the variation, the variation on tone, on colour. And, and again, these almost hints of dendrite opal as we go through the strand as well. And how glorious to get any form of opal in a six mil round, the most versatile size of gemstone known to man. 70 carats. Now, when I said it was going to be super affordable, did you expect for genuine natural pastel pink variation with some hints of dendrite at 6.95. I've got people multi-buying. Debbie in New Jersey, you've got two. Collector in Yorkshire, you've got two. I love the fascination in this strand. Lovely to see the diversity, the variation, and that size is just wonderful. Edith Ann, you can see we're super excited about this strand. Ruth, Christine, Margaret, Avril, Lorraine, Jennifer, I've got collectors coming in left, right, and centre. Oksana, Kim, I can't keep up with you isn't it a what do you think Sarah Oh, I love this. isn't it lovely you no know, it's so subtle yeah but it's got character yeah and I love that when when gemstones talk to you exactly and say, they almost tell you what they want to go with what they want to be used as yeah um, and for me it's the variety and interest in that that's strand. what I like they're not it's all perfect. the same they're not all yeah. identical they are truly Truly, it's 100% real, 100% genuine, 100% natural. And as you say, those variations of hues, those whites, those almost dendrites, those peaches, those morganite pinks, those pastels, they are lovely. Uh, well, Lee's got two, Oksana's got two, most of you going for two, Mary and Jerry are in, Joan's got two, uh, Debbie's got two, Collector in Yorkshire's got two. Um, how many have we got, um, Danny boy? At the moment, at the moment, it might be a short window of opportunity. I have enough to go around. Uh, however, collectors are literally flooding the gates. Um, but well done, and a lot of you on the telephones as well. So congratulations. Um, wonderful, wonderful. Magical strand, lovely. OK, now we've got to go to a little cheeky comfort break, don't you know? Uh, we'll be back after the break with some amazing deals. I've got... Tanzanite and Lapis Lazuli Cabochons coming up as star buyers in this hour for you with a host of other fantastic goodies. And don't forget as well, we have Chrome Diopside and rarely seen, uh, in fact, I haven't seen Songia Sapphire this year. So if you want the ultimate strand of Sapphire, tonight's your night. So please join us. We'll see you in a bit. Are you new to jewellery making? Not sure where to start? Then head over to our website and check out our Get Started page. Watch the welcome message from presenter Carol and find out all about Jewellery Maker. Watch one of our easy to follow tutorials where our guest designers will teach you the basics and give you the confidence to start making earrings, bracelets and necklaces. If you prefer to simply have a go, then check out our starter kits. They contain everything you need, including instructions, tools, gemstones and clasps, allowing you to create your very first jewellery pieces. 
you can either watch the video tutorial or follow the step-by-step -step instructions to give you plenty of inspiration. We also have an array of beginners workshops that you can attend here at our studios and join our experienced designers and get a taste for this fabulous hobby. We will guide you through the basics to get you started making your own beautiful jewellery. Everyone is welcome in the jewellery making family, so start your jewellery making journey today. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call center on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewelry, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. When you place your first order with Jewelry Maker, we'll send you a free DVD and booklet to help you get started. The booklet is jam-packed full of information on gemstones, tools, threading, materials and findings. There are step-by-step -step instructions on how to make bracelets, earrings and necklaces. And the DVD includes easy-to-follow video tutorials. So what are you waiting for? Start your jewellery making journey today. Did you know that if you go to jewelrymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, themed shows, program guides and Jewelry Maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Welcome back to Jewellery Maker and uh, on our lovely friendship day. Lovely, isn't it? So if you've got a little message that you want to send a friend or you want to send us, you can tell us who your friend is, who's your favourite, who's your best friend and all that. It's nice, isn't it? I like It's nice having friends. It's a bit rubbish if you haven't got any friends. Um, anyway, right then, would you like to... Now, first of all, a couple of things I want to show you. This is our rhodium-plated... I've not seen one of these in 2016 either. Dad, I told you Danny's put... Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a gorgeous sterling silver chain, isn't it? And rhodium plated. Now, you might be thinking, I don't know what rhodium plated is. Well, I'm going to tell you all about this later. But basically, it's one of the most expensive precious metals. Sometimes up to more than 10 times more expensive than gold. Is rhodium usually melted down because it's so hard it's one of the it's part of the platinum family so you might be thinking rhodium plated all oh, that doesn't sound that doesn't sound great you want rhodium plated sterling silver <laughs> sorry everybody you want a rhodium plated sterling silver necklace because um, it's gonna it's, it's hypoallergenic it's gonna give you a mirror-like effect it looks bright white it's reflective it's strong it's durable it's anti corrosive it's anti tarnish it is basically magic okay and this is gonna be our star buy coming up later on now if this if this um, sterling silver chain weren't enough can I show you this one because do you know what else we've got we have got and this is oh it's curled all hang on a second we've got Three me oh, hang on a second, everybody. It's wrapped all the way around here. I'll get it off in a minute. We have got three meters. Three meters of a beautiful figure of eight. Or you may know it as an infinity chain. The infinity chain, because we thought what a lovely idea for friendship, the infinity ch the infinity chain. Gorgeous, gorgeous treat for you here. 
and this three meters of sterling silver chain in the infinity design will be going to the most exceptional price tag on jewelry maker for you today with the reusable bobbin that i know you like to use for your kumahimo and take your chains and threads and things on and your earphones on 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 holiday brilliant little reusable bobbins but that lovely it, it's the chain of friendship isn't it the infinity chain a lovely idea and that's why we chose that for you today really really pretty star by 815 so for those of you thinking how long's that then because I'm, I'm in America I'm in Australia um, that is two hours and 15 minutes okay now the other day on the, uh, uh, the weekend rather on Saturday night I had two strands of chrome dopsar and they sold out in about each each strand in less than a minute it was a brilliant, brilliant deal. I have got this incredible strand of chrome dioxide coming up for you on the show today, and it is glorious. And tell you what we'll do, we'll do it in this hour. That's what we'll do for you. We won't make you wait, because don't forget we're live till 10 now on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that, Sarah? Did you know you're here till 10 tonight? I did, luckily. Oh, that's all right then. <laughs> Otherwise, she'd have, been, she'd have been going to pack her bags at night. I'd say, oh, hang on, we need you to stop here for another hour, love. Um, so Chrome Dopside will be coming up in this hour, but as usual with Chrome Dopside, guess what? Guess what? We don't have very many. Super, super limited. Super limited. Okay. Um, I've also got Tanzanite Star by this hour and Lapis Lazuli Capuchons as well. Mm -hmm. Now then, the following fantastic strand, which we don't see on Joy Maker very often, uh, we've only got four chances left. Okay, four chances left. You, I think you'll understand why in a moment because it <laughs> is absolutely amazing. My goodness me. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Now, very occasionally we see, uh, we see white topaz here on Jewelry Maker. Very occasionally we see Swiss blue topaz. Rarely we see sky blue topaz. And even rarer than that is the incredible, intoxicating, undeniably beautiful London blue topaz. There is something mysterious. The colour is exceptional. And it is the ultimate collectible topaz. We are, you can see, oh goodness gracious me, look at that clarity. That is pure see-through, just mouth-watering blue topaz, London blue topaz. Claire and I, yeah, my director's just saying in my head, you know, honestly, probably over the six years of jewellery making, you could practically count how many times we bought London blue topaz on, on jewellery maker. It's, it's super rare. Now, have a look and search for London blue topaz, okay, on the internet, because each one of these in these size, because they start, each one of these ovals on this strand starts at 7 by 4 mil, so they're a good size. And they go up to nine by five mil. So should we, carrot wise, we're talking about 55 carats of this phenomenal gemstone. But have a look for, on the internet, if you would, half the sock's gone. Have a look on the internet and search for London Blue Topaz jewelry. Firstly, it's one of the rarer ones to, uh, to, to return any, any sort of listings for you. You can always ask for a really, really good price point on London Blue. It's the top grade of your topaz. And I do have an exceptional Imperial topaz coming up for you on the show as well. It's superb. But I'm going to give you a quick count because I think you're going to want to know exactly how many you've got on here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 41. Now... 41. Now, I had a London blue topaz like this when I was across on, uh, on the lounge. And uh, I had a London blue necklace like this in sterling silver, and it was easily into triple figures. And then some. And then some. We have managed to get this under £100 for that many London blue topaz. I've got to hold it out for you because you've got to see this. The quality is phenomenal. You could, what did I just count then? Did I just count? 41. Was it 42? 41 was it, sorry. 41 London blue topaz there. At 55 carats, we are talking about the 
ultimate topaz. And I do mean the ultimate. We are down to last two chances on this London Blue Topaz. It is exceptional. Exceptional grade. This is one of those strands as well. If you want the joy of working with one of the most incredible, inc and that is incredible clarity to get that larger gemstone of London Blue Topaz, to get that level of clarity is unusual. But what you could do is if £100 is, is too much for you, then just halve it and split the carrot weight in the strand with a friend. That's the way I would do it. Um, congratulations, we'll leave the last two chances with you there, my lovely, stunning strand. That is such a treat to have on the show today. Congratulations, but we were so, so overloaded with people on that there. I didn't want to... I, oh, I can't bear to see who misses out. I just can't. Uh, right then, the good news. Ooh. Oh, they're lovely. Oh, okay. A lot of the things in the hour this hour are last of stock. I mean, that London blue topaz, we only had four. Okay, four chances only on that London Blue Topaz. Brilliant, brilliant strand. Um, limited again on these abalone, beautiful flat coins. Very sizable, 18 mil. Now, look as the light interacts with every single one of these abalones. Now look, turquoise, greens, violets, blues, turquoise, golds, violets, pinks, purples, all the colours of the rainbow are smitten within each one of these. They're, they're just captivating, aren't they? Fascinating gemstones. I think this is one of the... I mean, if you love amylite, if you love amylite, you're always going to fall in love with abalone. It's got that same sort of multicolour of colours that... Int it's, it's like it's what's known as a chromatic shift of colour. So as the, and again, if I hold that, pull the strand up, look, look at the quality, it's phenomenal. That incredible iridescence that's, that's captivating. And now, as I said, look, I'm so sorry. We are seriously, seriously limited on the majority of strands in this hour. So if you see something that you fall in love with, grab it as quick as you can, check it out. You've all got your 30-day money-back guarantee, haven't you? So it's risk-free purchase on Jewelry Maker. I have got 10 chances at 9.95 for these abalone shells and this is top grade. Not all abalone shells are this quality. This is this is the mind you to be fair this is the only quality of abalone we bring you here on Jewelry Maker. All of our abalones whether they're the cabochons, the large, the small, whether they're the hearts, the rounds, the ovals, all our strands are of the highest highest grade. They are electrifying. Now, again, whether you have it on the neckline, whether you have it as chokers, bracelets, whether you use it as a full feature piece, whether you, you use them just singularly as a ring, look at that. Look as, look as the light hits. Isn't that smashing? Do you like these, Sarah? I do. For me, it's, you know, you get the best of every world almost. You know, there's colours in there that you'll see in certain lights, yep. in certain movements, and then you flip it over and you get a whole new palette. Absolutely. And for me, that's <gasps> yeah. just super value for money you get two for the price exactly one, basically exactly <laughs> it's just a fascinating fascinating Ooh. gemstone now mirabelle i know you like making your stretchy bracelets with these my lovely girl and i know you've just got another one uh let's just approve the point there so if, if we were to make a ring out of these look so as as sarah just said turn it over look totally different look mm. totally different because of different colors different shapes different patterns different swirls and um Oh, bless you, Mirabelle. She, oh, oh, Mirabelle, you little angel. She does It's friendship day, my friend. I bought you the heart garnet charm. I'll Aww. save it for Christmas or for your birthday. Oh, Mirabelle. Oh, Mirabelle, you are too lovely to me, young lady. Oh, she, she knows it's my, she knows it's my birthstone. Oh, <laughs> Mirabelle, thank you, sweet pea. Isn't that lovely? Um, so we, we're not sort of waiting around for every single thing to sell out because we know that the last few are about to go and we've got so many goodies. So many goodies. It's like the goodies show. Do you remember that? The goodies. Are we? Are we doing it? When are we doing it? Now. Oh, okay. Right then. Um, we've just been bought in something very, very special. We're not uh, supposed to be doing this, but we're going to give you an extra cheeky Friendship Day star buy, and it's only going to be the ultimate grade of Ethiopian opal. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, it's a little cheeky surprise for us, isn't it, my lovelies? Um, oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, oh gosh, oh my goodness me. Right then, okay, I have got here for you this phenomenal triple A grade. Hello. Hobber, hobber, hobber. We haven't seen this since February. Wow. Now, I'm going to give you a, a few sort of um, ideas, even though your eyes can tell you exactly why this is AAA grade. But people, might, people sometimes ask us and say, what is the difference? Can you explain to us um, why something would be ungraded, why something would be A grade, AA, AAA? Well, if you think about the tanzanite grading system, and you think how it goes from an ungraded to an A, to a double A, double A plus, triple A, quad A. With tanzanite, it's about the saturation of colour. So it goes deeper and deeper and deeper the higher the grade goes. So that um, it's quite light blue for an A grade and then it keeps going darker, 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 darker till you get a really lush, saturated violet blue and quite a dark blue in a quad A grade. And that's, that's what happens with the tanzanite. With an opal, it's very different. Now, what you get with a AAA grade opal, as you can see down here, is a full range of spectral colours visible across all the stones. We can see that there. Brilliant play of colour moving across the surface of all the stones. Can you see all that bright, rare orange? Can you see that? I mean, when I talk, look at this one here. If I just, there you go, look. That one there, look. The whole surface of that opal, the whole body of that opal is the rarest colour of opal, violet. Again, as you go into the centre here, look, you've got, yes, you've got your luminous greens, but then you've got the rarer colours, the orange. And again, full surface and brilliant play of colour in each one of these, triple A grade. And that's the thing you've got to remember here, we've got the ultimate grade. You basically cannot get a higher grade of, of opal. This is your ultimate triple A grade. You also get translucent, so that jelly-like appearance in every single one of them, not just in the odd one, every single one on this triple A grade strand. You also get, can you see that evident inner glow to every one of those Ethiopian opals? Incredible, isn't it? You also get, can you see that top grade, high quality lustre off every single one of those AAA grade opals? And also then, they have each been beautifully cut, evenly shaped. So again, you've got that beautiful opportunity to pair them if you wish to, to make earrings, for example. So... We're talking about one of the rarest gemstones on the planet. We're talking about a gemstone that really scarily is going the same way as the Songhia Sapphire. The Songhia Sapphire is no more. It is not being mined anywhere else on the planet. You, I have got a strand, believe it or not, of Songhia Sapphire on the show tonight. I can't believe it. I am so excited. If there is a strand that I am happy about tonight on the show, it is my Songhia Sapphire. But this strand here will be going the same way as the Songhia Sapphire and that's a real, real tragedy. But if you want to make sure that you are one of the lucky few that ever get to possess AAA grade opal, and I've got to be honest, if I got this strand, I would not part with it. Now, there is, if you search for jewellery on AAA grade Ethiopian opal, we've seen a single, um, a single single loose gemstone it's, it's a 14 carat to be fair but a single there are 25 carats on this strand a 14 carat single ethiopian opal on the internet do you know how much it's going for 850 pounds 850 pounds in fact divide that by 14 would you for me we'll work it out how much we, how much it would be per carat obviously the bigger the bigger the carrot size, 850 divided by 14 carrots. So that'd be 60 pounds per carrot, if you worked it out that way. 60 pounds per carrot 
of AAA grade Ethiopian Opal, just to give you an idea. We've got 25 carats of triple ultimate A grade Ethiopian Opal. Now we should be, quite rightfully, should be 84.95, but we've been allowed to do something special on this strand. It is, in my opinion, one of the top, top strands of, of Ethiopian Opal. And isn't it lovely that we get to say that with all sincerity? It's the ultimate grade. It's triple A grade. I'm holding it static for you to just, just, and again, no way. Oh, so, right, hang on a second. We've just worked out, it doesn't quite calculate like that, obviously, but just to give you an idea, because obviously the bigger the carrot weight, the bigger the price, and in a single solitaire, of course. But assuming looking at that, that 14 carat stone on there, divide it by, four, by the price, and it would be 60 pounds per carat. So for, for, the le for the price of less than one carat of Ethiopian Opal out there in the marketplace today, we are giving you 25 carats of the AAA grade, and we've never gone this low, have we, Danny? Never have we ever gone to this deal. This is a friendship deal. This is midweek madness. This is us looking after you. Look at that red. Look at those neon greens. Look at those rare, rare violets. Bear in mind as well, I've got all this ridiculously bright fluorescent lights in the studio. Wait till you see these for yourself in natural daylight. They're totally natural. Ethiopian opal, triple A grade. And as I said, this is likely to be depleted. This will be exhausted, the miners are saying, in less than 18 months. Less than 18 months. Triple A grade. Now, how many of these have we got, Danny? We've only got 43. We have only got 43 chance. Well, we started with 43. We haven't got that left now. Less than 50 pounds. We should have been 80 Four ninety-five. I don't think you're ever going to see AAA grade Ethiopian Opal at 25 carats of this calibre for less than this price. This is an amazing one-off chance deal, isn't it? 49.95 for quality Ethiopian Opal, AAA grade. Unbelievable. Congratulations, Debbie, New Jersey. You do have a chance, my lovely. So does Violet in Greater Manchester, if you're quick, my darling. Got a lot of people on the telephone for this one as well. Elaine, congratulations. Kerry, congratulations. Collector, congratulations as well. Well done. What an amazing star buy. Thank you, Danny. Ooh. What an incredible strand. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Um, have I got the carnelian? Yes, I have, my darling. Now, when I bought you the lovely elongated pairs, I'll show you those again in a minute, actually. I did say we got a cheeky deal, didn't I, on rounds of carnelian coming up for you on the show. We'll do them now for you. Okay, just move that out of the way. Um, so, I'll show you the elongated pair drops again in a sec. Now, again, look at that. It's like we were saying with the um, beautiful uh, pink opal earlier. It's lovely to see that variety of, of carnelian, all the different colours, the really rich, 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 beautiful sort of um, deep, deep sort of apricot honey. And then you've got apricots, you've got peaches, you've got oranges, you've got milky hues, caramel tones. They're lovely, aren't they? I've just been told the price. I have just been told the price. And it's... It's... 10 mil rounds. I've got to show you these. Look at the size of them. Are you ready for this? Is everybody sat down? Oh, goodness gracious me. Sarah Elvin, could you... Yes, Sarah Elvin. You want to look at me perplexed as well. Do you want to read that price out to me? 395 3 Yes. 3 it's not right, is it? It's not right. I don't even want to say that. <laughs> what do you think I got you to do? <laughs> that would be my fault there with that price. <laughs> yeah, that way I, I can just say, oh, I didn't say it. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful, though? It is amazing. Genuine, genuine carnelian. And all that ancient history and the Egyptians and their adoration for carnelian. Oh, I'm just thinking as well. You, you, go to the, you go to the tombs, you go to the, the mummy tombs in the National History Museum, everything is carnelian and lapis lazuli. So if you want to create a really, truly authentic Egyptian piece of, of, of jewellery, 
that's your two gemstones, isn't it? It right is. There. Oh, definitely. And you know, it doesn't. You know, you can take those two colours and then put, use them in lots of different ways. But the carnelian to me is sunset on oh, a strand. Oh yeah, absolutely. And it just makes me feel happy, just sitting out over a harbour somewhere, having a nice long drink, yeah. watching the sun go down. Yeah. It's just, and it makes me feel really relaxed and calm, as if I was doing that, just looking at that gemstone. It's just vibrant, though. Sorry, everybody. I was just having a little. Sorry, I got. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, oh, I was with you, Sarah. Then I was, I was, I was, I was transfixed away. Then um, I was, I was, I was on a, I was on a Sahara desert, basically in my linen. Yes. I'd got me pims and lemonade. I got a brolly in it. That's it. I was, I was sorted other alcoholic drinks are obviously available. Um, let's give you all a, a, a quick. Do you want a quick count? Do you want to know how many you're getting? £3.95, Danny. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 39. 39. Would you like to see the pear drops of it that we had earlier? Now, have we got any of those left, Danny, or have they all gone? Look at them. Look at them. Oh, no, I did say to you, didn't I? Oops. Oh, we've got four of those left, my lovelies. So if you'd like that lovely carnelian 10 mil rounds, because if you imagine creating the necklace with the 10 mil rounds and then just one of those elongated, beautiful droplets in the matching carnelian, that would look fabulous, wouldn't it? Hey, Mirabelle's got two, Elizabeth's got two, Collectors in Five have got two, Elaine's got two, Helen's got two, Adele said I'll have three. Ooh. That's great, isn't it? Well done. Congratulations. Congratulations. Um, I tell you what I've, got, what I've got coming up later is a star bar that look great with those as well. Fancy some big chunky uh, Amazonite. Look at them. Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? Look at that for a combination. That is wicked, isn't it? Woo. Okay, right, and this is actually star buy coming up later on today for you as well. I should have bought it. Oh, oh, do oh. you see that then? Did you see me? Did you see me just over the tea bar, Mr. T? Yeah. Sorry about that. Friendship day and the tea bar got it. Sorry, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, thanks. Um, right, there's some mo ooh, moonstone. Ooh. 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 Oh wow. Oh gosh, you know when you put it down in the light and then all the blue adolescence just comes out and just winks at you, basically. Oh wow. Lovely. Got a nice little lapis lazuli line as well. Bit of tanzanite, bit of shocker blue. I'll tell you what, a lot more a lot of brides are going for rainbow moonstone now for that very reason. Because you've got that lovely innocent sparkle of the white of the gemstone itself. And then for those for those sort of brides that don't want all the blue, there's just that hint of that so. little little wink of blue. It's very subtle, isn't it? And yeah. it works beautifully if you've got pearls in your tiara and things like Doesn't that. Doesn't it just, yeah. And, and for me to have sort of two well, I know pearls aren't opaque, but you can't see through them. To have yeah. those two gemstones yeah. together, yeah. one give, and the light from each other just accentuates themselves. So, you know, you end up with the, the light off the pearl, the, the iridescence coming off the pearl, hitting the moonstone, yeah. and just accentuating all of that. Absolutely. It's incredible, isn't it? Mm, it's beautiful. Gorgeous. And again, to get it faceted, now that really is the treat on Rainbow Moonstone. Um, and when that look, you think of the history as well, where, you know, sort of our, our forefathers were believing that this was truly little fragments of our moon that had dropped to earth and we got to sort of work with them and use them in jewellery. Lovely idea. Oh, gosh almighty, I can't cope tonight. I can't cope. Can you cope? Five ninety-five. Oh, you are looking after us, Danny, you little treat. Look at those, they are beautiful. I mean, they'd make the most perfect droplets and waterfall effect jewellery, wouldn't they? Cascading. If you were beautiful. And oh. you can make flowers from them as well yeah. if you want to with your wire work. And yeah, they'd make perfect flower mm. petals, actually, wouldn't they? They would. Can you see it? Can, I, can we turn it around so you can try and see the blues coming through as well? Because they're great in the studio. I don't know whether it's coming through on the, uh, on, the, on the camera. There you go, there's some blue there. As I turn, there you go, look, see? There you go. It's just it's because they, the the, camp, the the lights in the studio bleach them really, but you can see the blues coming through. But it's much more electrifying than that. But that's why you get your thirty day money back guarantee, isn't it? Now Julie's just said, 
Oh, she said, I'm on the Isle of Wight, says Julie. She said, I'm lucky enough to live in the marina. Wow, oh, you lucky thing. And I am watching the sunset go down for you. Oh, oh Julie. <laughs> we were just talking about the Isle of Wight earlier, Julie, when we were saying about catching the cable car down and making the, the sand um, ornaments where you put all the different coloured sands in and it gives you all those lovely effects. We were just talking about that, weren't we, we on were. the Isle of Wight? We were. Yeah. Um, brilliant deal there, five ninety-five. Oh, enjoy that sunset, Julie. Mm -hmm. Live in the marina, how amazing. Uh, right then, so I've just given you a little sneaky peek of the lapis lazuli, didn't I? Um, got some fantastic, fantastic cabochons coming up for you, and we're going to do it at an exceptional star by deal for you as well. <laughs> Do you know, the, the most amazing thing when you get lapis lazuli, true lapis lazuli in cabochons, is the fact that you get that fascinating, and there's no other word for it, totally and utterly fascinating effect that, of lapis lazuli on the surface because you've got that it, it, sort of huge expans expansion of surface area on these cabochons you get that effect all the more vivid all the more theatrical because you've got a bigger surface a bigger stage area for that dramatic sort of performance to come through with their superb now it says deal of the day sorry about that that's because it was previously a deal of the day okay so that comes up every time that they're played so please don't get confused because we have got another deal of the day coming up in an hour and a half so in case you're thinking oh it's a deal it was previously and i think we've been allowed to honor that deal so what is lovely about this is you've got a lovely variety of blues from a, quite a light blue to a medium blue to a milky blue to a dark blue. Now, let me give you the two extremes. Shall I uh, pick two different ones up? Okay, just to try and give you... There you go, look. Look at that. So you've got that lovely subtle blue. We've got some medium blue. So if I put the subtle blue down, just to show you, give you some variety. Can you see, look, you've got a really love, lovely variation of the lapis lazuli multi shapes as well so you've got these elongated ovals we've got look at this one here now that is perfect perfect pendant isn't it just lovely the ovals obviously could you be your pendants they could be cuffs for your bracelet feature sections of your bracelet they could be uh, rings as well beautiful lapis lazuli and it's that i mean what i love about lapis lazuli as well is gents seem to just f favor lapis lazuli over the majority of gemstones don't they or a lot of them do. I think it's quite an easy gemstone for gents to wear because most gents have got a pair of blue jeans. Exactly. Um, you know, yep. um, and it's a very sort of, you know, I'm not saying it's similar, but it's, it's got of, of hues of sort of denim yeah. coming through it. So I think yeah. that's why it's quite easy. And it works so beautifully if you want to use it with things like your natural tones of leather and things exactly. like that. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, you don't have to use the gold with it if you're taking it down the gents route. Use yep. your, your natural sort of brown leathers and suede yep. and things like that. And it works beautifully. Stainless steel, titaniums, mm. all those kind yes. of... And yeah, even, even, I'll tell you what works great with this. If you've seen our brand new oxidised antique gold wire and jump rings and, and uh, that is really cool but again just because you've got those those copper inclusions and iron inclusions in there don't be frightened of using lapis lazuli with silver because it works brilliantly and rose gold every one of the precious metals it works doesn't it it does it just you know and, and mixing your metals together has been oh, your fashion yeah. for so long Absolutely. now so you know for me it really doesn't I, I, I love actually using something that's got a lighter tone or a darker tone because it then accentuates the gold and inclusions in there yeah, incredible. They are stunning. Um, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 big, big sized cabochons. Now that's where we should be. Now that's 990 carats. And the reason we've just given you that camera shot there as well, can you see the variety and of like stepping stone graduational depths there as well? Let me see if I can show you that look on, on my hand. Because when you're learning to wrap a cabochon, first thing Laura Binding and a lot of our wire workers will tell, and I'm sure Sarah Alvin will tell me the same, is that it, it, 
it, it, it differs quite dramatically as you're learning as to the depth of your gemstone, doesn't it? It does. I mean, if you're doing the traditional cabochon setting where you have the wires in bands that run around the cabochon, yeah. the, the more depth you have to the cabochon, the more wires you want in that initial stage when you're setting up so you've got that coverage around the side. Yep. And then when you pull your wires out to cover the cabochon, they're at the right level, so you're not actually overextending extending them over the cabochon and you get a beautiful coverage around the side. Absolutely. Yeah, incredible. So can you see, look, three variations of depth to your gemstone, and, and there's more within the whole, well, the whole setting of these. So, 25% saving, my friend. Wow, brilliant. Okay, so I've counted. Now, you won't necessarily get the same amount that I've got in the studio, okay, because I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. You may get 12, you may get 13, you may get 14, you may get 9, you may get 10. It's all about... It's all about the carrot weight because you've got 990 carrots. Now, per gemstone there, £1.24. pence. That's fantastic, isn't it? £1.24. pence. Goodness gracious me. Now, Angela, Josie, Denise. Uh, oh, Denise, you've got them. Lovely girl. Well done, Denise. Uh, Linda as well. Adele. Uh, oh, Adele, you've just got them. Congratulations. Um, one and a half pence per carrot. Now, the mining of this gemstone is severely limited. It's extremely remote. I mean, this is a location you can't physically drive to. You can't fly to it. You've got to get on horseback. You've got to saddle up. Now, I think I tell you what, I don't know whether I... Would you go to that extreme? Would you actually get on a horse and ride for six weeks there and six weeks back to get this gemstone? I mean, it's incredibly beautiful, so it would be, te it would be tempting. Mm. But when you think, when you think about all the work and all the, you know, all, I mean, think of trying to mine in Afghanistan. It's not the easiest of locations, is it? It's got to be fraught with danger, you would think, wouldn't you? But again, all ethically mined for you, um, all of them, the history, the remoteness of the mining, the rarity of the gemstone itself, the folklore, the myth, the legend, they're just breathtaking, totally unisex as well, which is good news. Now, Mandy's just said, hello, lovely ladies and fab team. Loving the show. She said, but I can't, I'm gutted, I can't buy shit. I've wiped out my account. Excited for the summer. Are you coming to the summer party, Mandy? Do, do, do. Oh, can I just quickly tell everybody about, have I brought it in with me? Did I bring it in with me? Oh, can we just say this, Danny? Now, for those of you that don't know what Mandy's talking about, I've got a piece of paper. <laughs> because the JM Customer Summer Party is coming this way in about, what's the date? I think it's two, three weeks. Three weeks on Friday. Three weeks on Friday we're talking, 1st of July. It's from 11 o'clock in the morning here at Ivy Towers until 4 o'clock. Now, do you want to save £5 off the price? Do you fancy that? Do you fancy that? Five pounds off. Right, all you do, go onto the website, right, or you can ring the, um, the call centre and, uh, and, and quote this as well. Um, the promotion code is WSJMSP5. Okay. Um, I'll tell you what, actually, can we just check the website because I don't know whether they can call the call centre. I think it's a free phone number. Wendy hasn't put it on here. She give me the phone number. <laughs> Uh, but I'm, I'm assuming you can ring the call centre. I'll double check this with Wendy tomorrow. Sorry, she hasn't confirmed that. Um, but you can also book it online, I believe. So can we just check? I don't know where they've got check. Thank you, Claire. Um, now, there are going to be demonstrations from some of our guest designers, including the lovely Fleur Hastings, Claire McDonald, Deb Rudge and Debbie Bulford. Now, I guess, listen to this, right? Marquee with music, drinks and buffet. And I've heard there's going to be Prosecco. The jewellery maker shop will be open. Uh, summer fruity beverage. Oh, hello. That might be Danny. Presenters and guest designers will be attending. I'm coming. And uh, yes, Prosecco in the afternoon. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Oh, yeah, baby. Um, so we'll just double check on the website whether you can book on the website. Uh, so we're, we're just having a quick look for that now. And I will double confirm the phone number that you can call with Wendy tomorrow. And we'll re reconfirm that tomorrow uh, on the show as well. Okay, my lovelies. Great to save five pounds, though, isn't it? It's like when you book your garden waste collection at the beginning of the year online. You can save five pounds, can't you? Mm. Um, right then, chrome diopside. We're going to do this. It's my presenter's pick of the show. Uh, get ready. It's my favourite gemstone on the planet. It's chrome diopside. Mm. 
you know, I cannot contain my excitement every single time I pick up chrome dark side. I will never tire of gazing at this gemstone. For me, it's the ultimate. For me, it's the, it's, 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 it's the just, the perfect, perfect gemstone. It's 50 carats and the smallest chrome dark side on there is four mil goes up to seven mil, so it almost doubles in size as it, as, it, as it goes through the strand. 50 carats. Look at this. Now this is natural, natural beauty. There is nothing enhanced. There is nothing treated. This is just totally and utterly natural absolutely natural now they're mined in russia in sub zero temperatures they can only mine it for 10 to 12 weeks of the year okay so 10 to 12 weeks of the year all right now that starts about now june july august the last couple of years unfortunately they've only managed 10 weeks now the rumor is in the trade we don't know how true this is because we can never get uh, into russia to actually visit this mine we've never been allowed in 12 years um but there is rumor for some reason that, that it will not be mined this year so the the supply of chrome diopside could be next to zero this year which is gonna have a massive effect on this gemstone now the beauty is evident the quality is right there in front of your very eyes. It's outstanding, isn't it? Just gay. Oh, we've got the, uh, oh, we've got royalty in the gallery. I can hear the managing director. See, the ultimate precious gemstone and down comes the MD. He's not daft, is he? No. He's not daft. He knows which gemstone to come down and look at. Let me show you this. Stunning. Now, Mandy in Liverpool. Mandy, I thought you weren't buying. Do you like, oh, that's my scouse. Um, now, Mandy, what, Mandy, you lasted 11 minutes. Didn't you, lovely? <laughs> Mind you, chrome diopside. Chrome diopside that, and this is the wonderful thing about this gemstone. Every single time, rare as it is but every single time we get this incredible gemstone with this superb glow and it's all due to that high refractive index now we loved the, the uh, Colombian emeralds we had earlier didn't we absolutely loved it but you get this richness of green deep dark luscious green and it drips splendor royalty, nobility, aristocracy. You think of the Tsars of Russia with this in their jewelry box, it glows. Now let me hold this out for you to show you. Now, whenever I'm going out and I wanna look particularly posh, it's a, it's a hard task, but you know what? I've only got to pop on some chrome dark side and I feel like a million dollars. It is a mindset thing because if you, if you wear something as magically beautiful as this you feel you, you sort of feel three inches taller it's the oddest thing but we've all got a piece of jewelry in our in our collection or something that we've made particularly being jewelry makers where we we fully appreciate the splendor of a gemstone and it makes us it makes us glow and there's now i've got a chrome dopside four carat solitaire. I've got earrings. I've got uh, a, a beautiful cascade waterfall necklace. Um, single pendants. You've only got to have a splash, just one chrome dopside, just one splash of that luxurious leafy green. It's rich, isn't it? Really, really rich. Now, fifty nine ninety five. Now that's for the entire strand of 50 carats. Now, if I were to tell you that if you ever get to own, if you ever get the, the, the privilege, as far as I'm concerned, and it really is a privilege to own half a carat of this gem, you're in talking serious rarity. So how's it gonna feel when on one strand, you've got 50 carats? That's 25 times a rare carat weight size for 39.95. 
I had a bottle of wine in a restaurant the other day, £38. Bottle of wine, bottle of Sancerre, other wines are available. And do you know what? It wasn't even on the pricey page of the wine menu. It wasn't even on the special wines page. And it was £38. Now, my managing director is in shock, but he obviously doesn't uh, frequent these posh places. <laughs> Just saying. Um, so, £39.95. Now, if you make one solitaire piece, and if I'm, I'm talking about half a carrot to a carrot of chrome dark side in sterling silver in a ring, just a single solitaire, you'd be talking easily 90 to 100 pounds. You start putting sort of one, two or three of these into a piece of jewelry, you're talking three figure jewelry each and every time. We will also bring you a sterling silver findings pack in a moment. Now I've had a couple of these on recently um, and they've sold out instantly. Okay. Fifty carats of chrome diopside here on one single strand. It's what they call the million dollar emerald. Because an emerald, as beautiful as it may be, because it doesn't have the double refraction, because it doesn't have this exceptional high refractive index, it, it doesn't have that internal glow to this degree. Sensational, isn't it? Every single look at the look at the sheer beauty in every single one. That is Mother Nature's dream on a strand, isn't it? Now, Mandy in Liverpool, I apologise that we've, uh, we've 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 stopped the uh, I'm not allowed to buy moment, but it, it I think you I think you'll be patting yourself on the back. You're going to fall in love with this instantly. You're not going to be able to part with it, sweet pea. Mandy just said, oh, Z, that is stunning. I'll be getting dragged into the bank manager's office, but it's well worth it. I can't say no to the chrome dark side, Z. Well, that's the thing, isn't it, Mandy? Do you know what, Mandy? Go in there resplendent in your self-made chrome dark side jewellery and you just beam at him. What's he going to say? What's he going to say? He'd be like, fair enough. Fair enough. Now, for the jewellery maker summer customer party, all you need to do is... You can call the call centre, that is the good news. So 0800 644 655. Don't forget to quote that code, which was WSJM. So that's, remember, workshop jewellery maker, right? And it's SP5, special price £5 off. All right? Okay, so call the call centre or you can book on the uh, website as well, Jewelry Maker website. Now, it's first come, first serve. Now, when I spoke to Wendy a couple of days ago, uh, nearly three quarters of the tickets are gone. Okay, it's going to be a sellout, guaranteed. Um, so, all I would do is, if you want that £5 off as well, book as soon as you can. All right, my lovely. So, well done on the chrome dot side. Congratulations, Mandy. Well done. You're going to absolutely love it. Um, right then, would you believe I've got a Tanzanite star by? So, we've had those amazing rondelles in the beautiful jewellery that we showed you earlier made by Sue. Now, we have got beautiful pear drops. Beautiful, beautiful pear drops of glorious tanzanite. And this is an incredible strand for you. It's going to be a star buy. And I tell you what we'll do. We can't wait another five minutes, can we? Shall we just get cracking on this star buy for you right this second? Woohoo! <laughs> Do you know when you see when you see a strand of tanzanite as 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 rare as tanzanite is, and you, and we 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 are so passionate about the quality of our tanzanite that we have no qualms about drawing the camera right set in, and we put a magnifier on it, and then what we do is when when a, when a jeweler grades a diamond, which is a, you know it's an exp, it, it, it's it's a very important task. They they grade a diamond. They get their jeweler's eye loop and it's, it, it's magnifies, it magnifies the gemstone by 10 times. Now, when we show you that tanzanite on that recording, we are basically exaggerating and magnifying the, the, the close-up by up to 44 times. So 34 times that of an eye jeweler's loop, uh, a, a jeweler's eye loop. 
So you can see right into the heart of those tanzanites. You can gaze right close up, more so than that your naked eye that could ever do. And that's when you can really appreciate the quality of each one of these tanzanites. I mean, even from a distance, look, you can see the glorious, absolute textbook tanzanite hues. You can see that each one is, is, is voluptuous in that textbook tanzanite view. But when you get to look really into the soul of each one of these tanzanites, you just, you can't help but marvel and, and appreciate each one of those that have been lovingly created by Mother Nature. So rare. Can you understand, when you look at each one of these, the, 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 the full reasoning behind this being now one of the official but do you know it's it's been years since a gemstone was added to the gemological institute of america's 18 previously there were 17 18 birthstones that is a rare accolade to attribute to a gemstone no other gemstone has achieved it in in years and years and years but tanzanite the dramatic effect that on the gemstone modern day market the tanzanite has had no other gemstone can claim such an effect within the last 50 years it's superb. Everything about it, the rareness, the, the one location sort of a phenomenon, the fact that it, it's unlikely to ever grow anywhere else on the planet, which is quite convenient, because it'd be a bit awkward, wouldn't it? Tanzanite from Tanzania, and then you can find it in England. Wouldn't really work, would it? 75 glorious carrots of Tanzanite. Look at those. And look, have you seen, when you, when you go to the centre of the strand, if I hold this out for you, actually, so you can have a really good gander, just one pendant. Imagine that huge, huge 12 by 7 mil tanzanite on this rhodium plated necklace that I'm wearing. You've got, I mean, what, what do you think, Sarah, for, for, for a tanzanite of a 12 by 7 mil, so that big one there, mm -hmm. on a rhodium plated, so part of the platinum family. Yeah, definitely. Rhodium plated necklace, fully made. What would you think, what would you happily part with in, in a store to buy, to oh, buy that okay. Tanzanite necklace? I mean, if you were, if you, it depends where the jewellers is. I yeah. mean, you know, for, but for me, living in London, sky's the limit. I mean, it could be thousands, it yeah. could be tens of thousands. Yeah. Incredible. Could, you know, you're certainly looking at several hundred pounds. Oh, absolutely. 100%. You know, if not, you know, I'd be sort of five, six, seven hundred pounds probably for that yeah. in the jewellers. For that quality of yeah. Tanzanite. Yeah. Incredible. Easily. Incredible. Now then. I have, you saw what we did on the Colombian Emerald, didn't you? The quality of the Colombian Emerald we took to 1995, didn't we? We've just taken 50 carats of chrome diopside to less than, a, less than 40 pounds, less than a pot, bottle of a price of wine in a restaurant, for goodness sake. We should be, and with the emphasis on the word should, 47.95 for 75 carats of incredibly beautiful tanzanite at what i mean for every imagine now i were to pour out a pile of 1000 diamonds this is because we bandy this this phrase all the time don't we thousand times rare the diamond and it sounds very flippant very throwaway very and we forget how important this is so if i had a pile of 1000 diamonds here and i took one tanzanite and popped it next to that pile of 1000 diamonds that's the rarity. It's hard to get your head around, isn't it? Have you seen what we've just done? 47.95, and we've just taken it down 20 pounds for you. 20 pounds saving on the, a strand. And can I tell you what else? I don't know whether this is coming through the camera, but this strand I've got in front of me here has got copious amounts of beautiful burgundy pinks beautiful burgundy pinks 27.95 on these tanzanites each one has been beautifully faceted credible quality beautiful player crowism well say player crowism because that's the word we all tend to use don't we, we all tend to recognize but it's trichroism because you've got violet, you've got blue, depending off if you're indoor and outdoor. And that's the other great thing about tanzanite that we forget to mention all too often. 
If you go indoors with, with the tanzanite, you'll see a totally different hue to when you're outside into bright daylight. So it, it's, it's almost like a chameleon. It's fascinating, a tanzanite. Great deal. 27.95. Can I just check how many of these we've, have we got, lovely? Okay, so I didn't get to see the list of names coming through. I'm assuming you're racing through the availability at 27.95. Incredible deal. 75 carats. Okay. Right, now the good news is I do have a tad more tans. I'm talking about another strand. That's it. Okay, right then. It's, uh, here we go. Oh, gosh, that's a long one. That, now, this is your last Tanzanite of the Late Show today, okay? Um, I'm intrigued to see what measurement we've got on this, because I'll tell you what I'm measuring in the studio. It's 34 centimetre, is it? Goodness, great. That's, that's a long strand of Tanzanite, isn't it? Now, I've only got... This is the, uh, this is the only thing to just me make a mental note. With the speed of your checking out, we've got 28 chances only. Now, every single one of them. Oh, to tell you what, would you like to see that with the pair drops we've just done? Just to show you how brilliantly those rondelles with those pair drops would work. Perfect pairing, aren't they? Superb. 80 carats of tanzanite here. 80 carats. Now, a lot of people favour the rondelle shape. They just, they just fall in love with it. And again, what we've done with this, what, why that was a lovely combination with the with the pear drops is the pear drops are beautifully faceted the rondelles are that lovely subtle beautiful open plain rondelle so again we've got to be super 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 proud and really so i'm trying to find the word now i'm trying to think of the word um self-assured of the quality of our tanzanite to not facet it really really have now, sometimes less is more. Sometimes the less you do to a gemstone when it's as naturally, incredibly beautiful as this. Now, all that happens with tanzanite is it's heat treated. Now, a lot of people in the industry don't even class heat treatment as a treatment. The reason being, it's just an acceleration of heat, which Mother Nature would have done had it had a few more million years in the ground. It's that simple. In fact, the heat treatment on a tanzanite is so subtle, you can actually change the colour of a tanzanite with the, with the heat that's on your barbecue. So it doesn't have to be that high. So it's a, it's, it really is very much a, just an, a, an exaggeration and a continuation of what Mother Nature would have done. Now then, it's, a, it's an incredible deal. 20, oh, hang on a second. 20, we're going to beat that. 27.90, right, okay, now we're all with, sat here with bated breath, aren't we? 27, <laughs> do you know what, Danny? You are absolutely excelling yourself tonight, my friend. We have just taken, oh my word, tonight, we have taken Colombian emeralds to less than 20 pounds and we've taken 80 carats of Tanzanite to 17.95. That is, how many in stock? Okay, well, we started with 28. We've got, we've got, well, listen to this. Elaine, Jen, collector already checked out. I've got collectors in Kent, in Powys. I've got Jane. I've got Anastasia. I have got Georgina. I have got Delia. I have got collectors in Kent, Helen in Suffolk, Susan in Devon, Carmel in, uh, Susan in Devon, Carmel in County Durham. I've got Claire in Surrey. Oh, my goodness me. Julia, Emma, here everybody comes. 17.95. Today on The Late Show, you could have had for less than £40 a strand of vibrant, glowing Colombian emerald, a stunning 80 carat strand of tantalising tanzanite. This is, and look at the size again. These are considerably sizable gemstones. And the fact that they are super rare tanzanite at this grade. Oh my goodness me. So I've got a lot of people on the telephone. This always happens when I've got Tanzanite at this, gra at this grade, at this, at this price. 
Joyce has just come in on the telephone. Uh, uh, Carol's just coming on the telephone. Diane's just coming on the telephone. Cassie is just coming on the telephone as well. Um, it's going to be a race to the finish. We're in single figures now already. Isabel, Irina, Sam, Collector in Lincolnshire, in Kent, uh, uh, Delia, Helen. They've nearly gone. Lavinia's just come in and snapped one up on the phone. Can I have a final figure on how many we've got left, Sweet Pea? How many? Six. Oh, hang on. It might be five because somebody else has just checked out. We've got 12 of you with this in your baskets and I've got four left. Okay, so it is absolutely first come, first serve. But what a great, great, great deal. Congratulations, everybody. Um, you don't have, well, in fact, three chances left. Okay, now coming up after the break, congratulations, they'll all, they're pre pretty much gone, but congratulations. Now the good news is after the break, we are going to get to the section that we all love. We all absolutely adore. It's the fantastic demonstration from our guest designer. We've got the wonderful Sarah Elvin. Now if there's a guest designer who loves, loves, loves seed beads, it's a, this lovely lady <laughs> over here. And we've got the ultimate seed bead in this kit. We've got the True Twos. Um, and they are exceptional. You're going to absolutely love them. They are glossy. They are br the brilliance, the colours, the sparkle. They're exceptional. Beautiful Eslan. We've got the crochet hook kit as well coming up for you. Uh, we've even got elastic for the elasticated bracelets in multicolours. We've got everything you could wish for in this hour. But if you want to do macrame, kumahimo, if you want seed beads, if you want Eslans, this is the hour for you. We're going to have a fantastic demonstration from Sarah. And we'll see you in just a few seconds. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewelry maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. We are always filming new DVDs with our specialist guest designers, so visit our website for more information. know that Jewellery Maker's phone number is free from a UK landline. Now you can spend those extra pennies on more shopping. No matter how many times you purchase with Jewellery Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $2.95 or, if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $4.95. Do you want to tell everyone about the great purchase you've made from Jewellery Maker? Do you want to shout about the great service you've received? Then why not download the Jewelry Makers Viewers Voice app available for iPhone or Android and record a video that could be played on Jewelry Maker. Simply search Jewelry Maker Viewers Voice in the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and download our Viewers Voice app straight to your phone or tablet. You can record as many videos as you like and send them straight to us here at Jewelry Maker. All you have to do is then carry on watching us as usual and wait for your video to be played. Download the JM Viewers Voice app and you could be the next face we see here on Jewelry Maker. If for any reason you're not satisfied with your purchase, you have the benefit of our no quibble 30 day money back guarantee. Just complete the returns form enclosed with your goods and send them back for a full refund.
Hello, my... Oh, the glasses are off. Oh, no. that was a last minute decision, wasn't it? I can't um, see the camera, come on. <laughs> well, it's nice to come over because it feels like I've ignored you for two mm. hours. How are you, gorgeous face? I'm very well, thank you. Okay. You were a bit chuffed with this kit, weren't oh, you? Oh, do you know, I love my CBs. You do, don't I do. you? I do, I do. Because we launched these a few weeks ago, didn't yes. we now? Yes, Birth birthday, birthday week, wasn't birthday it? Birthday week, yes. And you were so excited about these new CBs, weren't uh, you? Do you know, it, for me, it just opens up a whole possibility of joy It does, making. doesn't it? And it means that you know you can do lots and lots of different intricate weaves yeah we can keep it really quite simple if yeah. you're new to sea beading as exactly, well so yeah. uh, very versatile these yeah, aren't they definitely yeah so we've got um some beautiful eslons in the kit we've got a lovely findings kit in there as well so basically all you would need to get started in this kit isn't it definitely yeah <laughs> we've got peacock pearls as well would you believe and we've got two variations on these beautiful beautiful um they, they, they're, they're called fire polish aren't they they are Yes. yes. Fire polish um, check seed beads. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the, just to give you an idea, I'm going to show you these. Have I got another little... Can you just... I'm just going to grab a mat. Hang on. <laughs> oh, I've got it. I've oh, got it. Hi. There you go. Super quick. <laughs> uh, oh, that was a... Oh, that was fingers down the black board oh, then, wasn't it? Oh, that's squeaky. Oh. Okay, so... What I'm just going to do... Oh, yeah, we could do with a lighter one, actually, couldn't we? There's me, <laughs> there's me grabbing that, thinking, hang on, we won't see them, will we? Thank you, um, lovely Em. So, I'm going to pour you two. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Tell you what, if you, love if you love glitter and sparkle, you kind of, you, these, these are it. They are. They are completely. And these, oh, they're just amazing. And even, you know, the black ones have got so much luster to so them. So much gloss and sparkle. Yes, and yeah. oh. I might have just accidentally mixed a few in, but, you know, that'll be, we can have a bit of fun later separating them, can't we? How about that? <laughs> That'd be great. Yeah, in fact, that would be wonderful. Okay, so we have got here, these are your incredible, um, and these are the, um, we're classing these as the, now they're the Aurora Borealis, aren't they? They are the Aurora Borealis. Say, yeah. So the idea of the Aurora Borealis is that you've got all that lovely variation of colour, almost like a mystic effect, isn't it? Sometimes you turn them and they, they, they just change completely. Yeah. So every time you turn them, they get a different sort of feel to them. And yeah. depending on what light they're in, they almost look different as well. So, you know, when you're working in your, maybe your work environment, they look one way. And then when you bring them into natural sunlight, they're just completely Absolutely. Alive. Now, the other thing I want to draw your attention to, if, if we just go back to that, to that nice um, view, because the reason being, there was one that was just separated on its own. Now, they're two millimetre seed beads, but... What I just want to show you on, because because and I'll try and point it to you if I can, is that they've got their true two mil, and the idea being true two means it's one of the few seed beads out there that is a true two millimetre. That's it. So they're, they're uniform in size and length. Absolutely. Now, as we were going, there we go. So if you look at this one here, okay, right next to my finger, can you see that unusually for a two millimetre seed bead, Okay, and it is only one of the only true two mil seed beads available on the market. It has a very generous one millimeter hole, and basically, you, it, it's it, imagine how hard it is to drill a two millimeter seed bead. Now, imagine how difficult that must be when you're trying to get a one millimeter hole through a two millimeter seed bead. These are so incredible. And basically, you can therefore get multiple threads through and that allows you to utilize different weaving techniques, doesn't it? It does. Um, and these you'll probably get, depending on what threading material you're using. So if you're using something like a wildfire or a fire yeah. line, um, you'll typically get four passes through them. Really? Yeah. <laughs> um, and if you're using something like the Super Eslon, you may get more. Well, the good news is we've got some gorgeous Super Eslon in this show today. We have got, this hour's all about Eslon seed beads, crochet, and it's just the most fantastic <laughs> hour for you if you're into all that kind of uh, medium on Jewelry Maker. So we've got the Aurora Borealis. Now, they're on the True 2, on the Jet Aurora Borealis Fire Polish Crystal, I'll get my words out in a minute, Crystal Check Seed Beads. Uh, you've got approximately 200. And then again, in the black, you've got 600 again. So you've got 1,200 of these beautiful True 2 seed beads. They are amazing. And basically, the fire polish seed beads are, are really, really popular. Do you, know how, do you know how long ago it was when they were first made? No. I don't think it's very long, is it? Well, they reckon five centuries. Oh, seed beads. Yeah, on the... Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. But these ones are fairly new to the market, the um, True 2 um, 
size on the on the fire polish. It's like fairly new to the market, I believe. Sorry, I thought I said six hundred of each and one thousand two hundred in total. Yeah, sorry, just to clarify, because my, my, I'm just clarifying there. But yeah, six hundred of the black and six hundred of the aurora borealis. Okay. Then we've got the peacock pearls. Okay, so if I show you those as well. So peacock pearls, we've got some Esalon coming up and the findings kit as well. It's a brilliant, brilliant kit. So lovely, lovely strand there of your um, peacock cultured pearls at 7 by 8 mil. So lovely, generous strand there. And that's going to go great with the black seed beads or the um, Aurora Borealis. Brilliant. It does, yeah. Lovely. Okay, then I promised you a findings kit, didn't I? Hundred, hundred and fifty piece. I'm going to hold, can I just, I won't, oh, oh. Oh, I was trying to hold it up because you've got things on the board, haven't you? Yeah, that's um, okay. okay. Top, it was fine. You sure? Yeah. Okay, lovely, thank you. So, 150 piece findings kit, well she says that, there might be a few pieces on the floor. Um, so, we have got the um, beautiful, uh, well, let me just show you here, We it's all silver plated. You've got that lovely, lovely chain, which I am guessing is going to be an entire metre. Oh, yes, it is. Mm -hmm. So that can be used as a chain, standalone as, on its own, as an ankle chain or a bracelet or charm. Perfect for a charm bracelet, that would, wouldn't it? It is. I mean, I love the open nature of this chain. Um, I love them. And the uniformity of the links is beautiful. It is. Very professional. It's uh, lovely to use. It, it works beautifully. It falls with a lovely weight to yeah. it as well, which yeah. is really important when you're jewellery making. Sometimes, you know, you, I've, I've used chains before and they've got no weight no, to them. No, exactly, and they, they don't fall properly, do they? they stick to you. Yeah, and, and so this very is unsightly. Yeah, perfect. very unsightly. 24 grams, okay? Um, but just to give you an idea, look, we've got the lovely size bolt ring clasp, we've got jump rings, we've got crimps, crimp covers, we've got shepherd hook earrings, we've got uh, the crimp covers there for you, and you've got some head pins as well. So again, everything you'd need, all silver plated. And I haven't quite finished there because I've got three reels. I love these reels, they're so cute. <laughs> they are so cute. These are your Eslon threads. Each one is 75 centimeters. They're 0.1 mil each. Um, so each one is 75 meters. Um, you've got black, um, black uh, Eslon and uh, charcoal and white. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So all 0 0.1 mil, so 75 metres a piece as well. So we should be 41 pounds and 65 pence because we have got two packs, each with 600 of the stunning, stunning True Twos, those crystal gorgeous glass seed beads, one in the Aurora Borealis, which is predominantly blue with golds and pinks and yellows and just amazing they are. Just as the Aurora Borealis <laughs> with the Northern Lights, if you don't know what the Aurora Borealis is. And 600 of the 2 mil with the 1 mil hole. That's really important about this because you get that versatility of weaving with these beads. Which is kind of a £40 to £27.95. What do you think about that, young lady? I could actually pay that for one set. Of the seed beads. Of the seed beads in certain places. Um, without any shadow of a doubt. Because you get 600 if you're yeah. doing any comparisons, check your comparisons. Check your volumes, yeah, your absolutely. Volumes, definitely. Yeah. Because there aren't many places that actually sell the uh, the True Twos in packs of 600. So as you said, when you're checking yeah. your prices, check your volume. Yeah. 27.95. Okay, so the jewellery there is just stunning, isn't it? So you've got, um, I particularly love the way you frame the peacock. Um, the peacock pearls in the earrings as well, they're absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Oh, really, really yeah. pretty. The, the, some, of the, you know, some of the pieces are, are a little bit more understated, but you've got that sparkle and shine yeah. coming through from the, from the Aurora Borealis, and it's just accentuating those yeah. beautiful colours of the pearls. Oh, and the sparkle, because that's when it, what you're going to get um, on these beautiful seed beads. You're going to get sparkle, you're going to get brilliance, you're going to get li literally glitter and scintillation. Can I turn that, pick that up for you quickly? Because we're not getting to see that beautiful bracelet. Let me just hold that up for you. Just grab it. I'm just going to... There you go. Look at that. And that's what we talk. Look at that brilliance off those incredible, incredible True Two seed beads. They're amazing, aren't they? 
Now, you could really make some beautiful jewellery-free friends with this to represent Friendship Day, couldn't you? That's it. I mean, yeah, that's using just a fraction of the kit. So Isn't you're, it? You're only using 16 pearls there. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you can make that several times over Absolutely. And still have loads left to play with. Stunning jewellery. Really, really stunning. So, we are... How many of the kits have we got, Danny? Oh, we've only got 62 kits. Not going to be enough. Um, but just before we get on to this lovely demonstration from our fantastic, lovely uh, Sarah Elvin, we have been asked to bring you back the popcorn chains. OK, now, the popcorn chains are all about that Italian sort of designer style. Mm. They've got a really unique finish. They've got a very unusual texture. They look super chic, super stylish, bang on trend ultra fashionable and you get three of these necklaces now the great thing about these is they come with quite a considerable extender at the back it's actually two and a half inches so if you want a really dramatic italian look what you could do is have a three strand popcorn necklace couldn't you i was just thinking that i would just yeah. wear all three um you know because you know for summer these are going to go with everything Absolutely. and if you only want to take just a few pieces of jewellery yep. on holiday yep. um, and maybe you've got some beautiful gold chains that you wear all the time at home but yep. you don't necessarily want to take them on holiday no. with you, these are perfect to take with you, um, they take up very little space, you yep. can wear them through the airport. They're no very problem. lightweight as well yeah. and, and that's the great thing. And that triple look and if you've got different tones, think about layering up maybe the silver one with the um, sort of gunmetal black ones that we've got and then the gold one as well yeah. and mixing and matching them and you've got you know different look for every day of the week there. absolutely now you're gonna get three of these okay we should be for hang on you're gonna beat that are you really <laughs> oh you monkey um right didn't expect that everybody 14.95 is less than five pounds a chain uh believe it or not and i'm gonna i'm gonna lick no way oh that's naughty than that's like the that's like for the price for the bracelets <laughs> Ah, oh. now can I can I just show you the the back just so that you can see that they're ready made? Look, so we've got a, a, a lovely super sized uh, lobster clasp. Okay, there's your two and a half inch extender, so you can take this from sixty. This is a, a, a forty five centimeter necklace, so that's sixteen to eighteen and a half inch. Then you're going to be able to go there. So as we said, you've got two and a half inches to play with and wear that as a three strand necklace. Now each one of those, imagine that. I mean. Look at that on the neckline. Let me just quickly show you. Because there is no way in a million years, if you wore that out, look at this beautiful necklace then. I've got the, ster the rhodium plated sterling silver on as well, but let's say you wear that out. In a million years, I'll tell you what, you could have a field day with your friends, couldn't you, betting what you paid for this oh, in a store? You. Definitely. Do you think anybody would say £2.99? No chance. No chance, would they? No chance at all. But the great thing is, this, if you love sort of doing um, coil coiling and gizmo in your, your, your wire, you've got a lovely lightweight, beautiful texture, and there's little sort of tiny sections in there for you very easily to attach your pendants to, isn't there? There is, but also what you could do, because they where the um, undulation and the links are with yeah. the chain, you could actually take the super lon and the true twos and sew through oh, and embellish gosh, yes. um, quite easily in any tones that you want and just oh. actually add to the chain and it will because it's going to move and undulate beautifully oh no that is a lovely idea well i'll tell you what young lady shall i shall i move those findings away and do you want to show us yes let me move those out the okay, way gorgeous okay. face move those over here okay. Now, am I right in thinking that this lovely necklace here yes. is the one that you're going to show us how yes. to make? Yes, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I was thinking when I was making this, I wanted to do something that if people had never, ever picked up a seed bead before, they could make. Oh, great. Um, and it can be um, adjusted and changed the design in lots of different ways. Um, and it uses both the colours. And I was showing um, the producer earlier that even though I've got a really busy top on, when you put that over this top, it's the light that catches. Wow. Um, and with all that brilliance. With all the movement when, yeah. you're, when you're moving. So it's a really lovely, lovely design. Okay. And, and basically, if you can pick up a needle and thread, you can make this design. Fantastic. Um, and it uses, um, I'm personally using the charcoal, and I've used the charcoal on pretty much most of my designs because I love the fact that it, it went with everything. Yeah. But just to show you, I created pretty much all my designs. This is my reel, and this is one that's not been opened so you can see oh, that wow. 
Um, if I hold them that way, you see that they haven't, it hasn't really gone down a lot. Um, so you do get an awful lot. It's going to go a long way. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I've taken a length of my charcoal and when you get um, the Superlon, it's actually bonded to itself. So when you pull it off, it's not going to unreal. So if you were to leave that, it's actually got a slight bonding. Oh, great. So it's not necessarily springy. It's not no. going to... Right, okay, great. So it's almost like got a, a, like a wax or something that bonds it to the next layer underneath. But that doesn't affect the thread at all. And you can see how soft this is. Now, um, if you've never used the Superlon before, but you may have used something like Wildfire, um, you, the only thing you need to be careful with with this is because it's a woven thread, you can pierce it with your beading needle. Okay. But the chances are, because the holes in the in the True Twos are so big, you're not going to do that. Right, okay. Okay, so, and I didn't do it once in all the designs I made, so, you know, it makes it really easy for you. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start to make lots of little components like, I'm just going to show you this one. I hold it over the back of my oh, hand. Oh, lovely. So wow. maybe over the overhead can get it all done. There we go. So we're going to make lots of these little components. And they're almost like, I, f I think of them as like um, coral fonds. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because it is like a like a skeletal, Yeah. the way it, it grows, yeah. isn't it, the coral? Yeah, yeah so we're going to oh, make lots like of these that. little um, sort of little pieces and they're going to build up to make our design. Yeah. It's a very, very simple, easy weave for people who are starting out. Okay, so to start off with, we need to thread on a certain number of beads. Now, I did various different lengths. Now, you do it in multiples of five. So okay. I've got 15 on here. And what that's going to give me is going to give me four of those fronds. Oh, okay. So for every five, you get a frond, plus you get an extra one. Okay. So 15 will give you four, 20 will give you five, and so got on. Got you. Okay. So I've used um, the jet black mm -hmm. on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm now going to pick up, um, and I'm going to do it slightly differently to the ones I d I've done, just to show you the different contrasts in the colour, so you can see where I'm going. It might okay. just be a bit easier. What I would normally do is pick up four of the core colour, which is this one here, yeah. and one of my accenting colours, which would be the Aurora Borealis. Um, but I'm going to do it a slightly different way around. And so you're going to pick up one, two, three, four. Now, if you haven't got a beading mat like this, what you can use is something like a non-flocked tea towel. So like n sort of no lint in it, so yeah, to speak, so a lint-free. No yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, okay. um, but these are on, I think these are on the website, I think they're 95 pence, if my memory serves me correctly. <laughs> so add one to your order. Um, and I'm just going to pick up one of my black beads. Am I okay there? Can you see me? Let me yeah. move myself up a little bit. There you go. Like so. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull down and then I'm going to go back through every bead I've just added apart from the last one. Okay. Which is my black, uh, my black one. And that's going to create a stopper bead because I'm not going through it. It won't, it won't allow the thread to go back through these four beads. So... Now at home, you'll be able to get your head nice and close to the beads and actually be yep. able to see what you're doing. So, But I can't because my head will be in the way. So there you go. So I've got through all four beads. Yep. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull right through. And that's created the first frond of my design. Okay. Now for security and to save you crying, I've put a little bead stopper on yeah. the other end, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so that these beads that we added at the start haven't won't be anywhere yeah. to escape. Because once you've threaded them all, the last thing you want is them all falling off. Yeah. And you know, it's the last thing that you want is, you know, for the other phone to go or something and you yeah. stand up too quickly and everything yeah. falls off. Okay, so that's my first front and I'm going to now start to create the second one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up four of my whichever one is your main bead, yep. and one of my accent beads onto my needle. Okay. You can see that I don't pick my beads up, because no. it's a lot easier if you don't pick them up, because you imagine, they're quite small, um, and if you pick them up, your fingers cover most of the surface area of the bead, and therefore it's very difficult to thread them. So it's better to work off a mat. I'm going to take those four down, five down, sorry, and I'm going to come back through the four we've just added. Yep. So, I'll try and do this without like my head in the way. There we go. One, two, three, four. Yep. Like so. Yep. And then I'm going to pull part of the way through, and then I'm going to pick up 
the f next five beads on my strand to jump me up to the next level. Okay. So I'm going to just go through those. And it's good for me to do, do this without pulling everything through. So I can show you a few of the pitfalls you might get okay. into. Can I ask as well, what sort of size needle you're using? Uh, it's a size 10 size beading 10. needle. Okay. Um, and it is important, it is a beading needle, not a household needle, for two reasons. The eye of the needle is a lot thinner, so therefore will pass through the beads beautifully. But also the needles, when they're beading needles, are flexible. Yes, they bend. Whereas a household needle is a hardened steel needle because you don't want it bending because you want it to pierce the cloth. So it's going to make the job twice as hard. Yeah, so when you're doing, sort of going round corners, it's quite useful that it bends a yeah, little bit. Absolutely. So it's a size 10. <laughs> it's a size 10. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm putting my finger over the beads I've just gone through. So I've gone through the five beads in my core. Yep. And I'm pulling through it. Now, you might think, oh, hang on, I've got a loop there. Where's that come from? And the chances are it's the cord that all the core beads are on. So you just give that a little pull and then pull everything tight. You can see now we've got the two fronds. Mm -hmm. The one I've just added is facing away from me, which is perfect because the one I'll add next mm -hmm. is going to come back towards me. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing again, pick up the right colours. Yep. But with this it doesn't matter if you mix and match the colours because I did some with the Aurora Borealis as a core and some with Jet as the core. Okay. So I've picked up four again. Plus and is one. that just personal preference? You just what you fancy? Yeah, yeah. Why okay. not? Yeah. Um, this this design, you know, you can do it with all the sorts of different bright colours. So if you've got, you know, um, the orange tones I know that we had on the Lord's yeah. show and things like that, just change the colours and mix it around. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay. So you can see they're straight onto the needle. You can see how easily the needle passes through them. They're not they're not tight or anything like that. Um, I'm going to bring that down, and then you're going to carry on repeating the process. So it's coming back through the four we just added. Let me get myself back in the right place because it's decided to move. Four we've just added, like so. Mm -hmm. I normally pin this mat down so it doesn't move, but I forgot to do it. And then back up through five mm -hmm. of the core beads, like so. Now again, I've got a little loop there. That's fine, just keep pulling your cords no. and you'll see I've got the two on the same side, but that's not a problem. Before I do anything else, move that Slip one over. over and as you pull everything tight, you'll see it almost undulates. It doesn't stay in a straight line, okay. which is perfect because that's yep. what you want. You want that undulation of the design. So I'm just going to do the last one okay. if you want to maybe do the... Oh, do you want me to do the... Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah do cool. That. I'm just okay. going to do exactly the same thing one more time. Okay, so our, while our lovely, lovely Sarah does that, I'm just going to do these for you. We've got, oh, so now I think this is absolutely brilliant. We have got 10 metres of each of these fantastic elastics, okay? So wonderful, wonderful colours. So what I'm thinking here is if you have got, um, in fact, I'm going to check the, I've got, yeah, 0 0.6 mil. I didn't realise until recently that actually our elastic reels come in different gauges, which obviously is really important depending on the size of your gemstone, because obviously if you haven't got the right gauge of the elastic, it won't go through your gemstone, as I found out all too well with a small strand of pearls in my kit. Um, you get a metre of each one. Okay, so you've got pink, you've got purple, you've got fuchsia, you've got neon yellow, you've got orange, you've got blue, you've got maroon, you've got clear, which is great, and you've got red and you've got black. So if you're like me and you're a bit like Mark Smith and you're a bit of a fanatic about things matching, whether you want, the, you know, if you want, you don't want clear, you want the colour of the elastic to match the gemstone you work with, or you want it to be a contrast with the, with the gemstone you're working with. It's brilliant and fun, especially, let's think, if you're making friendship bracelets, and the sense that a friendship bracelet can be a stretch if you want to, of course, um, these are great fun. So imagine that the oranges with a, a sunstone, or the carnelian, or the blacks with your onyx, or your spinels, and your purples with your amethyst, and your pinks with your agates, and so on, and your lovely greens with your peridot, and they just match, and your neon appetites with that blue, they'd look wicked. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. I make that, goodness me. So hang on, so you've got a metre, so you've got 10 metres there, haven't you? A me you've got 10 metres, that's 50 pence a metre. But isn't it great? Because normally when we have our findings kits and our essential findings, um, and we've got the uh, essential threading pack, we normally have the monofilament, some clear elastic, don't we? And we have your beading thread in different colours. But isn't it great to get the elastics in different colours? I, I love it because I... 
quite like to knot my elastic in between yeah. my beads. So I just do lots and lots of overhand knots or surgeon's knots. And you almost get like, um, looks almost like a, I don't know. Like a beady bead. Like a crystally or sort of oh, really? bead that comes in between. Wow. And it catches the light beautifully. Or if you want to macrame with these. Or, or could you, do you think? Yeah, you can crochet with them oh, as well. Oh, wow. You can do all sorts of different things with, with elastic. And it doesn't have to be a hidden. It doesn't have to be necessarily be a mechanic. It can be part of the design as well. Wow. Fantastic. Brilliant. Um, so, fantastic price as well. 50p a metre. Brilliant, brilliant deal. And lovely, lovely colours. Well done. 4 95 um, Right then. So, um, let's get back to our lovely lovely demonstration with our lovely Sarah okay so what I've done is I've created three different lengths of my fronds yes and I've done some with the core of the black with yep. the AB on the outside and some with the AB with the black on the outside so there's three different ones three different lengths so I started with 30 25 and fi um, sorry, 15 20 and 30 uh, 25 feet. To give you that graduation. Yeah, and, yeah. You can, and in the piece there, I've just done lots of random lengths. I just did it all very random. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, just take two of these just to start off with. And you, for that design, you need six um, fronds of different lengths. Okay. I'm just going to take two. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, uh, unpin my mat, move that up so you can see. I'm going to use a, a standard crimp bead. Okay, the crimp tubes that come in your findings packs so you can see the little tube there on my finger yep and I'm just going to use that as the mechanics to hold all of this together now if I was making a full neckline piece I would bead through and then knot in as, as normal but because I wanted to do this in quite a different way um, if you never picked up a seed bead in anger a crimp bead is a fairly standard yeah. thing there for a jewellery maker yeah so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use now this is what I use for cutting my thread I use the very fine cord cord snips that we do yep um, or if you've got a very sharp pair of scissors that you keep just for cutting cords, but these work brilliantly. So I'm going to take all my threads together mm -hmm. and cut them all. So you can see how well those yeah, cut through. Absolutely. So then what I'm going to do is, if you've got a little pot of water, you can dip the ends in the water, or you can do the old trick if it's your own jewellery. Oh, okay. Put the threads yeah. Into your yeah. <laughs> into your mouth. Because that will allow them just to stay together. You just want that to give them, to get them to come together. But I won't do that on live TV because it's not very nice. Um, and I'm going to take the crimp bead. I'm going to take all the threads. So this might take me a little bit longer. All the threads. Be patient. They will all go through the crimp bead. Ooh, well the crimp done. Tube. I know, Beautifully no, done, Sarah. No pressure there. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm going to slide that down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a jump ring. And these jump rings are fabulous. Sorry, there we go. Um, because when they come out of the packet, they are so tightly closed. In yeah. fact, I thought they weren't open Oh, really? Rings. Okay. And that's perfect for this. Don't open these. You want to keep them closed at this point. If you see one that is open slightly, don't use it at this point for this part of the design. You can use it for a little bit more. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take all my cord tails through the jump ring, like so, and then I'm going to pass all the tails back through in the opposite direction, the jump ring. Now, I may only get a few through because, of course, I can't get them wet, but at home you will get all of these through. You could do it off camera and nobody would know. Would well, they quick, not know? Quick, nobody's going to know. We just, we just, there, there we, we go. go. Yeah, look at that go. magic. Oh, there we go. Hi. Hopefully that'll work now. It might not, it might. We've got every faith in you. <laughs> We've got every faith in you, Sarah Alvin. No. It's tricky though, I'll give you that. It is tricky, but it's worth it. Um, and of course at home you can get You can get it close. right up close. It's only because yeah. you try and do it without yeah. blocking I've got the most, overhead camera. I've got most of them thrown. Okay. Okay, so that will do for demo purposes. I've okay. got one straggler. Uh, oh, I've got, no, I've got three. <laughs> okay, well, one's three anyway. So you'd have all of them through. Yep. And we would pull that down. So you're just literally pulling all the cords down, pulling everything tight like so. So all of those cords would go through. Yep. And you'd have a really neat loop through your jump ring here with all Lovely. the cords. Yep. And that's why it's really important because the cords are quite fine. We want that jump ring to be really closed. So then I would just seal that up with my flat nose pliers 
and I would go from both sides. Normally with, the, with beading wire, you would yeah. only need to crimp from one side, but because it's such a fine medium, I would always turn my crimp over and bead from the opposite direction to give even pressure. Okay. And then what I did on the design there is I just here put a little drop of my um, precision hypo cement. Okay. So that belt, belt, and, uh, belt and braces approach to making the jewelry because I didn't want it all to come apart. Got you. And because they're so fine, if we didn't get the even pressure with the crimp, there might yeah. be some slippage there. Yeah. But chances are it's not going to happen. But if you put the glue on there, you know it's definitely not going to happen. Okay. Can I just mention as well? We've got the crimping pliers on the show today. Oh, We've not seen them since February. I'm just telling you now, we have got the crimping pliers. One of my favourite things I in love the them. world. I love them. Yeah, because it makes putting crimp makes covers over things easier. Because I find it hard without. I tried it and yep. they were catapulting all over my kitchen. <laughs> I'm just telling you. They can, and, and they turn did. the air slightly blue, <laughs> can't it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so then what I did, I would have three sets of these little fronds. Yes. And all I did was put one jump ring on like that. Yep. And then if I get my second set of pliers, I opened a jump ring, popped it on and closed it, mm -hmm. and then added with another jump ring the next one. So they're staggered as you're going up. So if I shape, oh, I'm okay. shaping that piece, yeah. is that possible? Of course just it is, my darling. Every, oh, no, yes, yes, there yes. you go. Yep. Um, so if I take this off here and just show you on the... Are they 5 mil jump rings? Uh, they look like they're 5 They look five about 5 mil, mil yeah. don't they? So if yeah. I open this up, can you see I've got the original first jump ring. Where have I use my pliers? There we go. Well, the first jump ring, which has got my first frond in there. I've got a second jump ring joining to that. Then this one is connecting the next set of fronds and then I'm closed up and onto the chain. Okay. So you're just staggering them slightly Got you. with your jump rings to create the sort of waterfall effect. Lovely. But what you could do if you wanted to is where I've got this chain, I could have put one there, one on the next loop, and one on yeah. the next loop, but it would have been a slightly wider version. Yeah. Open them up a little bit more. Yeah. That's yeah. It. And that, that's how it's done. It's quite a simple design for, for new seed beaders, but it's... It, you know, you can make bracelets out of this as yeah. well. So it's really a nice, nice design. Really, and I really love the pretty. texture of it. Yeah. So that's for me. I oh, just love the idea. feel of it. And it's so soft. I, if you've never used these and you're thinking, oh, actually, they're glass and then they might not be soft or yeah. anything like that. They can I have a little are. feel? Do, do, do. Oh, gosh, they, you so don't expect that, do you? <laughs> no. You do, because you think they're sort of little glass beads. You think they'd be quite sharp, but they're really silky, aren't they? They are. They're so, oh, my goodness so me. beautiful. So that's, that's how the design's done. And wow. I don't know if I've got time just to say this. I've got a little tip for jewellery makers. If you haven't got the storage tubes, or even if you have, when you get your seed beads, on the bag, there is a code responding, responding to the colour. Yeah. Uh, if you just cut that off, so there's the little code. So that's the, the jet one, so that's the black. Cut yeah. it off. Pop it in the bag with your beads or yeah. your, in your tubes if you've got them. I, all my tubes are full at the moment. <laughs> so yeah. I've got so many seed beads at the moment, it's great. Um, but if you pop that in there, you'll not get muddled up. And if you need any more in the future, Good idea. you've great got the idea. code and great you know exactly idea. which ones to get next. Absolutely. Especially Good. with some of them that look quite similar. Yeah. Good tip. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Uh, thank you, gorgeous face. You're welcome. Brilliant demo as always, Sarah. Uh, right then, should we give you a cheeky star by? <laughs> How cool to get a whole tube of Beadsmith Eslon bead cord in a tube. I know. I love storage. Oh, we do like we do like a story makers do like a storage. We, we do, do like our storage. We like everything to be neat and tidy. Well then when you've got that many that many things, mm. that many findings and materials and fabrics and tools and you've got to have different storage, haven't you? Yeah. No. Do we think we can do this? Ooh. Oh. I love Impressed colours. with that. Now we have got this bumper pack, and it is a bumper pack, isn't it? Because there are 12. Now, what does the S stand in stand for in Eslon? I don't know. I think it's super. It is. It's super. super. It's the superhero thread. Now, this is what I love about uh, Eslon, especially the super Eslon, in the sense that 
It's a threading material, but for such a fine threading material, it's actually got quite, does this make sense? It's got like quite a, quite a lot of bulk to it, hasn't it? It has, it's because it's a woven yeah. thread. Um, but don't be, don't be, you know, thinking, oh, it's like a household cotton. This is built for making jewellery with. Yep. Um, and if I just show you, I've got one of my reels here and I've wrapped it around my fingers several times. And I, I don't think I could actually, I can't. Oh, it's so, super strong, <laughs> isn't it? Super tensile strength. I'm actually putting stretch. in my fingers because I can't, I cannot can't break snap that. It. No. Wow. Um, that's why you do need to cut it with something that's sharp, yeah. like the, the snips. Um, but it's got such a good strength to it. It's beautifully soft. It's beautifully silky. Um, and I just love it. I can't so rave enough about it. Can you crochet with this? You could do. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. You could crochet with it. It would be really, really fine. So, you, you know, if you're doing things like uh, maybe you want to do some really fine tatting, needle yeah. tat work and things like that, you could use this for that. Um, it's brilliant if you've got a bead loom because you get to choose the colours that you see as your warp and weft threads. Yeah. It's brilliant for um, your beaded embroidering. So if you're doing things like um, soutache, if you want to do your soutache with it as well, because you've got all the colour coding. Yeah. Um, if you want to sew things like ribbon flowers, but you want to oh. match the cord, yeah. the colour of the thread. Or if you're doing things like your kumihimo. Yeah. Maybe you don't want to do beaded kumihimo, but you maybe want to sort of sew two pieces of kumihimo together, and you don't want to see the mechanism. That'd be it's great perfect. for that as well, because yeah. it's fine enough. That's the yes. whole beauty of this. It is, lo I mean, obviously when you do your, your, your cords with your macrame, when I've done it with mm -hmm. Esalon before, it's, it's a little bit thicker gauge than yes. this. But again, this, th could this, could this do, could you do micro macrame with this? Um, you could certainly use it as your core cord. As your core cord, yeah, couldn't you? Definitely, yeah, definitely, um, for carrying your, seed beads yeah. or your smaller pearls. beads, pearls, um, anything like that. Um, it's probably too slender for pearl knotting. Yeah, you that's give what you I'm thinking, of a yeah. Knot. Um, but on your lazy strand, you yeah. could go through your pearls and then incorporate your pearls in yeah. G macrame and Kumahimo. Definitely. And then use your thicker restalons to go around or whatever thread. That's yeah. it, definitely. Great. So you have got there two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve in a storage tube, but with these, what you would class as a lovely cinnamon-esque type, spicy type, Moroccan type, earthy shades. They're lush, mm. aren't they? They are. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Brilliant deal. Now, I had a look at prices on the Super Esalon, on the fine Super Esalon, and A, they're not easy to get hold of in a variety of shades. Nope. And I've actually got another range of shades coming up for you on the show today as well, in a beautiful sort of pastel -y tones. They're lovely pinks and purples and reds and yellows and naturals. They're lovely. But those, those super fine Eslons in that beautiful variety of earth tones. And again, could be very masculine there as well, some of those colours. Definitely. Yeah. Um, so if you're wanting to do maybe um, do a, a very masculine sort of maybe a super duo type bead in yeah. sort of bracelet type, sort of not too thick. Or you can yeah. make it really thick if you wanted to. Um, then you've got the cords to be able to do that. If you want to do things like maybe you want to sew different things onto wooden beads. Mm. So if you want to sew... Oh, yeah. the wooden beads have got such... Um, beautiful drill holes yeah. through them. They have actually, haven't they? They've cored through several, several times. times. Yeah. Uh, and then maybe just put some of these jet um, seed, seed beads on the tree yeah. twos. Because um, they will just add to that beautifully. Or if you do want to do things like tiger's eye, maybe put a few of these yeah. in between just to really put the drama well, in there. Lovely, wouldn't it? And you've got the perfect cords for doing it with exactly. as well. Exactly. Lovely variety. And now if you're looking at those thinking, oh, they're lovely, but I want something a bit brighter. If you wouldn't mind, I want some brighter ones. Well, let me sh just slide those <laughs> over there. So, twelve ninety-five for those. Okay, and then get ready for these. Ooh, no, they all rolled out a different way this time. Now, <laughs> got some slightly more feminine tones coming in on these ones, haven't we? We have. We've got all the sort of floral tones, if you like, um, coming through. So you've got yeah. daffodils and sort of um, iris tones yeah. and, you know, rose tones. Amethyst in tones yes. and beautiful sort of lily tones as well. Now, again, it's the super um, Eslon again, um, super fine again. And again, this time the pastel tones. So they're going to go lovely with the earthy tones that we've just done, but those lovely pastel shades, that sort of, uh, we say pastel, then as you say, not quite bright d daffodil. Then we've got these lavenders and pinks and bright oranges and purple we've got a really rich purple there mm. variations on the pinks and morganite pinks and salmons and those beautiful sort of honey tones and almost ivory mm. beautiful gorgeous um now 
Danny, could we match the price? Because I don't want to sort of, I don't want people thinking, well, you can't be penalised for which colour shade you want, can well, you? Well, I should hope not. That would, be, that would be a little bit unfair, wouldn't it? It would be unfair. And do you know what? If there's one thing we are on Jewellery Maker, <laughs> it's fair, isn't it? We like to look after everybody. At the end of the day, it's Friendship Day. We don't want to not make friends. We don't want to fall out with anyone, do we? We don't. So, if you want either the lovely earthy tones, we went to 12 95 If you want the beautiful... Um, and these are all the beadsmith as well. So, as our lovely Sarah's just said, super tensile strength. Really good quality great to work with and it's just I mean that's the one thing when I first learnt to macrame with the uh, thicker uh, sort of 0.4 mils 0.9 mils and things mm -hmm. I had a lovely set of I'll never forget beautiful bronze pearls in the kit with some garnet and I couldn't macrame with the pearls because I hadn't got the S-long wasn't thin enough to go through that's it so this you know you could just uh, use a standard beading needle and my beading needle went through the pearls in the kit I mean the peacocks yeah it went through there um, yeah. I think three or four times. Brilliant. So, you know, Brilliant. certainly three. Um, so I had no problems doing things like right angle weave or any of those sorts of things. Yeah. So you're not going to have a problem if you want to take two or three strands through your pearls of these to create that lazy strand. Yeah, fantastic. Um, just quickly though, um, Laura, Margaret, Collector, Francoise, good luck. There's loads of you got these. Avis, Karen, Vilma, Helen and Chris, uh, Michelle, Jade, Elizabeth, Francoise, you just got them. Evelyn, the list goes on. Congratulations. What a brilliant, brilliant deal. Ah, oh, for those. Fantastic. Well done. Um, ooh, do you know what else we've got, Sarah? What have you got? Ah, I put those ooh. there so I don't mix them up. I've only... Ooh. Now... All oh, these are the precision tips, aren't they? Precision. Now, they're... Well, they're... Your precision... I can't get... I can never say it. That's why I'm like precision. Precision. <laughs> Precision round nose, technically, aren't they? They are. Mm, look how super fine they are at the end. I know. Now that's going to mean you're going to be get you're going to be able to get right into some serious, intricate, tiny little spaces there, aren't you? Yeah, you certainly are. I've got these at home, um, and they are just amazing. Um, I use them for picking up. Um, jump rings. I use them for, yep. for for getting into little tight corners with my wire work, for smoothing down the edges. Um, oh, they make beautiful loops because, of course, they they've got a round uh, round nose design. But the nice thing is, you can get a really really fine yep. end. Now, if I yeah, I was just going to say, can we put those together? Yeah, definitely. Because that's more your standard sort of entry level round nose pliers, it is, isn't it? Indeed. Um, so you can see that the tips of those don't go as fine. So if you're using a very fine wire or yep. you want a really tight centre to a coil, yep. these are perfect. The precision ones are really perfect for doing that because you get the smallest circle of wire in the middle of your coil and that means that you've got a little, no sort of almost hardly any gap in the middle of a spiral. Yeah. And that's perfect for making those looks. I'm just going to add, also they're a bit longer in the actual handle itself. So, because sometimes I can find the small ones a little bit tricky for me, um, so I prefer the longer handle as well. They're actually incredibly lightweight. Now, just a question I wanted to ask you. You know when you, because I get a lot of people say this on the workshops as well when I go in and speak to the ladies and gents that come in, but you know when you start a coil and a lot of people start the coil and then they cut the little piece section off and then they carry on, does this almost eliminate that to a degree? It does. Um, my tip for you if you don't want that oval or that yeah. piece shape in the middle is when you're bringing the wire around, don't stop where the wire comes back and touches itself. Just do an extra sort of quarter turn oh, okay. on the pliers. And it just gets it over the edge of that wire and that gives you that perfect circle. Right. So I always say to, when I teach um, wild work and things like that, if you make a P shape or a, an oval shape in the middle of a spiral, that's the shape your spiral's gonna take. And it's like, you, if you look at a snail growing in a garden, yeah. if his shell isn't perfectly spiralled in the middle, his shell's not perfectly round. Yeah, exactly. So it's exactly the same. Wow. So that's, you know, that for me, because I'm still struggling a little bit with, with coiling the wire for that very reason. So I would actually, that would make me invest in that pair of pliers. Definitely. It's going to give you that real tight centre as well. So, yeah. you know, when you start off, you don't get the centre of your spiral really nice yeah. and tight as well. So this is going to give you that yeah. real precision. Uh, I know Fleur loves these for chain mail as well. Definitely. Absolutely loves them. And I can say, say that, you know, my, my hands, because I make jewellery so much, I mean, I probably spend three or four hours a day making jewellery, yeah. that I don't get fatigue in my hands exactly. using these pliers, yeah. because they, they spring beautifully, but they don't overspring, so you're not having to catch them, because um, some pliers, when you hold them in your hand, they overspring open, yeah. 
and then you have to sort of try and catch them again with your hand and you're sort of stretching your hand to try and catch the plier that's oversprung these don't do no, that they're brilliant brilliant well done okay so congratulations on those now we're going to bring um i love this set i've got to say i've got some crochet needles at home and they're all plain white and they're all right but wait till you see these because <laughs> if you want some color in your life and that it applies to your crochet uh, needles as well or crochet hooks because depending on some people get, get a bit funny about this yeah, don't they yeah i think uh, mm. it depends where where you come from as well as to whether the people call them needles or hooks mm. so but yeah, well, I tell you thing. what, hook or needle, by hook or by crook or by needle, we're going to bring them you as a star by. Now, just look, I mean... As they're open there, look, they come in a lovely aubergine case, and it is very aubergine-esque, isn't it? it is. Yeah, it's a lovely, look at that aubergine. Don't have many things aubergine, do we here on Jewelry Maker, but that's definitely aubergine. It's a zip case, and then are you ready? Are you ready for some full-on colour? <laughs> look at those! Now, obviously, you've got the classical, very sophisticated crochet needles, a.k.a. hooks over here, but then you've got the ones that are having a serious party. Oh, now this is a... Now, we've called... Well, let, well, there's answered the graphics. Look, crochet hook mm -hmm. tool set. Yes. So we're calling them crochet hooks. I was always taught they were a hook because, of course, they've got a, a hook, hook at the end. On the end, yeah. But I've always been taught them as crochet... But, but some people do call them needles. Mm, that's fine. <laughs> Depending on what you want to call them, but we're going to call them a crochet hook. Now, on this side here, there's all different sizes, okay, on this size. Um, and I'm just going to have a little look at what actual, because there's 22 in here. Now, we go from 0 0.6 mil up to 6.5 mil. Now, the coloured ones are, oh, now that goes, those are the larger ones, okay. So, they're going up to your 6.5, as you can see there. You can actually see the actual colours there, look, as well. So we're going all the way up in your coloured and uh, obviously in your beautiful silver as well. Um, now, is it safe to say that the bigger the crochet hook, mm -hmm. the bigger the crochet loop? It is. Um, and depending on the medium you're crocheting with, um, you will need to change your hook to get the same design or the, the structure of the design depending on the medium. So the finer the medium, typically the smaller the hook you will use. Yeah. Because that allows the loop not to be too large and then lose its strength. Um, personally, you know, I love the larger hooks because I crochet with wire. And the Ooh. larger ones create beautiful crocheted wire open elements whereas I use the smaller hooks when I'm using something like a 0.4 wire and you can make a crochet quite a few times over the same section so doing triples and doubles yeah um, and you can create things like rings that have got a, sl a slightly smaller structure to the loop but then that gives you um, structure to create something like a, a bangle or a, a, or a ring. Oh, wow. So, you know, don't just think you can crochet with cords. You can basically crochet uh, with your wires as well. Is it me as well, or do they look like... They look like... Look, look they look like they're on a date. <laughs> look. Like they call Flamingo. Look, having a little kiss, look. <laughs> do you know I need to get out more than I? <laughs> oh, really? It's because it's friendship day. It's gone to, it's gone to me head. That's it. Hey? So beautiful, so 0 0.6 right up to your 6.5, let me put them in order, have I got them in the right order or do we don't want to get them in the wrong order do we, I'll get told off. <laughs> um, but lovely to have the, um, and it's great as well because when you've got the different colours, if you use your crochet hooks regularly you'll get to know the size by the colour won't you? That's it, so you've yeah. got the colour coding as well for the larger hooks but all of them have got their size is written on them as yeah. well, which is really important. In case so you forget. In case you forget, or you're a bit messy like me, and you get two or three hooks out, and then you have to get them back in order. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, but it comes with the case as well. Now, we're intrigued as to the price point, young, young Danny. That can't be right, can it? Seven pound ninety-five for 22-piece crochet hook toolkit. <laughs> no. That, that can't be right. No. That, well, I'll tell you what, it might be right for one side it might be right for, for one one or two yeah maybe if, if or, or, or you could even you could even pay that just for the case couldn't you for the bag i have seen crochet hook 
cases. Have you really? For um, 7.95. Really? Um, not 7.95. So, so basically, <laughs> would you like the aubergine crochet hook <laughs> carry case for 7 95 and we'll throw you 22 hooks in? <laughs> this is just, you know, for me, it, it's, I, this is what I teach with. I teach, you know, when I teach people to crochet, this is what I teach with. They're absolutely perfect for the job. Um, and for me, this is what I do all my crochet with. I don't have, you know, this is the, the set that I use. So I, this is it? I bought a few separate hooks when I first started crochet. And I paid, I think... Four pounds twenty-five for one, Each. And, then I, and then I had to have them delivered, which was three pounds <gasps> fifty. Oh. Um, and I couldn't get all those sizes I wanted in one place, so of course then oh. I had to go somewhere else. And, and then they didn't match. I know they weren't colourful either. No. Very boring. See, that's the thing as well. If you get a crochet, you, you know, <laughs> not just crochet, but anything we do in jewellery maker. Hence why all our colourful branding. It's got to be fun, hasn't it? Who yeah. knows? That is a really good deal. Wow, I know. fantastic. We, when was the last time we saw those, Danny? Sorry? 13th of May, so we haven't seen those for, for well, for what, we're just shy of a month now, are we? So, just quickly, um, always sell out on those. How many have we got left, Danny? Okay, so at the moment, I've, ju I've got enough to go around. So, Collector in Greater London, Debbie Patience. Oh, what a lovely name. Oh, what a lovely night. They couldn't call me that. Um, Caroline and Adrian, good luck, my darlings. And collectors coming in from Lancashire as well. Well done. Well done. Right then, if you don't mind, lovely Sarah Elvin, I'm going to uh, mosey. Ooh. Mosey. Okay, okay. On over there, if you don't mind. Um, sorry to leave you with all this mess, but we will come back and tidy up in a moment. That's okay. Okay, I'm darling. Just, just look at those beautiful colours of the s -longs. Thank you, sweet thing. <laughs> right, I'll see you in a moment. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Right then. Do, 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 do. Okay then. We have got. Did I just hear you say opal and ring? Ethiopian opal ring. Oh, where's that? Do, 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 do. Uh, I think it. I think it's. Can you? Sorry, darling. It's right over there. Thank you, sweet pea. Oh, oh, so Daisy. Thank you, my darling. There we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right then. If you were lucky enough earlier to get our triple A grade strand opal, triple A grade strand Ethiopian opal, uh, an amazing deal that Danny did for you. Um, I'm going to give you the chance to make a ring to go with it. Okay. Now I'll show you the ring mount. So let me show you the ring mount first because it's rather dazzling and intricate and gorgeous. This is size 7, N to O. It is solid sterling silver and it's a medieval ring. So I know our lovely Fleur would love this because she makes medieval jewellery, doesn't she? So beautiful design. Uh, we're going to give you the chance to put a, um, an Ethiopian opal in the centre for you as well. Um, and I'm talking now a beautiful point, f uh, sorry, uh, yeah, point 0.1 carat, four millimetre round, brilliant cut. Now it's only the second time this has been on to, under 10 for an Ethiopian opal ring. And look at the quality of the Ethiopian opal. Bear in mind, again, that's going to have even more play of colour when you get it home out of the studio lights. Um, that is incredible. Ethiopian opal ring. How much silver have we got there? 2.4 grams of sterling silver with a top, top Ethiopian opal as well. Look there for you. Look at that. I mean, that, 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 if you were looking to buy that in, in a shop, Ethiopian opal in sterling silver, you, what would you think price-wise, Sarah? At least £100, I would imagine. Wow. Because, you know, it's, opal's very rare to get in jewellers. Absolutely. I had a stone replaced in an, uh, in an opal ring, um, and it was about that size. I think I paid £55 just for the stone. Wow. Um, that wasn't the refitting. <laughs> Goodness gracious me. <laughs> uh, right then, so size 7 into 0, 925 sterling silver with that mm, cool medieval ring mount with the Ethiopian opal. Wow, okay, 995, congratulations, well done. Now, <laughs> oh yeah, we know you love it. 
Um, it's going to go great with the beautiful True Two seed beads in the jet black that we've just had and the beautiful Aurora Borealis in the kit. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, Black Spinel, sorry. Um, okay, sorry, we've got 925 Sterling Silver with clusters of Black Spinel here for you. So clusters of black spinel, 40 carrots in these clusters of black spinel. Oh, we've only got four left. Oh, no, what a shame. Half a metre. Okay, so 50 centimetres. I'm so sorry I've not got it in the studio. 925 sterling silver. And look at that luster. Look at that absolutely incredible sparkle. So um, 20 pounds. 20 pounds for half a metre. Okay, quick, quick look at it for you, my lovelies. Okay, sorry, got to go to a break. See you after the break. There are four easy ways to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 54,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker love to hear your feedback. So working in conjunction with FIFO, a global ratings and reviews provider, when you purchase a product from JM, you will receive an email asking you to rate our service and our products. This helps us to bring you excellent customer service and ensure we're bringing you value for money and high quality goods. Have your say with Jewelry Maker FIFO reviews. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you have found a workshop you'd like to attend, simply click on the book now button. Fill in the required fields and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator, Wendy, at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Hello my lovelies, welcome to Jewelry Maker on our Friendship Day. So if you do want to message us in and uh, tell us why you're a friend of Jewelry Maker, we'd love to hear from you. And you can message in and you can send a text if you fancy on 60777, start your text with JM Studio and we would love to hear from you. Now, because we love you and we love the fact that you're enjoying that we're going live till 10 o'clock as well, which is super exciting. Uh, we started that on the 1st of June officially for you and you're loving it, so that's great. Um, we have got one of the treats 
this for you, which we know you love. Uh, it's always a popular favourite on the rare occasion that we get it on Jewelry Maker. Um, we have got, and I've got to show it you, not only is it the three metres of sterling silver chain that we know you love on the reusable bobbin, but also we have got the perfect chain to represent friendship. Okay, because it is what is classed as, if you want to use the technical term, it is a friendship, uh, uh, sorry, a figure of eight. But the reason we class this as the ultimate chain for friendship is the figure of eight is classed as the infinity chain. So that thing of friendships being for a lifetime, there's no ending, that is your loyal friendship chain at figure of eight, aka infinity, and it is beautiful. It is going to be three metres of solid 925 sterling silver, and it's only 15 minutes away, and it's a superb deal, superbly affordable as well, and it, uh, it's perfect for our friendship day. So that is going to be your star buy in about, yeah, 15 minutes time and counting, so not long to wait, which is good, isn't it? Uh, right then, we have got some beautiful pink tourmaline really we don't see pink tourmaline occasionally we'll get a multicolored tourmaline strand even rarer than that we might get a green tourmaline strand but we really really don't get pink tourmaline very often shaded pinks as well pastel pinks there's even like rubelite pinks in there as well isn't there warm pinks milky pinks we've not seen this since february 2016 30 carats of shaded pink tourmaline there. Really, really, really pretty. Now, as well, these are um, beautiful Burmese, so that's a great location for tourmaline, and they're totally natural, totally natural. Now, what a joy to be able to get pink, uh, shaded pink tourmaline. I've even got a pink sapphire um, strand coming up on the show today. So I'm just thinking as well, pink sapphire with shaded pink tourmaline would be lush, wouldn't it? So it's an 18 centimetre strand. It is perfect pink tourmaline with all those. And that, this is what I love, love, love. Now we could have put all the same sh strand, same shade of pink all the way along the strand, couldn't we? But we didn't want to do that. If you're going to get pink tourmaline, when it's a, a beautiful strand that represents all the colours of the rainbow, we want to give you all the variations of pink on one strand, don't we? And that's exactly what we've managed to achieve. Look at it against the skin tone, isn't it beautiful? Now, I think this is the only strand, if you have a look at our Jewelry Maker website right now, this is the only strand of all the tourmalines that we've got in the vault right now that's in shaded pink. We can get multicolour tourmaline, okay, but we, this is the only strand of shaded pink tourmaline. Now, we had a look before the, on the, uh, before the show, we had a look online, and really, if you're looking for pink tourmaline jewellery, you're talking three figures every time, okay? So it's a rare gem, it's a treat, real, real treat, this strand. This is certainly one for the collectors, without question. It's an exceptional strand. Can you see what I mean about rubelite pinks in that strand look? Without question, and rubelite is the, is the unique high grade. What did you just say, Danny? This, hang on a second, I don't, I'm, I'm not being rude, I'm not gonna believe that price until you put it on. <laughs> I'm just telling that right now. I am not gonna believe, I wouldn't have believed 24.95, I still can't believe you're gonna beat that. Yeah, you, you do right to giggle over there, Sarah Alvin. <laughs> 20, I was, was going to say, turn the two and the four around, and we, you might get close. That is really, really, really something special. I can't quite believe we're doing this. 17.95 on 30 carats of shaded pink tourmaline. Oh my, Sarah Elvin, we are in shock in the studio, aren't we? I, I am, because I own a piece of pink tourmaline jewellery and I certainly didn't come in anywhere near that price. No, <laughs> never! Um, because I, I just love this gemstone anyway, I love tourmaline. Uh, but to get it all with different colours of pink, for me, oh. that's just sheer heaven. Absolutely. This is, this is perfect, isn't it? Absolute perfection. 
you know, it reminds me, you know, you get all the yeah. different tones on there, but it, you get, go right from the candy floss right through to all the sort of fuchsia deep tones. And I, I love the sort of tourmaline that it, it just seems to sort of look different in different lights yeah, as well. You seem absolutely. to capture a, yeah. a different essence in different lights. It's beautiful. And when you think that Mother Nature has delivered that same gemstone, the very complex to create tourmaline, one of the most complex possible, um, everything's got to come together. It's got to be the most, you've got to basically have the, the most incredible cocktail mixer, AKA Mother Nature, um, to deliver this drug. And it's completely natural. Now, I told you it was for the collectors, and it's not a collector's price tag, is it? $17.95. Amazing. Now, Imtiaz in Bristol, you bought two. Congratulations. So is Susan in Yorkshire. I'm not surprised. Helen and Chris. Now, is that you, Helen, and Helen that I met uh, on the workshop at the weekend? Um, Mirabal just said, oh, that's a stupid price. <laughs> oh, we've been told off. They'd be fabulous in between white pearls. Eh? You're quite right, Mirabel. You are quite right. So, um, incredible deal. Absolutely. Uh, right then, so black spinel for you next. Yeah. Now. <laughs> oh my goodness me. This is the black spinel strand, isn't it? This is phenomenal. Look at that. Look at that. Now we just talked about the brilliance of those beautiful true to seed beads, didn't we? We talked about how highly polished, how superb, but they're glass beads, aren't they? They're beautiful, they're gorgeous, they're stunning. But when you can get genuine black spinel gemstones to do the same level, if not more brilliance, naturally, wow. Do you know, I tell you what, Sarah, you've, if you love seed bees that you've just been talking about with the True Twos, mm. you've got to love this strand. I do, and for me, it's great that I've got the option of having the True Twos to have the larger drill holes through, yeah. to allow me to do the multi-passing and creating the designs, but then I would be bringing these in, one parts of my design where maybe I only need one pass of the thread, um, to create that additional added sort of luster and, and so maybe I'll be using the AB or Bore, Bore, Borealis ones, I can't say that, <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, using those as the accents along the design, yeah. um, for me they're amazing but it's a standalone strand just making a simple um, stacking style bracelet, they look amazing. Oh, yeah. If you look at, uh, uh, speak to most of our gem, uh, uh, gem uh, jewelry maker designers. Speak to most of our uh, gem Poirier and, and um, jewelry maker presenters, including myself, including our lovely Jenny Cleary. Um, we've all got a single strand, just jet black spinel bracelet. We've all got one, and because they're the go-to, whether you go in for a casual lunch date with friends, an afternoon tea, whether you're going shopping, whether you're going out on a glamorous night out with that little black dress or to a wedding or something special, you want glamour, you want sparkle, you've got e day wear to evening wear with black spinel, but just that single, look at that, sim simple strand bracelet, sim but again, layer those up. I mean, I've got a black spinel bracelet that is five to six strands attached with a magnetic clasp and it looks wicked. Now one strand's amazing and it catches the light, but six strands together on a bracelet of black spinel, it looks so fantastic, that sharpness. And it's the hardness of a spinel, so you can wear it every day, so you can really enjoy it. And it's that hardness that provides the real sharpness, the luster, those faceted edges on that beautiful, tiny facet work on those. And they're absolutely natural as well. 10 carats of stunning black spinel. They're wonderful, aren't they? And the great things that go with everything as well. They do. It's, Absolutely it's, everything. You know, I hate to say this about spinel, but that can be your everyday wear piece of jewellery, can't exactly. it? Exactly. And I don't... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but for me, they're just absolutely fantastic. Yeah. No chance on your... Nelly. Five pounds ninety-five. I thought we changed product though when I looked at the price. I was just going to say, <laughs> have I just picked up? I don't know, a piece of copper. Is that for that entire? Well, it's got to be the entire strand. Do you know? I'd love to count them for you, but that's not going to happen. I've got the time. We've only got an hour and fifty minutes left of the show. Um, twenty-eight centimeters. I've got to measure that. I have to. 
32 centimetres I've got in the studio. 32 centimetres. Well, 28 I've got. 28 centimetres at £5.95. Now, I'm just thinking, if we've got 28 centimetres, what's that in inches? What's that in inches? That is 11 inches. So, if you say you did a six-inch bracelet, by the time you put the clasp in, you could do two bracelets out of that, couldn't you? You could. Easily. Easily. Um, Easily. You could just do a central section, and if you get yeah, the beautiful... Yeah, if you didn't want to do a full spinel bracelet. You get a beautiful infinity chain we've got coming up. You oh, can make that yeah. for the back. So, yeah. um, you know... Really, and if you sort of layer it up in such a way, or put one of those bolt ring clasps either side, you can get another piece of chain and then make it into a necklace as a absolutely chain, mix and match and change it up so you yeah. can have it as a bracelet one day, put the extra chain on, yeah. have it as a necklace the next day. And it's all it's all about layering now. So if you if you look at that if you look at that um, sterling silver rhodium plated necklace I've got on that chain, if you just layer that up and have the actual rhodium plating, then you have the black spinel, that would look really cool, wouldn't it? Really, really cool. Simple. Less is more. Um, now, how many have you got left, Danny? Because I've got a long list. Oh, there's ten left. Tony Nessix, my friend, you've got to be quick. Bryony, Caroline, Alison, Annette, Corin, Sam, Samantha, Isabel, Nicole. I've got a pound just coming and bought two. So you're going to have to be so quick on this, my lovelies. Four chances left, that's it. They're definitely going to go at 5 95 Fantastic. Wow. I'm just thinking, do you fancy some sparkling white topaz to go with that as well so you can have that lovely Chanel-esque look. Mm -hmm. you fancy that? Do you fancy that? Um, do, do, do. do you know what? I'm going to actually show you the black spinel afterwards with this because it'd be the perfect, perfect partner to this strand of sparkling white topaz as well. Oh yeah, I mean if you got that strand of London blue earlier as well, oh my. Oh my goodness gracious me, that looks superb, wouldn't it? Now these are microfaceted, they're tiny two mils, so they're like the true twos that we saw earlier, um, in the sense that they're the same size, they're not going to have the same drill size, obviously, but look at that, so microfaceting, tiny two mil white topaz, I've got to show you if you don't mind with a black spinel, I'm just going to literally twist them for a second. Let me show you that look. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, oh, could you wish for anything more spectacular than that? Isn't that beautiful, Sarah? It is. And it's just so elegant and classic and timeless. Yeah, that is so superb. Absolutely super. I mean, these are going to go beautifully with the with the Songhia Sapphire I've got coming up if you managed to get the, um, the, the London Blue earlier, the Topaz, the, the Tanzanite, the Chrome Diopside. It'll go lovely with those pink tourmalines we've just had. The Tanzanite from earlier look great with ruby, with pearls. I mean, this for your bridal commissions, your hair pieces. I bought a fascinator yesterday uh, with some literally some blue fabric and feathers. And uh, just, a th I think there were three tiny little crystals in there. It was 50 pounds. Yeah. 50 pounds on a headband. Don't know what I'm doing. I should have asked one of our lovely guest designers, shouldn't I? That's it. We'd have charged you an awful lot Yeah, I was going to say, you'd have done me one for 40, wouldn't you, Sarah? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I wasn't thinking. All this beautiful talent around me, and I just left it till the last minute, so I didn't have any choice. But a customer just said, I've got this strand of topaz. It's amazing, and the sparkle just pops. They are stunning. 11.95 we've just gone to. Would you believe? 11.95. So what are we talking? For less than less than 18 pounds, you could have the black spinel as well. Mm -hmm. Pretty fantastic. They're so beautiful, so sparkly. They glitter, don't they? Now we keep talking about sterling silver chains. We will be bringing you the three meter sterling silver friendship chain as our star by next so um just a quickie how many of those we got okay so you can get the sparkling white topaz beautiful for your stash and the great thing is you're never ever going to waste a single one of those are you oh gosh no i mean for me these are my go-to gemstones i have one of black gemstones and one of my clear or white gemstones and they always sit on my table Really? I never put them away. Really? Because they go with everything. Oh, wow. So, yeah, those oh boxes... Oh, my gosh, so they really are you go to. Yeah, they go with all my designs. And oh, wow. I'd be lost if I didn't yeah. have those as 
I, I class them as punctuation, as spaces, yeah. to allow the other gemstones that room to, to, to almost be themselves. But then, in certain lights, these come to the forefront. So it's lovely to have that. Absolutely. Incredible. So, um, well done. Loads of you coming in for those, understand, uh, understandably, at 11.95. Um, but we've got to get to our star bikes. We did promise 15 minutes. It's quarter past eight. So let's give you three gorgeous metres of our next star buy. <laughs> Now there are star buys and there are whoppers of star buys and this is an absolute belter. That's what this is. Um, now, we have got on this reel to celebrate our friendship day that we're having here on, uh, having here on Jewelry Maker. We have got the perfect chain to represent friendship. It's glorious, in fact, and we're going to give you three sensational metres of this chain. It's classed, the technical phrase for it is a figure of eight, because as you can see here, you've got exactly that. You've got this figure of eight. If I hold that nice and still for you to have a look at. Can you see? Look, you've got a perfect figure of eight there. So perfect for use in chokers, in bracelets, in anklets. This style is referred to more often than not as the infinity link chain. Now for those of you that think of the lovely word of infinity, that's something that's never ending. You think of, you even think of Toy Story when it goes to sort of, you know, a child's beautiful cartoon stories we're talking to infinity and beyond it's that whole buzz lightyear aspect of this yeah it's this incredible it, it's you know when you've got a friendship a lifelong friendship it's never ending and that's why the the figure of eight chain is often given as the chain of friendship and i think that's a beautiful sentiment i mean if you've got that lovely beautiful heart charm earlier with the gorgeous gorgeous quality the best grade of garnet we've ever seen on jewelry maker if you manage to get that and then you incorporated it into this lovely figure of eight infinity friendship chain, then you've got the perfect gift. Now, it's beautifully, I think you'll agree, it's a beautiful feminine design. It's very simple, but with that really lovely twist. Now, that would look lovely. Imagine if you've got like a, a lovely cardigan, lovely, just a simple plain t-shirt top. Um, or, or, or cardigan or, or roll neck, whatever sort of just plain top or cashmere that you wear. Now that would look lovely just as a standalone, either layered or just standalone mm. necklace on its own. Of course you can add, of course being a jewellery maker, you're more than likely going to add a pendant onto there. But on its own, it's just pure luxury, isn't it? It is. Um, and it's, it's just got a lovely flow to it. I love the way the light catches yeah. those links. Um, and it's beautiful to work with. It cuts beautifully. You don't lose a lot when you cut the links at all. So, you know, you don't have to worry if you're going to be making lots of sort of links and things like that of little pieces of chain. Yeah. You're not losing a lot of it no. when you do that. So that's the thing. You might be thinking, right, can I add into this? So do I just add a pendant or can I actually open those links up and then add some beautiful gemstones? Now, if you were watching earlier on today, uh, because it's our lovely Sarah's, our lovely guest designer's birthstone, uh, we had a lovely strand of Colombian emerald that we took under £20, which I believe sold out. Did it sell out instantly, Danny? Oh, there's one left! Really? Oh my goodness me, we'll try and pop the code on the screen for you because there is one strand of stunning Colombian emerald going under, that, that we took under £20. So on this beautiful necklace, I love the way you've made, you've done it like asymmetric with the clasp, so we can see the mm -hmm. toggle clasp. And then you've added in the beautiful Colombian emerald, haven't you, into I sections? Have, I have, and you know, it's, oh, they're just so beautiful. Um, the asymmetric design came round because I was busy trying to link everything together before the demonstration. Yeah. And I actually did something wrong, but actually it just oh, proves really? that when you make your own jewellery, if you do Nobody something knows. wrong, just change the design. Exactly. No one will never know. <laughs> Had a happy accident. <laughs> yeah. um, so how did you, have you actually incorporated the, the emeralds into this chain? Um, I've used um, a 0.25 wire. 
um, and I've just created my own little wrapped loops to okay. incorporate it. And I did cut the links because um, uh, they are a sealed loop. Yeah. So I did cut the links, but those little pieces that you cut off, use them in your resin. Exactly. Um, don't ever throw it away. Don't your silver clay or yeah. something like that. You know, um, absolutely perfect. But as I say, because it's a nice fine link, if you do cut it, you don't lose a lot. You don't. You know, you're not a, a sort of five centimetre link where if you cut one of those, you'd be you'd be worried about it. Yeah. Um, sorry, five millimeter loop. Um, so yeah, just use the, the sort of create some little loops, and they're all the fine head pins to sort of create those um, little loops in the little sections in between. So it's just it was so beautiful to work yeah. with, just an absolute joy. And I've got loads left. Over. Well, you will do it three meters, won't you? Oh, I know. And then again, made into the earrings. Now, can I see you've incorporated some of those cheeky seed beads in there, you young lady? Uh, yeah, I thought you might have done. done. <laughs> um, three metres. I mean, that's the joy. If I just put that behind there, so you can see the sharpness, the brightness, because you've got that lustre of the chain. And then, again, because you've got the quality of that infinity chain, of that figure of eight chain, again, the way it hangs, just everything about it is pure quality, isn't it? It is. Um, you know... When you take it off the reel and when you work with it, it doesn't loop back on itself or create any kinks in the links. So, you know, it, it just flows so well. Yeah. Um, and it feels beautiful. It just has that real lovely undulation to it. Yeah. But it's got enough presence about it to be a standalone chain. Yep. Um, it's got Absolutely. enough weight about yep. it to sit beautifully on the decotage. So um, this will just be my so go to versatile, isn't it? My go-to reel of chain. I'm absolutely in love with this. It's Absolutely. just perfect. <laughs> but that femininity of design as well mm. is just I think the I think the infinity chain that, and again to represent that friendship aspect and, and, and that, that never ending sort of love for somebody, I just think it's the most it's got a lovely story behind it as well, hasn't it? It's got a lovely romance to it. It has. And I think these just a simple if you want to make just a simple anklet out of this for summer, it'd be a piece oh, of jewelry you never absolutely. took off. Yeah. Um, and you know, to find sterling silver anklets that that are the right size. Yep. I, I've not been blessed with dainty ankles. No, you and me both. <laughs> yeah, you and me both. <laughs> so, so for me, I like to make my own because then I can make them drape a little longer and give that thinning effect to the ankle. Well, do you know, I had a look online before I came on air. There was a, a figure of eight infinity chain anklet, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and it was literally just a simple anklet. Do you know how much it was? £37. Thirty-seven pounds wow. for an anklet. Now, an anklet, decided it did, depending on the size of your ankle, uh, of your ankle, you're probably talking realistically. Uh, uh, how much do you reckon for your ankle? About ten to eleven inches, probably. Do you know what? No, I'm gonna. Excuse me, everybody. No, odd thing to do. I know. I'm gonna measure my ankle. That's what I normally do. do mind? So. That's why I don't I'm, know off the top of my head. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but I don't know, so I'm gonna measure an ankle. Right. Okay. I'm not putting my leg on the desk, I'm not going to do it. But, <laughs> roughly, well, you weren't far off, ten and a half inches, my ankle. Oh, you can. So you weren't, not, you weren't ten far Ten to off. eleven inches. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, realistically, in a metre, we're going to have, what, 20, 30, you could get four out of, a, a, and bear in mind, it's three metres, four out of, so four out of twelve. Twelve anklets. Twelve anklets times thirty-seven pounds. That's how much it was. It's thirty-seven pounds for for a, an infinity chain in sterling silver. How much would that be? Four hundred and forty-four pounds. Wow. That's my, I, again. I have a search. Thirty-seven pounds was a Benny one. I was trying to find the exact chain, and it was thirty-seven pounds for an anklet. Now let's face it. Let's let's say we went a bit more conservative and went twenty, thirty pounds for an anklet. That's the, it's still an exceptional amount of money making on this, on this, oh gosh, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Now I'm going to show you on the neckline as well because loads of you are checking this out. Now what price are we currently on the internet for this lovely? We are about to take the infinity chain, the figure of eight chain, that incredibly feminine chain to 24.95. Do you know what that equates to per meter? 8 pound 32. Now we're talking about detailed chain here because you've got the figure of 8. So you've got the first, you've got this as I said unending uninterrupted it's uninterrupted. I'll get my words out in a minute. But that exquisite look at the detail. That perfect infinity figure of eight all the way through perfect perfect links 
Now, I think Caroline may have just got the last Colombian Emerald. Now, she just said, <laughs> hi, Zena, Sarah, and Twilight Angels. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. Is that also somebody else? Oh, we're, are we the Twilight Angels? Oh, I like that. Or is that you? Or is that everybody else? Is that all of us? Because we're intrigued now, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Oh, she said, so pleased you mentioned the Colombian Emerald as I managed to sneak in and grab it. Well, somebody had to get it because there was no way I was putting Colombian Emerald of that vivaciousness back in the vault at 1995, were we? So, Caroline, congratulations on getting the last one of these incredible Colombian Emeralds. Shall I pop this on the neckline for you to have another look at? Now, don't get confused with the Rhodium Plated. We do that. We're doing that later. That's going to be in the next hour. Because we're live till 10. I know. Now, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Do you see what I mean about it being incredibly feminine? Isn't that beautiful? Can you believe that deal? Twenty-four ninety-five for three meters. I mean, you'd be lucky to even pick up a chain out of a catalogue. Do you know what price? Well, Sarah, I talk about this on Jewelry Maker all the time because I regularly go into the high street, into a jewelers. Mm -hmm. I ask to see a sixteen or eighteen-inch chain, and I regularly get quoted week in week out either 24 99 or 29 99 for one yeah 16 inch for one so if we're talking about you, you two 16 inches uh you do 32 plus a bracelet so one two two there'll be six necklaces and three bracelets that you could get six 16 inch and three eight inch bracelets and we've gone to 24 which is the price of one necklace on the high street and of course, Incredible. If you, you know, if you're buying a pre-made piece of jewellery, you've got no option to, to do anything exactly. with it. Yeah. Whereas this, you've got the option of, you know, if you're wanting sort of an opera length neckline piece, maybe you've got a beautiful pendant that you want it to sit really low down. Yeah. Then, you know, you've got no option if you're buying off the high street. They don't do chains in that length very easily to find them. Exactly. But making your own. Exactly. It's perfect. Got, totally versatile. Okay, so well done, everybody. Congratulations. The time is now here. Um, it has to be a showstopper. There's nothing else for it. I've not seen one uh, since 2015. I didn't know that we had any left in Jewelry Maker. And I am super excited to be able to bring you a rare gemstone that you cannot literally get your hands on anymore. Super, super rare. And it has to be a showstopper for you. You know, in my opinion, you cannot get better than Songhea Sapphire. You just cannot get better than this. Now, the sad, sad thing is that, they, that there is no more Songhea Sapphire in the sense that whenever you see, if you are a collector of rare gemstones, whenever you see, if ever you see, a strand of Songhea Sapphire, you have to... You have to, if you have got the pennies available, you just have to get this into your collection. Now, this is Songia, so Songia Sapphire. Um, sadly, there is no single human being mining for Songia Sapphire any longer on planet Earth. It is not, it's just not happening. They've all gone off now to mine for Ruby. Um, this is an, an absolute treat. Now look at the quality, look at the variation and the stunning openness of every one of these multicolored Songhia sapphires. Greens, yellows, oranges, look at those. The full spectrum Oh gosh, I'd love to even try to think about trying to count these for you. But this is all about, we talk about gemstones being becoming extinct effectively, don't we? We talk about the Ethiopian opal about to run out. We talk about the Tanzanite being, you know, possibly running out in 5, 10, 15 years. We don't know. Now, we know this has run out. So there is no more mining. So if, as I said, whenever we get the chance to own Songhia Sapphire, I can tell you now, if I were at home... Um, I, I, I would be, I would literally be on the phone now. I, I, I wouldn't even wait for the price to come in because this is going to sound the oddest thing and I don't mean this to sound flippant, 
because I, all, I know that some of us have a budget and, and obviously all of us have a budget but you know we you know it's one of those things where if you have the pennies if you have the funds then this is the stone to get without question because as well hang on a second did you see the beginning of the strand could you see there's a purple sapphire on that strand look there is officially a purple sapphire on this strand. Do you know how? <laughs> and it's not even a kind of purple. It is full on purple. Now that there is as collectible as a gemstone as you could possibly ever wish to own. The purple sapphire is so rare. We won't even tell you where we get ours from. Now, normally we're very open. We normally say we get it from here, we get it from there. We've got the documentation to prove it. We'll tell you all about the location, even the miner's name half the time. Purple Sapphire, we have never disclosed the location. Never. We refuse to, and that is very unusual for us. Now, as I said, this is Songia Sapphire. If you think of the Botley em Emerald, it's gone. It's depleted. If you, again, if you ever get one of those, it's, it, it's, it's, you just can't get them. This is, for me... If you want to own one strand of sapphire in your whole life, this is it. This is it. 15 carats of, of, of almost indescribable rarity. When you think nobody on the planet is mining this anymore, it's quite, it's quite heartbreaking, isn't it? It is. And, you know, to, to be in sort of the presence of something so rare and precious is, is quite... It's quite overwhelming, really. It really, it's, it's actually makes you feel very <laughs> yeah. emotional. You, 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 when, when I'm talking about it now, despite the amount of gemstones that are, gemstones that I see in front of me on a regular daily basis, being in the in the in, in the trade, I, my mouth goes dry. My, my my tongue starts sticking to the top of my mouth. I, my my words get flustered. This is real honour. It's it's it, and I can't stress that enough. This is something that I, I was six months into the year and I've not even seen it in 2016. I haven't seen one. And if you think we're on air, I'm on air five hours a day. The, I haven't seen one since, la I, I, I probably saw one or two last year, if that. Mm. You just, we may never see this again. This is a genuine situation where we, I cannot ever promise you, ever, that I can bring you this again. I can promise I'll bring you diamonds again on Jewelry Maker because they're all over the planet. I cannot promise to ever be able to bring you Song Gear Sapphire again. And the quality, let me open those up for you again. Look at this. Every single colour of sapphire, teals, blues, pinks, yellows, spicy hues. Yeah, almost like a pap pap yeah, papadash, isn't it? Almost. And then we saw a purple song gear. This is, the, this is the whole thing about this strand. It is song gear. Now, dare I ask how many strands we have? Okay, we don't have many. I don't want to alarm you at this point, but we are seriously limited on this strand. If you want to own a piece of history, if you want to own the ultimate collectible sapphire the Songia Sapphire, then this is your strand. The glow, look at that, look, look, look. If I look and look at the number of facets. Look at the light. Look at that. Now, if I had this, if I had this Songia Sapphire, I, I think I'd be like Glen Lehrer. Now what Glen Lehrer does is when he gets the chance to own the rarest gemstones on the planet, he just he just puts them in his safe. He can, he can have them in his safe for 10, 15, 20 years. He won't touch them. And he said they kind of tell him when he wants to create jewellery with them. This is one of those strands. This is not your... This is... You've got to think about this strand. You've got to think... You've got to give it the respect it deserves. This really, really is the chance to get Sangia Sapphire. Now, already, Helen and Chris, this is yours. Collector in Paris, this is yours. Karen in Worcestershire, this is yours. Isabel in Angus, this is yours. Caroline in the Channel Islands, you stand a chance. Josie in Worcestershire, you stand a chance of owning a sapphire that has now gone. I didn't even think we'd get this under 100. But we have Danny, 69.95.
that is how can we even put a price tag on a gemstone that has now run out how can we even price tag this how can we even put a value this is this is priceless it's as simple as that it is absolutely priceless now patricia just said Zena, what is a budget when you are watching JM? I don't bother because I cannot stick to one. I just love gems. And that's the thing, isn't it, Patricia? You can't put a price tag on this strand. You no, just cause, can't. Because, you know, if you were to, to say to your insurer, could you, you know, insure yeah. this? Because you couldn't replace it. And that's the point. It's totally irreplaceable. Yeah. How, how do you possibly get an insurance for something that, as Sarah said, you, we can't replace? Mm. Now, Caroline just said, oh, M.G. Zena, can I see a few sneaky um, paparazzi colour stones in that strand? Beautiful. And by the way, the guest design and the crew are all my twilight angels. Oh, Aww. Caroline, what a lovely thing to say. But yeah, paparazzi, definitely, without question. There's one in there that's almost a champagne tone yeah. as well, which is just amazing. It's sort of, it's not pink and it's not yellow it's just got this beautiful tone to it it's in fact i'm going to use the, the only word i can think of for this song gear sapphire strand is sensational it is and as you say you know just to be in the presence of it gives gives me goosebumps it, because it, it, it's so 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 rare yeah. so you know and as you say it's unreplaceable and just I, the beauty on that yeah i'm going to try and just quickly count if i possibly can two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two twenty four twenty six twenty eight thirty believe this or not thirty two thirty four thirty six thirty eight forty forty two forty four forty six forty eight fifty fifty two fifty four fifty six fifty eight sixty sixty two sixty four i've got sixty six song gear one i don't read that out danny i don't say that do you want me to say that? Do you want me to say that? £1.10. Sorry, £1.5. £1.5 for a gemstone that, 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 that we cannot mine anymore. It, it, it has now run out. Patricia, have you got one? Mirabelle, another stupid low price. Just got them bought. You'll just got just get them bought. You'll never see them anywhere else. And that genuinely is the case. Just going to give you a, a, just an idea because you only need, I mean, one pair. I dread to think what, what, what you could ask for on, on, sap, on Songhia Sapphire earrings. No, I wouldn't even I, had as a yes. I, I couldn't even put a price on it. No. I genuinely, I tell you now, the entire, I tell you what I could tell you though, there's almost no limit on these. Can I just say, you know that's 69.95 for the whole strand? If you were to put one, just two sapphires, Songhia sapphires and a pair of earrings in precious metal, you'd be talking more than that. Just for one pair. I mean, this is, this is treasure. That's what this is. This is pure, unadulterated gemstone treasure I, I really generally don't know how we put a price on that strand good luck on getting my we're seriously limited now of course as i said um i i can, oh, did we get the oh i'm gonna have to write have i got the can we write that code down for me please thank you i want it i need it that's going in my safe that's what that's doing it's going in my safe <laughs> that is going in my safe 100 percent 100%. Uh, right then, we have got, oh, <laughs> we have got, I've been waiting to bring you this all night. I mean, it's got to be something special to finish, to follow Song Gear Sapphire, hasn't it? Every single member of the crew Every presenter will wax lyrical about Mystic Colour Coated Topaz. Every, but every one of us. Look at that. Now look at that rainbow of colours again. Phenomenal facet work again. You can see the incredible clarity. Look at the sparkle. And then the rainbow of colours on the coating on those. But the, the quality of the topaz bursts through, doesn't it? 
50 carats of mystic color coated topaz. It's, it's, it's just electrifying. Would anybody mind if I just popped that with the Song Gear Sapphire? Would anybody mind if I just show, just, just tried it? Because I would love to create a piece of jewelry with those two mm -hmm. gemstones. Yeah, definitely. Oh, look at that. Oh my word. Now we're talking high end, aren't we? Gosh, can you imagine if you made, you know, just a, a central section of a bracelet? Oh. And, you know, you may be, got some sterling silver chain if you've got the infinity chain or if you could stretch you know and maybe getting some gold chain to make a piece and having it all set into gold um i just think that if you were to take it to a jeweler's he, he wouldn't know what to do with it he no would, or, or you it, know, no absolutely they couldn't, do it. they couldn't make it themselves because they just can't get hold of those sapphires yeah that is just look at i've got to hold those out for you let me just show you this look let me show you again how every single one of those is bursting. It's almost as if it's bursting with excitement, isn't it? Every single one of them. Now, we've graduated the, the strand ever so slightly for you. Um, well, say ever so slightly. We've actually gone from 5x3 to 8x4, so quite considerably, actually, because, you know, the difference of 3 millimetres in the size of gemstone in those droplets like that is quite, quite considerable, actually. Um, you've got guaranteed sparkle, guaranteed scintillation. They, they just burst with life, don't they? Can I show you those? Ooh, look at those. Do, do. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, now we should be at 44.95. That's where we should be. But we haven't, we've been ignoring what we should be doing all evening, haven't we? Yeah, let's do a record low, Danny. Yeah, I do. Shall we? Go on then. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. For all that sparkle, for that disco diva. Do you know, he's not just going, he's not just going a little smidgen, is he? We're having like an avalanche, aren't we? I know. She's just gone, you know, this holiday's uh, made him come back all, you know, carefree yeah. with the prices. Yeah, he's got a bit carefree, hasn't he? Ooh. Yeah, because you do go a bit carefree when you've been on your holidays, don't you? You do, you come back and you're all relaxed. Yeah, and you're all rela relaxed and you throw caution to the wind and you just, you're all relaxed, aren't you? You don't, you, you don't, you don't worry about getting told off, do you? I'm on my holidays. <laughs> we have got a 17, let me just mention, a £17 saving. I mean, we took Tanzanite tonight to £17.95. We took Colombian Emerald to 19.95. These are the kind of calibre of strands you can buy with the saving we've just given you on that strand today. I mean, that's that's quite <laughs> bizarre, isn't it? To think it is. You know, for another 90, 95 pence on that saving, you could have had a Tanzanite strand. It's incredible, isn't it? So superb. Um, I'd love to count them for you, but we haven't got the time. I mean, we've only got an hour and fifteen minutes left, haven't we? Mind you, normally, you see, we'd only have 15 minutes left, wouldn't we? But we've got until 10 p.m. <laughs> um, right, then, so good luck. Congratulations on those. I've got a few chances left for you. Um, yeah, good luck. Beautiful brilliance there. That's, what you th That's the thing sometimes. When you want to guarantee a bit of sparkle in a piece of jewellery, certain gemstones that topaz every oh, time. Yeah, every definitely. time. Yeah. Um, right, then, do you fancy some... Um, ooh... Some lovely Zaris. We do love it. Do you love a Zari? I do. I do. I, I use Zari threads all the time. Do you? What do you use them in? Gosh, I use them for all sorts. So I'll make chunky macrame pieces with it. I'll do it on my Kumi Hemo. I've crocheted with it. Um, I use it all the time for wrapping up gifts. I, I use, I use yeah. it for wrapping up gifts as it's well. It's brilliant. Yeah, it's um, lovely. I've made flowers with them, macrame flowers, um, and put those onto the gifts and presents. Um, I've used it in my card making. Um, oh, so you do card making as well? I do. I do. Yes. Oh. I know. Busy girl. Could, could you... I've got, I've got some... Cushions at home that are a bit boring. Yes. To be honest. Yeah. Could I put sort of do like a piping edge on the front and the back all the way around with that? Definitely. I could, couldn't I? Yeah. Either that or you could sort of blanket stitch it around the edges or, you know, create that. Even I can do a blanket stitch. Yeah. You can create that sort of faux yeah. feel of a, you know, a sort of putting in a bit of shabby chic if you like. Yeah. I yeah. like that idea. Um, Definitely macrame. Now, I've, I've made some macrame pieces with this beautiful braided thread because that's like, if I can just see, see if I can just unwrap one for you, just to show you, because they are actually, oh, hang on, that's not it, but let's have one, see if I can show you. know, if I just like, pull one out from there, look, because they are already braided. So, again, you get that lovely 
chunkiness almost to yeah, it, to the, rather than a, the, one of the thinner threads. Can you see why, we, why Sarah and I use this to wrap presents? Or wrap, sort of, if you just went and wrapped a beautiful bouquet of flowers in some tissue and then had that as the beautiful um, bow. Just, just that lovely element of detail. Now, for three bundles in, dare I say, the... Um, I'm going to just say it. What, can you say that? Can you say it's it? It's the seasonal colours. It is the... Se that's a good <laughs> word to use. It. Yes. The seasonal colours that come around Christmas. in December. Um, 150 metres. We should be 790. <gasps> oh, do you know, I might as well just like, look, I might as well just throw them into your living room or wherever you are. Go, have them. <laughs> really great. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I mean, you can make big tassels with these and put them onto your curtain tie Ooh, bags. Yeah. Um, oh, that's a nice idea. Because the tassels can be really, really expensive. And we do like a tassel, don't because we? Because they're braided, you can actually uncoil, when you've made the tassel, uncoil the bottom and then just have it as a fuller effect as well. Do you know what else you can do with these? You could give these away as a temporary sort of necklace cord as well, couldn't you? So if you've got loads and loads of pe uh, uh, pendants and you've got like loads... Because you need to display them on your bust, don't you? You do. So those braided cords... Because you've got that tinsel brocade effect as well and that spark, it's going to grab the attention. And again, if you have that on your bus, the white bus or the black bus, whether they're the acrylic, the leatherettes, whichever ones you get from Jewelry Maker, these would be great. It doesn't have to be temporary because you could just knot them. You could have them as a, as a pendant cord, but great as giveaways as well. Definitely. I mean, you know, just pop a ribbon cord ending on the end or yeah. do a macrame style exactly. back to it. So even yeah. if you won't even have to use any findings. No. A couple of the larger... Um, seed beads we've had, the metal ones on the end with a little knot. They yeah. look beautiful. Brilliant. Uh, basically, one pound. One pound eight, one pound nine each. Brilliant. Thank you. Fantastic. Uh, right then, now we've got a brilliant. Oh gosh, they're so fat. They're so funky. They are. They're, they're basically. They're funk on a strand. They are funky. They are, they are what Uptown Funk was written for, I'm telling you. Look at these bad boys. These are bad boys. Oh, look at those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you see what I mean about bad boy Labradorites, aren't they? Oh, definitely. They look are just, at them. They're just screaming, look at me, aren't they? They're yeah. just attention grabbing. They are, aren't they? Mm. I mean, there's, if you're one of those people that doesn't want to get noticed by your jewellery, these ain't for you. Because these, I mean, these for gents as well. Oh, yeah, just a simple <sighs> braided leather cord. Yeah. One of those on there. Perfect. Oh, they are truly magnificent. I mean, I know everybody's watching that telly programme at the minute. I don't watch it. I'm one of the few percentage of the planet that don't watch Game of Thrones. But, <laughs> but, and I'd like to apologise for everybody that does because I keep coming in and my fellow's watching and I sit there for 10 minutes and I think, oh, just, <laughs> oh, no. Just no. No. But if you saw one of the, whatever their names are, in the cloaks, in the forest, and they're always in those castles and things and throwing balls of fire at each other and stuff, aren't they? Um, one of the men could carry this off, couldn't he? I, w I wouldn't know. I've never no. watched it. <laughs> it's, 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 it's... No. Like, but I I've it, tried. I can imagine, you know, in... Uh, Lord of the Rings. Oh, and yeah. They go to the elfish land. Yeah. I can imagine them wearing that in a crown or, yeah. you know, an ethereal neckline piece. Or Aragorn. He'd have one of them on a piece of leather. Yes. He'd carry that off. But look, now I'm just showing you the one that's catching the light for now, but they're all going to deliver you the fantastic Labrador. And as I turn it around, look, it doesn't matter which one, I, it's just as the light hits it. But every single one of these, now look at the detail. Look at the, it's like it's got a sash. Of, of gold, of, of, of black lace, and then you've got the blues and the coppers. I mean, they're just truly magnificent, aren't they? I mean, that for me would be big, big striking shards as, as, a, as a pendant for me personally. I can see this it, working beautifully as maybe a festival piece of jewellery yeah. to go around the hairline, Ooh, yeah. coming across the forehead or, you know, built into the piece around the back. So just catch the light as you move and just be in the hair would look amazing or, or to take you know if, if you know somebody who maybe is getting married but they're like um more of to be back to nature or be, uh, maybe go for sort of having flowers in their hair and things like that to actually build these into the headdress would look amazing yeah incredible aren't they mm. 24.95 is not the price 
that you will be paying. I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can I show you one of the smaller ones? Let me just turn this around. Oops, come here you, come here. Tag. Now, I just want to catch the light with this one. Come on you, where are you? Because this one's just caught my eye. Look at that. No. It's playing hard to get. Come on you, catch the light. Can you see, look, that's the chance. <laughs> there you go. Just about <laughs> catching, I've got that many overhead lights. It's which one it's going to catch. Now look at that. Look at that bad boy. And we've just gone to 17.95. These are Madagascan Labradorites. They are totally natural. And they're all as good as that. It's just a case of which overhead light I'm going to catch the light with the camera. That's as simple as that. Do you see, look? Do you see, look? Look at that. Now, when you walk in somewhere, I don't care if you're walking in the supermarket, if you're going into the library, you're going to cause a... Can you imagine walking in the library with these? <laughs> and everybody's supposed to be keep quiet. They're going to be like, what is that? <laughs> Shh! It's supposed to be quiet. Look at that. I don't know why you'd be going in the library. Oh, look at this. Oh, I am. Look at that. And that's just, I'm just trying to twist round, only because I can't get round into the light on my twisty chair. Look at that. But it's that, it's that big drop. They go up to 60 mil drop. They're amazing. I just, <sighs> if you like, you know, if you like jewellery that's got a statement to it. Wow factor. But you know, you could just take one of those and do some really intricate wire wrapping around oh, yeah. it. And that would just soften and bring in the femininity to the piece of jewellery as well. Yeah. So, you know, you can have a simple piece of jewellery with just one of them, but still have a really elegance about it. But I would be tempted just to keep the whole lot together. <laughs> so would I. <laughs> Big impact. Uh, right, well, we'd love to just stay gawping at them, to be honest, wading through the forest, wouldn't we, with our cloak on our back? But we've got to go to our next star boy. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's the night on the late show of big, sexy, chunky statement pieces, isn't it? Goodness gracious me. Now, Amazonite, you may have seen, it's very unique. It's almost Larimar-esque. It really, really is. In fact, I'd love to see these with some lovely Larimar. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Big, sizable Amazonite. It's just, it's lovely to go on holiday with. Perfect. I mean, that, I've got to show you with this. I mean, can you imagine that? with your beautiful black spinel look because the black spinel with that sharpness of black jet black contrast but with all the sparkle versus those amazonite hues and they've got lovely patterns with them and they're mottled they're gorgeous look at those look at those very sizable i'll take that away so we don't confuse the issue but my i'll tell you what they'd go great with those labradorite big elongated bars we've just had wouldn't they as well for a bit of a contrast but again, look at the beautiful patterns within each one of those Amazonites. They're a fascinating gemstone. Really, really, really interesting. Whenever you come back to me and I'm like, oh. It's because we've got a massive plasma against, a, a, across the studio. And we sit, we, we sit, we look, we don't we? We're like, oh. Looking down here yeah, you're, you're normally looking down there, and it's not because we're not interested, it's because we're truly captivated and just want to see these in as big a plasma as we can possibly feast our eyes on them. They're gorgeous size. I mean, every one of those for me would be pendant or ring. I mean, they're just magnificent size, aren't they? And it's that, tr it's that lovely, unique hue. I mean, if you love sort of Larimar, if you love turquoise, if you, you're going to sort of guarantee to fall in love with Amazonite, aren't you? You are. Can, you know, you get that range of the tones coming through and all of that, those characteristics of the, t of the sort of mottling and the patterns that you get in the gemstone. So for me, you know, it's really unique. Each one is, is a masterpiece, if you like, yeah. of, of Mother Nature. And for me, that, I love that about gemstones, that each one is different. They're lovely. Now those arrows are going down. They're going way down. It's, a, it's an incredible deal, this. Oh my word. <laughs> we are talking about 
9.95 on these Amazonites. 155 carats of Amazonite in these graduated sizes. They're, they're, they're so intoxicating. They kind of draw you in and then latch onto you like a vine, don't they? I think they're magnificent. Have you ever, have you ever worked with Amazonite much, Sarah? I have, and I just, uh, it's one of those, you, you know me, I love my colours anyway. You do, don't you? Um, so for me, it's just brilliant to have that that sort of colour palette, but I love the tones. And you, yeah. you're very right, you are drawn right into the gemstone, and it captivates you and just makes you, you know, it'll tell you what you want to do with it. It'll, it'll guide you in the right direction as a piece of jewellery to make from yeah. it. Um, I've got no shadow of a doubt it'll do that. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. But for me, I'd, I'd love a big statement cocktail ring out of one of those. Oh, 100%. 100%. Um, and it, it wouldn't matter what tone of why you no. worked with either, because the strongness of the hue of colour will work beautifully against any uh, metallic tones. Absolutely. Incredible. Um, right then, in the next hour... Can I, can I just tell you what we've got coming up in there? Oh, can I just quickly tell you before I do? I've got loads of collectors here in Greater London, in, Greater, uh, in County Antrim, Annette in Lancashire, uh, Isabel, Oksana, Rachel, Sandra, Vilma, Elizabeth, well done, you got two of these. Congratulations in Cleveland. Um, right, in the next hour, I am going to give you the chance to own chrome diopsile. I'll give you a little cheeky, quick, sneaky peek. Wonderful chrome diopside, a fant I know, I can't believe I've had, I've got um, chrome diopside uh, a couple of times for you today. It's just such a treat. We have got the sterling silver rhodium plated, uh, gorgeous chain that I've got coming up for you that I've been wearing for the last few hours because I refuse to take it off. It's magnificent. And if you don't understand about rhodium plating, don't worry. Please, 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 because we will explain all of that for you after the break. Now, the good news is, uh, starting from the 1st of June, we are now officially live until 10pm with you here on Jewelry Maker. So the good news is we have another 60 minutes of live JM fun, fabulous treats for you coming up next. Sarah Elvin brings you her DVD, Friendship Bracelets. This fantastic DVD is filled with excellent techniques to create the perfect friendship bracelet. This includes the chevron style bracelet, the knitted style bracelet, and the crisscross bracelet. Friendships are forever, and so are bracelets. To get your hands on a copy of this fantastic DVD, contact our call center on 0800 644 655. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives 50 If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker, Ivy House, Henley Road, Outhill, Studley, B807DU. Get making and good luck. Did you know when you book on a Jewelry Maker workshop, you are given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. There are two easy ways you can purchase from Jewelry Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview and Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click to register. 
Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking on the Watch Live Show button on the home page. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, simply click on the Add to Basket button and you can continue shopping or check out right away. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one PNP. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hello, my lovelies. Is everybody thinking, oh, what's every, how, how come they're still here? That's, that, you're not repeating this morning's show yet, no? Because we're live with you till 10 o'clock. And that's for the whole of June. And if you love it, we might just carry on. You never know. We might. Um, now, the good news is in this hour, in about half an hour's time, we are going to be bringing you this phenomenal, wait till you see the price. What, should we tell them the price, Danny? Shall we? Let's. Tell me the price we're going to. Okay, we and look at the way it falls. Now I've just literally draped that chain over there, took it off. They had to literally drag it off my neck. Um, but we popped it onto the bus and it falls beautifully. It's a knockout grade of uh, uh, stunning silver, but it has then been rhodium plated. And if you don't know what rhodium plating is, we will describe it all. Do you know what we're going to go to on that? Baby, bear in mind, it is rhodium plated, which is part of the platinum family. Often 10 times more expensive than gold rhodium is. We're going 595. <laughs> Sarah's face then. We are going to five pounds <laughs> ninety-five. I know. I know. I know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That will be coming your way in less than 30 minutes, my lovelies, at 595. Just saying. Um, right then, so we bought you earlier on the show. You may, you may have got that fantastic, was it 990 carats of lapis lazuli cabochons? Oh! So, yeah, previously a deal of the day. Now we've got these. 220 carats of, again. Can you imagine one of these? These are funky as well, aren't they? Can you imagine one of these with the Labradorite? Yeah, they look amazing. Yeah, and if you think we just had that sterling silver infinity chain, the figure of eight chain, imagine one of those on like a, like a, a, 30, a 30 centimetre sort of chain. That would look wicked, wouldn't it? It would, and you know, that would take you right through from summer, right through to winter with Absolutely. that long line effect. Yeah. And the gemstone is such a statement that, oh, you know, it wouldn't, love them. wouldn't sort of, you know, be um, sort of hidden by a, a chunky jumper or anything like that. It would just stand and be really sort of beautiful. Yeah, incredible. Now, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just to give you an idea. Now, we don't guarantee eight, as you can see there. We tell you that you're going to get 220 carats in these elongated drops. Again, look at that super cool variety of hue throughout that strand as well. Superb, isn't it? 1995. Great for, I know we talk about saying great for gents, but I, we get so many lovely gents names come up. There are so many fantastic, wonderful uh, gents, gentlemen jewelry makers. Again, we've got our wonderful Mark Smith, of course. Our lovely, lovely Mark Smith on the morning show today. Um, and we previously had our lovely guest designer, Alan, who's just gone in, on his holidays. Our lovely Alan, just gone on his uh, holidays, bless him. Um, but we get loads, and we get loads of gents coming on our workshops as well. So, you know, we've got to make sure that we bring something for everyone, of course, don't we? Um, so, we, 1995, Danny just said, guess what, Zoom, we're not stopping there. What are you doing then, Tiger? No, 25%. 25% we've just taken these down, everybody. We've just saved you a quarter. <laughs> That's a bit cheeky, isn't it? It's very cheeky. I Tw like it. We like, yeah, we do <laughs> like it. Do you know, we're never going to complain about 25% off one of the most famous, superbly collectible gemstones. And of that, that shape. Because, again, ha let me hold that down so you can see how they, because they're, they're top drilled as well, look. Look at that lovely movement. So I'm, I'm hardly moving the strand, but look at that, look at the lovely way that they've got that wonderful, wonderful movement. 
because you've got the sort of ex accentuated base, haven't you? I have, but I, I, I'd use three of those onto oh. a comb and have them facing up Art Deco sort of fan style. Oh, would you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely, and maybe just a throw in a few feathers behind. Yeah. yeah, I think they'd look beautiful. Do you know what though? I've got to say, after buying my fascinator yesterday, um, I'm starting to have a bit of a love affair with feathers. I'm just saying. Look at them. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, right then, well we'd love to say there, but you know what? Guess what I've got? Well, guess what I've got? As a presenter's pick, because it's my favourite, they're allowing me to do... I can't believe it. I must have done something good in a former life. Um, they are allowing me, in our super live till 10pm slot, to do another strand of chrome dioxide as a presenter's pick. Oh, I can only cope with so many... I can only cope with seeing this gemstone so many times in one day. It's almost like... It's like... It's, it's, I have to have like a fix of chrome diopside. I have to have that, that daily moment. Do you know what I love about it? The thing is, when you get, um, let's say, emerald, okay, you can have such a variety of hue of emerald, can't you? If you think you can have like... Um, Colombian emerald that we had earlier on the show, really vibrant and bright. You can then have um, like um, a Siberian emerald, it's a bit lighter. Then you can go right to the other extreme and go to like a Zambian emerald and then a Botley emerald and a Santa Teresina emerald and an Itabira emerald and they go darker and darker and darker and darker. And you've got that huge plethora of variety of green and that's wonderful in emerald. But what I love about Chrome Dark Side is if you get chrome dioxide from Jewelry Maker. And the reason I say that is because we actually moved the cutting of, 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 of chrome dioxide to our gem cutting house in Jaipur, Jaipurium it's called. You might wonder why we did that, because it was actually a quite huge cost to ourselves as a business. The reason we did that is because the cost of mine chrome dioxide is so huge and you only get a window of about eight to 10 to 12 weeks a year where you can mine it, Fewer and fewer miners are actually mining this gemstone and it, more and more miners drop off year on year on year. What we also found was, and we get it, totally understandable, because the cost per carat is so high on this gemstone, what people do is they, they, they cut the gemstone, uh, yeah, that is all I've got, I'm afraid, 20. But they, what they do is a lot of jewellers out there maximise the carat weight so that they get the most return for their money, which we totally understand. But... You have to cut chrome diopside to maximise its beauty before you even think about carrot weight. You have to. You have to respect the gemstone. It's the, own, it's the right thing to do. Now, because we're ethical, because we, we love, we adore, and we are passionate about our gemstones, we couldn't bear this anymore. So we moved the cutting at our expense to our, to, to, to our Jaipurium, um, in Jaipur, obviously, our, our gem cutting house. And that's why I know, hand on heart, that the chrome dark side you get from Jewelry Maker and Gem Poirier is the best grade you could wish for. 35 carats here, so again, it's not a carat weight to be sniffed at. Of course, we maintain the carat weight where we can, but it's got to be beauty first every time. So if you want the most beautiful chrome dark side for your pennies, you're in the right place. 35 carats, half the stock's already nearly gone. Now, I said to you, didn't I, when we had, and I told uh, my producer about this, when we had, my lovely manager managed to find us two strands of chrome dioxide on Saturday night at the weekend on the Lake Show, and both strands went in seconds. Didn't even get to the minute mark. Both strands. Now, 29.95, we've already matched the price on 35 carats of outstanding quality of chrome dioxide. Extreme beauty. And that consistency of colour, as you can see in that wickedly colour matched and size matched strand. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? Now, I just said to my producer, if you cannot beat 29.95, and I think he took that as a dare. I think he took it as a challenge. And he's blooming well gone and done it. 
Half the stock is gone now. Joy, Helen and Chris, Sarah, Tanya, all of you that have checked out already, you will all get charged the reduced rate of $24.95. Now, Sarah's with me. She said, oh, Zoom, chrome dioxide, my favourite gemstone. I'm, I'm with you, Sarah. She said, I couldn't resist. I have just got a strand now. Sarah, I, I own so many pieces of chrome dioxide from Gem Poria and Jewelry Maker. Every single one guaranteed to fall in love with. In fact, We've got a 2% returns rate here at Jewelry Maker. I bet we've got a 0% returns rate on our chrome dots, and I'm willing to bet that. I can't imagine any one of you, once you get this through your door, I cannot imagine for one millisecond that you would ever consider parting with it. I just can't. Now, Deb's just said, wow, wow, we are. <laughs> I quite like that, Deb's. It is a wow, wow, we are, isn't it? It is. I mean, the... The colour for me does it every time. Every time. It's such a unique tone. Um, yeah, it's almost nothing a, else like it. It's hard to describe. It's a really rich green, but it's got sort of blue undertones to yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and it's just the glow that comes yeah. from it. And it just draws you and you fall in love with it. You can't help it. It's just, and I don't wear a lot of green gemstones. No, I, no, I don't. Mm. That is just mesmerising. In fact, I'm just trying to think. I think for me, chrome dioxide is my only green gemstone that I wear. In fact, it is. There's me, just trying to think in my head. I've got one peridot. I do have a peridot um, pendant. But my, my only other green gem... And that's... I, I've got green... I love peridot. But for me, it's that darker yeah. green that I I've go for. I've got a couple of pieces of emerald jewellery. But that's it. And that I'm just in love with. I absolutely love it. It's oh, special. Very special. Twenty-four ninety-five. I tell you what, that there is a chance of a lifetime, and I don't say that lightly. You should not ever be allowed to possess a strand of chrome dioxide at that grade for that price tag, and that's the reason we've only got four chances left. That, as I said, <laughs> is your dream purchase today. I've got eight of you with it in your baskets, and I've got two chances left. Guess what's going to happen? Guess what is going to happen, my lovely, gorgeous lot? You're going to miss out. Check, check out. It's like that. I feel like we should be at the top of a mountain going, check out. It's 24.95 grand upside. <laughs> that is brilliant. Oh, can I show you this with them? Can I show you this with them? Oh, how much do you love Jewelry Maker right now? Oh, have we ever seen Citrine look like that? I haven't seen Citrine in ages, let alone look like that. I haven't seen Citrine in ages. <laughs> look at that! Oh, I am done. I am literally, you know when you put a cake in the oven and it's risen to perfection and you are done. Mm-hmm. Are we doing that next? Shall we do it now? Shall we, shall we, let's? Shall we, shall we, let's? Oh, look at this. Oh, my word. Firstly, the, firstly, it's, it's the clarity that is going to take your breath away, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I would almost question that that's citrine because it's that <laughs> it's that good. <laughs> goodness me! Goodness me! Goodness, uh, we are we are we're all fascinated in the studio because we're all we're all in shock. It's as simple as that. Also, the size is 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 is, is unbelievable. If we're all, all, everybody, in my, I've, I've got a talk back in my ear, I've got an earpiece, and basically my producer, my director, my lovely, everyone on the cameras, Sarah Elvin, my lovely guest designer, myself, we're all shot in shock, <laughs> officially in shock. I mean, I tell you what, we've had some good graded gemstones today, we've had amazing garnet, we've had incredible chrome dots, so we've had pink tourmaline, We've had sensational Songhia Sapphire. We've had Tanzanite. My goodness me, we've had London Blue Topaz. The list goes on. 
but this for citrine and the facet work. Can you see that we've actually step cut these? So they're these huge ovals of immense clarity. Now, Helen and Chris, Celine, Diana and a collector, congratulations, you've actually had half the availability. But for that clarity, for that size and that unique step cut, wow. I've got to count these, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, I've got 20 magnificent citrines on there. Do you know, never... Do you know, again, this is a bit like the Songhia Sapphire. I, I, I almost couldn't, I couldn't, great, I couldn't price these as well. I couldn't price tag those. No. Five sites, we have training courses regularly, obviously. If, if somebody put that in front of me and said, price that, A, I'd struggle to call it citrine because I'd be so flabbergasted at that, that clarity and the size and the crispness of them. But I, I'd, again, I'd struggle to price them because they're so, they're so unusual. Mm. So and try replacing those again. Yeah, and just maybe one or two articulated in a drop off a chain would just be a Sense. central focal point. Absolutely. They, these really are incredible. Now, Vivian, you've got them, D uh, Diana, Celine, uh, Helen and Chris, uh, Kaz, you've just got them. That leaves us with one strand. We have now got one strand left on this, haven't we, Danny? Once, I know the computers, the graphics, oh, there you go. Sorry, Danny, love. Um, now, Ian Hampshire, I've got three people on the telephones because this is, as far as I'm concerned, a bit like the song here, Sapphire. It, not that it, we're not mining it anymore, but I've got to say that strand is the most unique strand of citrine I have ever laid eyes on. It's been that kind of a show today. Hasn't it where we can actually comfortably say, never seen citrine like that? That's beautiful. <sighs> Having said that, Right, just those of you that have missed out, because Carol, I think you just got the last one. Now, hang on, before Lee and Cardiff and Ian Hampshire, before you, before you go, oh, darn it. <laughs> Look at what I've got here. Very stylish. I have got these faceted, fabulous nuggets. All my director can keep, pour, keep saying in my ear, Look at the clarity, look at the clarity, look at the clarity. She's literally screaming at me in my ear saying, look at the clarity. I tell you what, let's hold those out. Look at that. I mean, those are crystal clear. Now, if you ever see citrine in a geode, they're normally quite brown. They're quite, they're really brown. They're certainly not that vibrant citrine yellow there. But uh, you, you just, you, in fact, I, in fact, I, I've got to wear them. I've got to, oh, we've only got nine. Ah. Oh. Now, well, so I got nine, got, got seven. Now, those are Brazilian. They're massive nuggets. They, I mean, imagine these if you've got a stunning strand of really well cut faceted smoky quartz. <laughs> Oh, do you know, I'm just thinking if you've got a strand of maybe some of the honey amber. Oh, yeah. In between, just a couple Or the cherry of amber. Yeah. Or if only we had a knockout strand of garnet. If only, if only we had a top grade garnet strand to go with these. Do you know, I feel like we've gone into a hidden vault of jewellery maker that's reserved for our high-end privileged clients. You know, like when you go into like a safe underground and they bring out jewels. I don't know if you've ever done this. It's all locked. It's a bit like James Bond. You go into these safes and they've all got white cotton gloves on and everything. I feel like we've gone there, do you? I do. I do. Do you know what? We will take these 155 carats. We've actually got more carat weight here. Now, Tanya, Collectors, Ian Hampshire, if you don't want to miss out. Like, in fact, if you want to have a quick look with, because I know a number of you, or Tanya, you've just got them. Now, look at that as well. The ovals with the nuggets. Wow. I'm going to go with, De I'm going to go with what Deb Briggs said. We, what did she say? Wow, 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 we were. Wow, wow, we were. <laughs> Celine said, I couldn't help myself. I got two. The way they catch the light, they are amazing. 
She's like, I'm looking at, you can almost hear her go, I couldn't help myself. Now, have you got the chrome dark side? Mm-mm-mm. Mm. Mm. Have they gone? Oh, I'm not surprised. Congratulations, every one of you there that got the best. I keep saying this tonight, but it is best sip trick. I sound like a broken record tonight. I said that's the best garnet I've ever seen. The chrome dark side, those great. The, uh, uh, oh, my head's hurting. My, my head's actually hurting. Um, right then, should we do those garnets? Can I measure it? I've got it to just melt down. Oh my word. Okay. I sound like the witch out of out of the Wizard of Oz. I am melting. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Oh. Oh, now. When we talk about a gemstone having 70% of its value due to its colour, and that means hue tone and saturation what do you think what do you think that this 155 carats of deep 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 smoldering garnet there if 70% of the value of your gemstones in the collar this is going to be this should be this is going to provide you with seriously expensive garnet jewellery, isn't it? Look at the size of that one there. He's huge. He's been having his three shredded weight, hasn't he? <laughs> Goodness me. 155 carats. I'm going to shine a bit of light on these. Oh, look at those. Oh, I'm thinking of a beautifully matured, expensive 50 pound bottle of Barolo there. Other red wines are, of course, uh, look at the purple in there. Sorry if that light's hurt your eyes, we just showered it down a bit. Wow, what do you think about those, Sarah? Oh, they're stunning, aren't they? They're depth and the tone of those from from here where there's no light being shined on shine through them it's just everything you expect and, and more. more definitely mm. so 64.95 we should be let's all just ignore that that price just just if we ignore it it's going to go away isn't it do we think yeah Oh, he's gone under 50. Oh, now let me hold it out. Under 50 pounds for a, a, a really, really superb quality. You can see, again, the openness of those garnets. I mean, I talked about how clear and the clarity of the garnet on that charm earlier, mm -hmm. didn't I? Saying yeah. it was exceptional, but goodness gracious me. Uh, I tell you what, if you did get that sterling silver charm with the heart, with the oh, garnet, look amazing, wouldn't it? Look, look, if you didn't see that uh, earlier, uh, it will be our, our, on our Facebook page. And it's a, I think we've still got some available, haven't we, Danny? Yeah, the lovely garnet sterling silver charm that we had, because I'm just thinking if you popped it with this, it'd look amazing. Uh, now these, believe it or not, with that saturation of colour, those are totally natural. African stunning red garnets. Oh, amazing. They are amazing. Have you just put me some malachite cabochons? Oh, you monkey. What is going on today? We are, oh, oh, do you know what? We have had some really amazing gemstones on the show today. I'm just thinking if you've got those citrines in either the nuggets or the big boulders of the, the, the big ovals, pop it with one of these superb malachite cabochons now we are talking about 200 just in those two there 250 carats of malachite 
They're a really intriguing gemstone, aren't they, malachite? They are, because I love the fact that some you get the striations running through, as so you've got yep. one there, but then in the other ones, you always get like the uh, rings of the tree going yeah. through them, or sometimes you'll just get a V-shape come in. Yeah. Uh, you get all sorts of different patterns in them, and I love yeah. that. That's you can't, you know, that's something that's like a fingerprint on it. Yeah, and that's the thing, and it's now just to give you an idea in case you get any confused, it's always the carrot weight that we go on here with Jewelry Maker. So as you can see there, that parcel that we that we had, because we had a couple of parcels come through, you get six there. Now they're they're all of a more sort of um sort of a they're all well they're multicolor multi shapes obviously, but um here in the studio, this is the diversity of Mother Nature, isn't it? So you might get six stones, you might get five, you might get four, you might get two. To total 250 carats. Now what you could do is, what a lot of people tend to do is, 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 is get a couple of them to see the sort of variation in size and things. And, and, and obviously keep the ones that you, uh, that you prefer. That's, that's the way you can do it. Let me give you a balance. I'm going to go for the one that's got like the bandings of the tree. Now, if you're all waiting for this rhodium-plated sterling silver chain that's going to 5.95, it's coming up in a, two or three minutes. Now, that's a whopper, isn't it? Isn't it? It is. It's a, it's a real statement, though. I love that. Do you like the way I've wrapped it in invisible wire? I think that's really rather <laughs> clever. <laughs> now, that... I mean, look, look at the size of that versus, versus my hand size. I mean, that is a whopper of a cabochon of malachite. That has got to be superbly rare to get malachite in that size, hasn't it? That's it. And, you know, it's the fact that it's the tone of the colour running through there. You've got the beautiful striation pattern as well. It's not oh. just a single tone. Um, you know, there's no places where the colour's dipping out or anything like that. No, and that's it's, it's just really beautiful. Can I show you just what, what Sarah's talking about there as well? Because you can you see there you've got that lovely, lovely striping. But then look at this. Look at, how, look at that. How cool is that? And bear in mind, this is natural. These are Madagascan malachite. Now, if you don't know malachite, malachite actually fetches a very, very good price tag. It's, it really, really will command. If you want to make some beautiful jewellery with malachite, you really can command a good ticket price. It's fascinating. Now, I was talking, it was talking to Sammy, our guest is on the other day, and Sammy was saying when she's going to take the time, she's going to put the time in to actually wire wrap and do a really detailed, beautiful uh, wire wrapped capuchon. Because she sort of sells in Cheltenham and mm -hmm. like you in London, you've got to have something a bit special, haven't you, to yeah. command the ticket price as well. Definitely. And you want something interesting and... Yeah, and that's a talking point. And a lot of people, when, um, you know, they, they maybe spend a lot of money on their clothes, uh, a lot of money on their cars and things like that. They want their jewellery to be that real talking point, that real striking, but different as well. So these give you all of that in abundance. Yeah. Mm, fascinating. Now, Sarah, we're going to do something really naughty now. Really naughty? Yeah. <laughs> so, 1995 for 250 carats. But, you know where Danny's been giving us 25% off tonight? Did you get 25% off your holiday or something, Danny? Is there something that he's fixated with on 25% saving on Malachite? That's unheard of. <laughs> Absolutely unheard of. I mean, put this with the garnets we've just done. Put this with the pink tourmaline we did earlier. Put it with those incredible size citrines we've just done. What would you do with these, Sarah? Um, I would be really tempted to make a focal collar piece. Yeah. Um, and then just wrap those onto the centre part of it, so like a quite a deep collar that sort oh, of lovely. comes like narrow to yeah. the side here. Um, either that or um, into a bracelet, I think. Yeah. And I would probably do a partial bit that's got um, seed bead embroidery around the oh. capsule. Now you're talking. Because then you can really bring in the detail. Yeah. And you've not, you've, although you've got a, a real feature there, you can then add little, smaller details around yeah. it. Beautiful idea. I love that. You can't take your eyes off Malachite, can you? I'm trying desperately to concentrate on what our lovely Sarah's saying to me, but then your eyes just get... You just can't stop <laughs> gawping at them, can you? 
Um, well, uh, collectors in California's got them. Christine, Elizabeth had two. Well done, Elizabeth. Very savvy of you. Jane, Sandra, Jackie, Lorna, Oksana. Collectors in the Isle of Man. Angela, Colin in Cumbria. You got a chance, my lovely, if you're quick. Jacqueline, Isabel, Kerry, Edwina, all yet to check out. So amazing saving. That is incredible. So well done. Right then, we've got another star buy for you. It's the rhodium plated sterling silver necklace that is going to £5.95 and it's coming up for you right now. Oh, it's like that, isn't it? We're all we're all like that, aren't we? We're all primed, aren't we? We're like, whoa. Um, right then. Now we could, always makes me laugh when we put these on the graphics because we always say it's a chain. It's not really a chain because it's a ready-made necklace. It's already done for you. Okay. Now you will see there. It is sterling silver um, necklace. So four nine two five sterling silver. It is a ready-made necklace. I'm going to turn it around for you to have a little... In fact, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll turn it around on the bus for you, save turning the bus around. That would be much easier, wouldn't it? So it's ready-made. It's got a beautiful texture to it as well. You've got, as you can see... Oh, over this side, there you go. Look, so you can see there you've got your extender. So you've got your two-inch extender. Okay. So there you go. And I'm just going to turn it around a little bit more so you can see it's got the bolt ring clasp in position and it is stamped 925 sterling silver for you, okay? So it's actually officially an 18 centimeter, uh, 18 inch chain because you've got 16 inches in the actual necklace itself and then an additional two inches to take it to your 18 inch. Now, people at home that don't know what rhodium plated, because it can sound a bit technical, can't it, rhodium plated? Yes, it can. Yeah, it doesn't, it's not, it's, you know, it's rhodium, you know, it's not necessarily the, the best sort of word, really, but rhodium, if you're not aware, is a very, very precious metal. It's part of the platinum family, and actually, usually, it's at least, and I say the words at least um, conservatively, it is at least, rhodium is at least 10 times more expensive than gold. That's quite impressive, isn't it? <laughs> it is. To be 10 times more expensive than gold. Now, usually the reason it's rhodium plated as opposed to rhodium fully is you couldn't afford it. So if it was fully rhodium, basically, I don't think you and I would necessarily possibly think about going for it because it's going to be really expensive. So also because it's very hard, it tends to be melted down and then plated because it's such a strong, precious metal. Now, it's, it's, um, it's fabulous as a plating for sterling silver chains because it's, it's glitteringly, dazzlingly white and very mirror-like. It's almost like, think of the chrome that you have in, in, in say, your bathroom. So you know when you have those fabulous chrome taps and fabulous chrome radiator heaters and they're shiny and they're sparkly and they can see, you can literally, like a mirror, see, a re see your reflection in it. So it's very mirror-like. It makes it sort of quite white, like a very, very white silver. Um, and it makes it um, basically much whiter than it would normally be. And it makes it, even though silver is the most reflective of all gemstones, the rhodium plating makes it even more reflective. And can you see as well in this beautiful necklace, we've actually got a lovely texture to it. So not only have you got silver, sterling silver, which is the most reflective gemstone, then you've got an even more reflective plating on there, which is the rhodium, and then you've got that texture, which is going to catch the light as well. I mean, could you wish for anything more with this chain? Excuse me, you. I know we should be 8 95 but we promised 5 95 So you can leave that up there as long as you like, and you can stand with your hands on your hips, young man, but we're having 5 95 thank you. Come on. Oh, we've got his arms folded. Oh, he's not happy. Oh, he's got his hands on. Oh, look. 5 95 <laughs> We've promised it. Now, we've started with 200 It's a great availability, but on the late show, when you know we shouldn't be doing this, it's an amazing deal. Now, also, rhodium is used to plate sterling silver chains because it's highly reflective. It gives it extra hardness, and it gives corrosion resistance. So, the other thing to mention is, if you get knocked when your silver tarnishes, 
won't tarnish as fast with rhodium plating on it. Oh no, it's anti-tarnishing, extra hard, highly reflective. Do you know the other thing that makes it brilliant for people? So for those of you allergic to things, do you know what else rhodium plating gives to this chain? Hypoallergenic. Hypoallergen. I mean, is there anything? It's almost as if rhodium <laughs> is like the ultimate <laughs> precious metal of all, isn't it? It's like a superhero precious yeah. metal, isn't it? Well, it's more expensive than gold, ten mm. times. It's more expensive than platinum. And you've basically got everything you could wish for in a sterling silver chain, but more. Haven't you? Oh, definitely. £5.95 for all that, Sarah Alvin. I don't know. I'd be stocking up. Definitely stocking up because for me to have ready made chains to put my pendants on is perfect. Isn't it? And but you know, if you said to somebody, I'll make you this pendant or you know, you know, like we had the gem setting yeah. Oh, yeah. pendant. Yeah. I can pop it on a chain for you. Absolutely. It'll be an extra ten pounds. Yeah. It's exactly. Not, it's not cost you any time, it's not nope. cost you anything else, nope. other than you know, and if you've got an order open, your P and P's sort of in there anyway. Absolutely. So it's not even costing you that. Yeah. So but look at that, look at how high, look at how, just as just I move that gently, look. Look at the reflection ricocheting all the way across that chain, look. And it's ready made for you. Now, understandably, I've got loads of people multi-buying because if it should be £8.95, so what should that be? £8.95, ninety. is that £17.90 for two? £17.90 for two. For, so for those of you that have just bought two, should be £17.90. What have we just gone to? £11.90? So in two, you've just so saved yourself £6, haven't you? Look at that. Look at the way it falls as well. You can see the quality there in that okay. necklace, can't you? You can. It just drapes so beautifully. And, you know, you were saying that, you know, you're constantly looking at the prices of sterling silver chains. <laughs> it's nowhere near the price of a sterling silver chain, is it? No. Let alone the added benefits of having the rhodium over the yeah. top. Just That's just incredible. Yeah. Incredible. Um, right then, I've got to leave that there. Most of you buying twos and threes, I don't blame you. Um, we, we, at the moment, as I said, we, we had a good availability on that one. You're racing through the stock that we've got, especially if you're buying twos and threes each. So help yourselves at 5 95 Knock yourselves out. We don't mind. Um, right then, what we've got? Oh, we've only got 20 minutes of the show left. Oh. Okay. Oh, do you know? <laughs> Basically... I feel as though Danny's been away with some, some friends. I think they're male friends. So I think he's missed I think he's missed a bit of glitter. I think he's missed a bit of glitter over the weekend while he's been away. So we you know, so he thought, Do you know what? I need a bit of glitter back in my life. So he's basically given us all that sparkles, hasn't he? Now these beauties are natural. Look at them. Now the I tell you what, at the moment. Um, certainly over the last, few, I've noticed this over the last six months, ca caramel and sort of brownie zircon seem to be the go-to. It was always blue zircon, always. White zircon, obviously. But within the last six months, we've seen a massive surge and, and popularity going for the, for the caramels and the honey tones of the, of the zircon. Have you, have you noticed that, Sarah? I have, yeah. It's, and I, I just love the tones that come through this track. Do you know what it reminds me of? Go you on. know when you go to a posh cafeteria... Oh, and yeah. they have the expensive lumps of sugar. Oh, you yeah. You get all the different colour tones from yeah. through the Demerara sugar. You get all of those colour tones coming oh, through. Oh, well, yeah. But this is even better because oh, you can wear it forever. <laughs> this is just... I mean, this, if you got the sparkling white topaz as well earlier, mm. that would look beautiful again with, with any... I mean, any of the sparkling gemstones we've had today. But I just think if you want to ever include gemstones that the ultimate gemstone i'm talking about the oldest gemstone and this is a lovely thing when you do deal with genuine gemstones and you make your own jewelry especially if you sell it um but as well if you give it as gifts particularly if you sell it you can talk about the story of gemstones and no other no other gemstone on the planet can have the same history and boasts the same history and longevity as a zircon, and it is just dazzling. And people do say to me, well, yeah, but so what if it's like, so what if it's the oldest gemstone? Well, think of the changes to this planet and the temperatures and the pressures that this has had to withstand, and then you might have some inkling as to why it's perfect for jewellery. 
<laughs> you know. If you can withstand all of that. It's Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's most, a lot of gemstones would have disintegrated, wouldn't they? They wouldn't have coped. But 80 carats of zircon in these lovely honeyed tones, caramel tones, they swirl, don't they, with that lovely hue, that subtle hue. And again, guaranteed sparkle. You've got the double refraction, the light going in, coming out again in two different uh, rays of light, and then all that fire, very diamond-like. Hang on a second, what were we a minute ago? 27. I can't believe we've done Colombian emerald, tanzanite, and now zircon for less than 20 pounds a strand today on the show. 80 carats of beautifully faceted. I mean, for me personally, when you've got zircon of this, of this quality, beautiful droplets, and again, all that fire and all that sparkle, those for me, I'd have in little cluster drop earrings. Yeah. Would you? Either that or I'd wire wrap them into a little flower ring. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, you know, six little points and then have one in the centre as well. That's a lovely idea, actually, yeah. Because as you move, it's just going to catch all of the light. Yeah. They are magical. Magical. And we've just taken them down from 27 95 That is an £8 saving. Wow. I'll tell you what, if you are a coveter and a collector and, and a connoisseur of gemstones, this has been the late show for you, hasn't it? Oh, my goodness. Look at these. We're going to give you some faceted garnets, but in rounds now. Okay, beautiful rounds of faceted garnets. Look at that. I mean, that again, that if you just got that with those lovely citrines, imagine uh, uh, just alternating with those incredible. Look at that. Look at those. Isn't, do you think that's perfect, Sarah? It is, isn't it? It's yeah. just, just, any, just all the floral tones together. So you've got, you know, the deepness of the pomegranate reds and then got a beautiful, yeah. almost sunflower-esque oh. tone coming through. Just gorgeous. Beautiful. Yeah. I bought a sunflower plant yesterday. Did you? Mm. Just thought I'd share that with you. Um, so the perfect size, yes, you all know, don't you? What is that? Six millimetre rounds? Yes, thank you very much. We'll have that. I've been making stretchy bracelets with six mil round faceted garnets and they look fabulous. And can I just mention as well, because Mark Smith told me this and I didn't realise until I actually did it. I was making stretchy bracelets with garnet and reaching generally for rose gold because when you sort of start out as jewellery makers, I don't know if you like me, Sarah, but when you first started out and when I started out, you go with what you think is automatically going to go. Mm -hmm. And you're not necessarily as experimentative as you probably could be. Now, I ran out of rose gold and I had some sterling silver spacers and I put them with garnet and I, oh my word, did I love it. But I didn't think with the rich red and the purple red, it would go with silver. Oh my goodness <laughs> me, it is brilliant with silver. That's it. I always say to people, do, you know, get sort of strands out, different colour yeah. tones, and put them on a beading tray where they can see them together yeah. and just mix and match. You'll be amazed yeah, at the combinations. It really made me feel a lot more, a lot more adventurous mm. because, I, I, and now I always put stains on we got because I think it looks brilliant. Yeah. Um, 150. Are you? Excuse me. Is that the right price tag? Is, well, I am calling you out again, to be honest. It, it, it's, <laughs> Oh dear, the arms are folded again. What, Sarah? He's got his arms folded. I know, he's got his arms folded. Well, to be honest, I'm going to have my arms folded. We'll all get the arms folded in a minute. <laughs> Six ninety. <laughs> Sorry, he stopped me in full flow, didn't he? That's not easy. <laughs> Six ninety-five. That is silly sausage price, isn't it? Oh, no, somebody's just said, would you put the garnet with the zircon? I'll do whatever you want me to within reason. It's got past the watershed. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, put your request in. We'll see how far we'll go. <laughs> so somebody said, could you put the zircon with the garnet? Oh, oh you, see, you, see, now, you see? No, I wouldn't have thought that. That is perfect, isn't it? It is, because the richness of the zircon balances, you know, the tone yeah. of the garnet beautifully. 
Whoever just suggested that, I think it was somebody... Oh, is it Sarah from Cheshire? Oh, she's Sarah in Gloucestershire. Sorry, Sarah, don't, don't panic, you haven't moved. Nobody's picked your house up and dropped it in Cheshire. You're all right. <laughs> Poor Sarah's in Gloucestershire thinking, hang on a minute, I was in Gloucestershire two seconds ago. I've gone to Cheshire. <laughs> and somebody picked me house up and dropped it <laughs> in another county. <laughs> Customer said, how long is the strand, please? Shall I have a little, uh, shall I have a little gander? I have a measurement for you. I'm just going to measure it. Well, now it's. I've got 38 centimeters, so I'm going to be. I'm going to play it safe. Oh, what should we say? I'm going to say 37. Let's say 37. Okay, because we normally give you a bit extra, don't we? We're cheeky like that. We are. Now, I've got a big long list of you yet to check out. You haven't got long. We're only live for another 15 minutes. Frida, Maureen, Diane, Joe, Tracy, Janina. Well, that's a good name. Uh, Jennifer, Joe. Oh, it's all the Joes. Jays, Joes, Janine. Ooh, ooh. Um, Irina, Collection Kent, Anitra, Berkshire. Berkshire. Tatiana, good luck. Well done. Now, those of you have got two. You would though, wouldn't you, that price? 6 25 definitely. Why not? It's insulting to the garnet, really, to be honest. Um, right then, do you fancy? I know, I know it's just, I know it's getting a bit, I know you're all, I know you're all like, I can't take any more. <laughs> can't take any more. Well, do you know what we're doing? It's only giving you a star bite, and it's only, I'm going to tell you, speak sapphire. <laughs> could just you know when you go and want to go up to them that's really 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 pretty and you just want to smother them in kisses it's like deb rudge when she saw me earlier for some reason she came and kissed my chin <laughs> not quite know why she did that but she kissed my chin <laughs> um very hard i mean i know i've got a bit of a brucey chin but yeah she kissed my chin i was a bit mm. anyway um yeah it's a bit awkward uh 68 ca now what a lovely unique tone of, of, of pink sapphire now, I've kept out the pink tourmaline for you all because I did say to you, I did say to you earlier on when we did the pink tourmaline, I said, please, please, please put it with the pink sapphire that we've got coming up. So I've, I've just kept that out for you. Now, if you do want the pink tourmaline, we do have a handful left. Okay, we'll pop it at the bottom of the screen for you so you can see the code. But that is a lovely combination, isn't it, Sarah? Pink tourmaline with pink sapphire. And I was just gazing. Longingly at the combination. It is lovely, isn't it? It is, and it's such. It's it's me all over. I mean, I love, love, love all my floral tones and my bright tones, and this is just a little bit more grown up. Yeah. A bit more sophisticated. A bit, a little bit more ele elegant. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> elegant. There, there. I mean, they are just gorgeous, aren't they? Sixty-eight carats of, of shady pink sapphire. Now, if you were to look at that pink, now, because 95% of sapphires are heat treated, let's be honest, would we all, if we had to vote, was that heat treated or natural, what would we all vote? Let's be honest, I'm going to vote heat treated. Yeah, you'd go with the odds, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. of course you would. And if, when your eyes are looking at something so incredibly pink as that, you're going to think, well, it's got to be heat treated then. If it's... It is, what do we think? It's one of the, if I were to tell you it's one of the 5% that's natural, what would you think? Would you go, get out of here! <laughs> get out of town! So, what price would we put on it if it was heat treated, do you think? What do you think? Pink sapphire. Be happy oh at 50, 40, 40, 50? Like, I think definitely sort of 50, yeah. Mm. It's an awful lot of sapphire. Bear in mind, we're talking jewellery maker, so we know what we're like here, yeah, don't yes. we? Yeah. We know how silly we are. <laughs> so, oh, we've only got 22. Mind you, you're never going to have a big number of these, are you? Well, you're not, no. Never. Not, look, and look at how it sparkles. Look at that, very gently. Look how slowly, I mean, it's almost like doing that lovely robot dance that Danny was doing earlier in the gallery. 68 carats 
of shaded pink sapphire. Come on, let's have a heat treated price. Yeah. That's your heat treated price. So you give me natural sapphire for a heat treated robotic price of $24.95, young man. Oh gosh, you know, I don't know why we're encouraging people. I really don't. <laughs> Can I put it on my neck? Oh, I was, gonna, I was about to wiggle it onto the décolletage. Oh, so basically, we've just given you natural sapphire at a heat-treated sapphire price. Oh, well, yeah. Danny, you know these are natural. You know, you, have you got it the wrong way? I think he's thinking, are you going to... You put it back up. Are we allowed to put it back up? Oh, you've been silly now. You've been silly now. <laughs> We're not friends anymore. Oh, actually, we've got to be friends because it's friendship day. I oh, know. See, that's why he's tested it, hasn't he? <laughs> he's tested the friendship challenge. We did Colombian Emerald under £20 today for you and it was a shockingly brilliant strand. We took Tanzanite to 17 95 We've now just, we've taken Malachite to 14.95. We took Pink Tourmaline. What did we do with the Pink Tourmaline? 17.95. Oh, and bearing in mind, for those of you that wanted that shady Pink Tourmaline, we've just put the code at the bottom for you, my lovelies. So the uh, Pink Tourmaline was 17.95. So just quickly show you that again. So if you wanted to get the Pink Tourmaline, Oh, the pink sapphires, they've nearly gone. We're not surprised. Oh, just quickly, I've only got seven chances left and we've got Jane, Lorraine, Caroline, Paula, Joe, Bertha, Joe. There's two Joes, by the way. It, uh, oh, actually, you might have logged in twice. Um, Susan, Christine, already checked out. Diane, Angela, Roxana, Collectors, Karen, Anna, Caroline, Tatiana, Helen and Chris and Rachel and Collectors, Lynn, Christine. Oh, hang on. Anna's just increased her order to two. <laughs> oh, Diane's just come in and got them. Do you want one last look on the neckline? They're all going to sell out. They've got us. You, you, with all, yes. I was going to say, if you take pink sapphire of this quality to less than twenty pounds, it has to sell out, doesn't it? I mean, it doesn't have any choice, does it? No, not really. No, 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 no. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is I've got about how many in their baskets now, Danny? Have you added it up? Twelve in baskets, and I've got three left. Oh dear. Two left, because Charlie's just got one. I think Danny's decided to challenge himself on what extremely high-end gemstones and high-grade and high-quality that he can get under a £20 note. Have you noticed this? I've noticed a trend. Mm. Mm. Have you got some ruby? Oh! Oh! Thirty carats of shaded ruby. Now, do you want to show you that with the I've got to show you that with the pink sap oh wow. <laughs> do you know what let's just finish off that mix and put it with a pink tourmaline let's just do it oh I tell you what if you're a if you're a lover of pink you would be in in pink heaven right now wouldn't you sarah i am in pink heaven i thought you might be yeah definitely oh, it's gorgeous mm. oh goodness me So, oh, sorry, I'm doing it the wrong way around then. Sorry, do apologise. Let me take the sapphire away. Okay, right then. So, we've done it again. He's only gone and found one of the 5% of rubies that aren't treated. He's gone and found another natural strand, totally genuine, super collectible, all the variations of hue of a ruby you could wish for in one single strand. And I want to show you because we mirror that, that, that sizing and colour shading Look at that look. So you've got that rich section in the centre and then it graduates up in the colours all the way. And that, can you see if I hold that down, look, so you can see. 
It's exactly mirrored on each side look. Do you know how many hours of work go into just colour matching and size matching to that, to that level? I mean, that's, that's, that's talent and it's centuries of experience handed down through the generations of family there. That's a real art and it's all done for you. We've already got under 30, 27.95, but again, what's happened to those downward arrows? We're doing jewellery maker, tastic. It hasn't changed. <gasps> you monkey! <laughs> oh, Danny. <laughs> we just got under 20. We have just gone under 20. Well, it's Friendship Day, so I'll tell you what, in this hour, we've just tried to make friends with you, haven't we? <laughs> do, you th do you think we've succeeded? I think there's some very happy jewellery makers out well, there. There's some very happy jewellery makers <laughs> out there right now. Um, now, again, we're in danger of going the same way as the last round uh, and selling out. So Susan, Christine, Tracy, Collector in East Riding of Yorkshire, Joe and Deborah... We've got four left. You can hear, already hear way over allocated on this strand. Never in a month of Sunday should this be a, a 1995 strand. Mirabel just said, thoroughly enjoyed the show, Zena, Sarah and team. The makes were fab. Oh, thank you. There you go, Sarah. <laughs> the makes were fab. Price is ridiculously low and the banter was brilliant as always. Good night, Tom. <laughs> Good night, John boy. <laughs> uh, somebody, somebody just asked... Oh. I thought somebody just asked how long it was. Did somebody, Anna, just really quickly. Well, I'm measuring 27 in the studio, so I'm going to say 25. Um, right then. I've got this findings kit. Okay. Everything you could wish for on this findings kit. We have got the meter of chain. We have got an S hook. We have got featherweight head pins. We have got heart shaped head pins. We've got jump rings. We've got earring wires. We've got a toggle clasp. In fact, shall I bring it over? Shall I bring it over and put it under camera for you? You can all have a look at it. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> Oops, Ooh. Daisy. Well, I was going to come over until my talk back decided to hurl itself on the floor. Sorry about that, everybody. Right then, here we go. <laughs> come on, then. Come on. Right then. Here we go. Funny enough, now that's going to make... Oh, oh that'll be why, because I've unplugged myself. Um, right then, my lovelies. We have got, in this beautiful silver-plated kit, we've got the chain, as you can see. We've got featherweight head pins. We've got heart head pins. Look at this. This is a beautiful... We've picked this purely for it being Friendship Day, because, again, you've got some beautiful heart spacers. We've even got a lovely heart toggle clasp. We've got the ribbon endings, we've got the standard round toggle clasp, we've got earring wires, feather weights, jump rings, S hook clasp, everything you could wish for there, crimps and crimp covers. A hundred piece findings pack, um, and as I said, perfect for the friendship uh, day on Jewelry Maker. Let's get that price tag in. Hundred pieces, silver plated, 5.95. Wow. <laughs> 42 grams of silver plating there. What do you think about that, Sarah Elvin? I think it's an essential. It is an essential. Yes, definitely. Clues in the, clues in the graphics. <laughs> it is essential. Yeah. But lovely that it's got... The, can, you, can, I, can I just show you this look? Can I, I just that. quickly show you the heart toggle clasp? Look at this. So you've got the heart toggle clasp, and then you've got those lovely heart spacers, and we've got heart head pins. You see, I can tell I love those. I've got a box full of those. Yeah, I've got a box full of those, haven't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, you like those. I like those. Um, so congratulations if you managed to get those. Well done. Massive thank you to you, lovely Sarah Elvin. Oh, You've been a joy welcome. as always, lovely girl. Thank you very when much. When are you back on with us? I'm back on uh, Sunday on The Late Show. Oh, mm. yeah, and then you're with us again on Tuesday as well, I'm aren't back you? on Tuesday. Fantastic. Hello, busy girl. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> lovely. Um, right, can I thank you as well for your company, especially staying with us live till 10 pm? That's really lovely of you. Um, we'll be live back in the morning at 8 o'clock. I'll be back with you tomorrow at 5 as well, so please stick with us. We'll have the lovely Wendy, and we shall see you tomorrow. <laughs>